Chapter 124 Don't ask. Let's get out of here first. The girl's eyes were full of fear. The bottom of the lake was dark and gloomy. Yi Fan's body was glowing like a lantern in the water. The rusty bronze palace in front of him was as big as a city. It made him feel uneasy. A special vibration came. Yi Fan carried the purple-clothed girl and retreated. Behind him, seven or eight wax corpses floated up from the broken walls. It was a very strange sight. Faster. The girl in purple looked at him with tears in her eyes. Her face was pale. Yi Fan was not an impulsive person. In this unknown situation, he would not take risks. He broke the water and wanted to leave the bottom of the lake. However, a terrifying aura that caused one's heart to palpitate came crashing down from above, causing the two of them to be horrified. A huge shadow, like a cloud that blotted out the sky, slowly floated past. Yi Fan could not bear it. The light around his body was extinguished. The girl in purple almost suffocated. The two of them were pushed down by a powerful force. They fell to the bottom of the lake. What is that? Yi Fan was bewildered. He sent out his powerful consciousness but it was like a clay ox entering the sea. The top was gray as if a giant creature had swum by. He was not satisfied. He picked up the girl in purple and swam in another direction. Then, he broke the water again. However, the same thing happened again. The top was dark. It was like a terrifying black hole was releasing strange demonic energy. It was like a mountain was pressing down. It was suffocating. Yifan seemed to be hit by a thunder god's hammer. His body shook and he fell down again. He could not get up. What is that? Is it a living creature? His expression was solemn. He felt that things were not good. The purple-clothed young lady's god power was sealed and she was continuously being suppressed. She was on the verge of fainting as she leaned against Yi Fan's body. Wake up. Yi Fan shook her awake. It's over. We can't escape. The purple-clothed girl's face was pale, and her big eyes were filled with fear. She no longer had her original playfulness. The enormous shadow was like an ancient beast from the beginning of the world. It was boundless and covered the top of the lake, making it impossible to rush over. Yi Fan wanted to find the underground river and retrace his steps, but he could no longer find it. Don't search anymore. That's a rootless river, also known as the Underworld River. Once it breaks away, it will disappear without a trace. It's impossible to find it. The purple-clothed young lady was sobbing, her expression dispirited. At this moment, the surroundings were sealed and there was no way to leave. Yi Fan stopped trying and calmed himself down. He asked in detail, what exactly is going on? What kind of place is this? What kind of background does the bronze immortal palace have? The purple-clothed girl had a distressed look on her face. She blinked her large eyes and said, Woo-woo, I don't want to die. I'm so smart, beautiful, and peerless. I haven't even shown my splendor, and my name has spread throughout the eastern wasteland. How could I end up in such a place? Don't be so narcissistic. Hurry up and say it. Yi Fan unceremoniously knocked on her smooth, jade-like forehead. The bronze immortal palace has only appeared a few times in history. Its background is mysterious, and no one knows its past. Once you enter, there is no way out. The purple-clothed girl sighed. Am I really going to die here? Yi Fan felt uneasy. It is the tomb of a peerless expert. Every time it appears, the eastern wasteland will be shaken. Peerless experts will rush over like moths to a flame. Why? Yi Fan didn't understand. Legend has it that this majestic palace was built by an immortal. For countless years, almost no one in the eastern wasteland has become an immortal. Those who stand at the peak of the immortal down naturally can't resist the temptation. Hiss! Yi Fan sucked in a breath of cold air. This bronze immortal palace seemed to have a great origin. Tell me in detail. After the shock, the purple-clothed girl calmed down a lot. However, her expression was still somewhat dejected. She wrinkled her nose and said, It appeared long before the antiquity era. So ancient. Yi Fan was shocked. If that was the case, then the bronze immortal palace was equivalent to running through half of the eastern wasteland's history. Legend has it that it was built by an immortal, but there is no proof. Over the years, it has only appeared four or five times and buried many peerless experts. 
according to the purple-clothed girl, the bronze immortal palace was very mysterious. This relic could move under the eastern wasteland. Every time it appeared, it would appear in a different region and drift along the river of darkness. The legend might not be true. There must be a way to escape. Yi Fan frowned and thought. Then, he asked, think carefully again. Is there anything you missed? What I know is what I read in the ancient books. There are only a few records. At this point, the purple-clothed girl seemed to have thought of something and said, It seems like there was one time, the purple-clothed girl had heard of a legend. In a certain era, the eastern wasteland was extremely prosperous. Many peerless figures appeared. At that time, the immortal palace appeared again. The peerless figures of that time worked together and snatched a corpse from the bronze immortal palace. It is said that it was the corpse of an immortal. Yi Fan was shocked. There really are immortals? The purple-clothed girl shook her head and said, This matter was not recorded in the ancient books. It is just a rumor in the eastern wasteland. I don't know if it is true or not. Where did the immortal's corpse end up? It seems. It was divided equally by the holy land and the clan of the ancients. There is such a thing. Yi Fan found it hard to calm down. No wonder it was called the Bronze Immortal Palace. It seemed to have some connection with immortals. He immediately thought of the Ji Clan and said, Does this mean that the Ji Clan got a share of the immortal's corpse? It is said that countless years ago, my clan obtained an immortal's arm. However, the elders in the clan all denied it. Anyway, I have never seen it. Even if it is true, they would definitely deny it. There is no way they would let a little girl like you know. Hey, hey, hey. Little brother, don't be so old. You are not as old as me. The purple-clothed girl glanced at him with dissatisfaction. Yi Fan chuckled and pinched her nose. I have lived for more than ten thousand years. How can a little girl like you compare to me? The bronze palace, which was as grand as a city, was majestic and full of green rust. It was engraved with the aura of time. Yi Fan circled around it a few times, but did not dare to go too deep. It had appeared in the eastern barren territory many times and buried the top figures of several eras. No one could truly understand its origin. No one had ever walked out of it alive, which made it even more mysterious. Yi Fan gazed at the wax corpses in the ruins, wanting to find some clues from them. These corpses are very likely to be the peerless experts of the past. The purple-clothed girl twisted her body and said, Let me go. Let me look for clues as well. Yi Fan's heart was not at ease. If they really were the peerless experts of the past, he might be able to find great treasures from them. He peeled off the oil from one of the wax corpses and immediately revealed a lifelike human body. It was a Taoist nun. She was as beautiful as a flower and looked extremely lifelike as if she was in a deep sleep. However, in just an instant, the ruddy-faced nun shriveled up. Then, her flesh and blood withered and turned into a skeleton. The water rippled and the white bones shattered, leaving nothing behind. This is, the power of time is the most terrifying. As long as one hasn't become an immortal, no one can resist it. The purple-clothed girl revealed a shocked expression and said, This corpse has existed for countless years. It was wrapped in mysterious energy and preserved until now. After its true body was exposed, it naturally couldn't exist for long. Yi Fan peeled off several wax corpses. Every time the oil peeled off, a lifelike ancient person would be revealed. However, in just an instant, it would turn into ashes, leaving nothing behind. He found some scrap metal on the ground. Those were the powerful spiritual treasures of the ancient people. However, after a long time, they had completely shattered. This is a person from before the primordial era. I don't know how many tens of thousands of years he has existed for. Nothing can be left behind. The purple-clothed girl shouted again, Let me go. Maybe I can find some valuable clues. Yi Fan peeled off dozens of wax corpses, but the results were all the same. Once exposed, they would turn into ashes in an instant. At this moment, Yi Fan felt a strange fluctuation coming from the huge copper palace. He said solemnly, Not good, we have to leave quickly. He picked up the purple-clothed girl and rushed upwards. He wanted to force his way out, but a huge force was tearing towards them. Aya, run! The purple-clothed girl cried out in fear. She found that the two of them were flying towards the copper palace and were about to sink in. Yi Fan was shocked. 
His sea of bitterness boiled, his life spring gushed out, and he used all his divine force. However, he still couldn't break free. The Copper Palace seemed to have a strange magical power that sucked them in. Bang! The two of them landed heavily on the ground. At this moment, they were already inside the Copper Palace. It was endless and spacious. There was an indescribable silence. The inside was drowsy and blurry. They couldn't find the palace door. It was as if they had arrived in a desert without any signs of life. Time seemed to have stopped here, as if they were at the end of the world. I don't want to die. I, Jizue, am a peerless beauty. I haven't even become an immortal. How can I fall here? Can you not be so narcissistic? Yi Fan was really defeated by her. A faint mist lingered around. It was extremely hazy. In the spacious copper palace, one couldn't see the end. It was as if they had arrived at the beginning of the world. Kacha, the sound of something shattering could be heard. The purple-clothed girl immediately cried out in fear. What did my foot touch? There was a snow-white skeleton on the ground. There were many cracks all over its body. It lay there quietly. With just a slight touch, it would turn into bone powder. This person must have been incomparably powerful when he was alive. He wasn't wrapped up by the mysterious energy, and his skeleton was actually preserved. Yi Fan was very shocked. He squatted down and carefully looked at it. There were a few dried blood words on the ground. They were dark red and blurry. There was an indescribable charm to them. It was as if the essence, energy, and spirit of this expert were condensed here. It gave people a very special feeling as if it was conveying a type of emotion. May I ask the heavens if there are immortals? There were only these few words. Before this person died, he seemed to be filled with regret and unwillingness. To be able to preserve his skeleton, he was definitely a peerless expert from countless years ago. However, his heart was lost even at the moment of his death. One could imagine the disappointment and regret of not being able to see the clear sky. Chapter 125 This was definitely a genius of his generation. Unfortunately, he was buried here, and no one knew about him. He died in confusion. Since ancient times, many cultivators were sad. There was no hope of becoming an immortal. Many strong cultivators died in doubt and confusion in their later years. Yi Fan couldn't find a way out, so he chose the direction and walked forward. Not long after, he found another skeleton lying on the ground. The lower jaw was slightly open, and it seemed to be full of loneliness before death. There were also blood words here. Yi Fan squatted down and read them carefully, becoming an immortal. Difficult. 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 These five words were full of bitterness. This person seemed to be in despair before death. There are words. The girl in purple looked at the bottom of the snow-white arm. Yi Fan gently pushed the arm away, and it immediately turned into white powder. Below, there were a few words. Tian Xian Yan Yijin. Heavens! The girl in purple exclaimed. Her red lips were wide open, and her face was full of shock. She said, Tian Xian Holy Lands Yan Yijin a peerless figure recorded in the history of the Eastern Baron. Fifteen thousand years ago, he dominated the Eastern Baron, and few could rival him. To think that he died here. Hearing this, Yi Fan was also very surprised. The Tianxian Holy Land no longer existed, and only Crazy O was left. This huge copper palace was indeed the burial ground of peerless cultivators. In the past, many strong cultivators came here like moths to a flame in search of hope of becoming an immortal. But in the end, they all died here. The third skeleton made the girl in purple scream. She was very excited. Although the dark red blood was very blurry, she could still make out the words. The deceased was a famous person of the G-Clan. This is the ancestor of the G-Clan from 9,000 years ago. Not only is he recorded in the G-Clan's genealogy but his name is also left in the history of the Eastern Baron. Who would have thought? Yi Fan continued forward and saw more than thirty corpses. A few of them had names, and they were all peerless cultivators recorded in the history of the Eastern Baron. The Copper Palace was empty, and there was no end. There was no way out. The lake water did not flow in, and this place was a world of its own. It's so hard to become an immortal. Yi Fan had a feeling in his heart. Since ancient times, 
no one at the peak of the eastern wilderness had been able to surpass it. How did these people fall? If we die here, won't even leave behind our bones? The purple-clothed girl was depressed. She had never thought that such a day would come. I can't be trapped here. Yi Fan thought quietly, but there was nothing he could do. So many heroes had died here, so how could he escape? Suddenly, the copper palace began to tremble. A tremendous power descended like a silver river, as if the starry sky was withering. The enormous pressure made people feel suffocated. The copper palace was hazy, actually surging with primal chaos. It was like mist, hazy and indistinct as it drowned the two of them. It was as easy as crushing dry weeds, impossible to stop. This was a type of source power, as if the universe had just been created, the world just formed. Stars flickered, primal chaos raged, unstoppable. If the two of them were submerged by it, they would undoubtedly die. I don't want to die. The purple-clothed girl screamed, constantly muttering the names of the ancient people who had already become immortals. Yi Fan's heart was completely chilled. He really had no way to stop the power of primal chaos. At this moment, many figures appeared in his heart. In this short instant, it was as if he had experienced a lifetime. Suddenly, Yi Fan's sea of reincarnation trembled slightly. The still green copper block actually swayed a little, and the surging primal chaos immediately became sluggish. After that, he felt the spring at the bottom of the sea become empty. The simple and unadorned bronze block actually broke away from the sea of reincarnation and appeared before him. There was no luster, no energy fluctuations, and it was simple and unadorned. What is this? The purple-clothed girl's eyes widened, her eyelashes trembling slightly, revealing a puzzled expression. Monstrous waves surged in Yi Fan's heart. The green copper block had actually appeared. This was unprecedented. It trembled lightly in front of him, and then the surroundings became calm. The green copper block disappeared with a flash, once again sinking into the spring at the bottom of the sea, which made it difficult for Yi Fan to calm down. The purple-clothed girl was extremely astonished and kept asking, but he didn't reply. The copper hall was empty and gloomy. Yi Fan and the purple-clothed girl discovered to their astonishment that they were no longer at their original position. Two doors had actually appeared in front of them. There were more than ten skeletons here. The bones had a sparkling luster and hadn't turned into bone powder, which was enough to prove their extraordinariness. Yi Fan walked up and lightly knocked on them. The white bones actually emitted a sonorous sound as if they were made of metal and stone. They were definitely not ordinary bones, and even the passage of time couldn't completely erase them. There were several skeletons with words written in blood. One of the words written by a certain person caused Yi Fan to be slightly dazed. I have an immortal heart, but it has been sealed by the dust for a long time. When will the dust dissipate and light be reborn, illuminating ten thousand mountains and rivers? This was a kind of great boldness, but at the same time, it was also a kind of helplessness and even more so a kind of despair. When one strength reached this realm, it was absolutely world-shaking, but there was still no hope of becoming an immortal. These words were filled with regret and desolation. This person. The purple-clothed girl was in a daze. She muttered, there are rumors in the world that this person is suspected to have become an immortal, but he actually died here. A person who was believed to have become an immortal had actually died here. This made people even more suspicious about whether immortals really existed. Yi Fan sized up the skeletons and felt endless emotions in his heart. He now also had doubts about whether immortals really existed in the eastern wasteland. After passing by the skeletons and arriving before the two doors, Yi Fan's heart trembled. The two doors were shaped like the yin and yang fish of the Taiji diagram. The door on the left was a black yin fish, and the door on the right was a white yang fish. Both looked like irregular crescent moons. This, two combined into one, is the Taiji diagram. Yi Fan couldn't help but be shocked. Taoism, Chinese medicine, traditional culture, from the pillars of the Temple of Confucius's Great Accomplishment Hall to the Liguantai, the Three Latrines Palace. The Taiji diagram was known as the number one diagram in ancient China and it was as mysterious as the cauldron. On the black ink fish door, there was a vigorous ancient character. It had an oppressive aura that could send people flying. Die. This character could be said to be very inauspicious. It was like a curse that was imprinted on it, 
and it even had a bloody smell. On the white young fish gate, there was only one word carved on it, life. The strokes were vigorous, and there was a natural charm to it. It flowed with a peaceful aura, the complete opposite of the yin fish door. At this moment, there was no path behind them. It was hazy and dark. There was a choice of life and death in front of them. Yi Fan and the purple-clothed girl couldn't calm down. There were only two paths they could take. There's nothing to hesitate about. Of course we have to choose life. Who would choose death? Ji Ziyue wrinkled her nose, and her eyes narrowed into crescents. Don't take things too hard and choose death. I still want to become an immortal. Yi Fan ignored her and pondered in silence. In the end, he muttered to himself, Taiji gives birth to Yin and Yang, and Yin and Yang rise together. Yang is life, and Yin is death. However, he didn't make such a choice because it didn't conform to Dao and Taiji. He stared at the Yin and Yang doors and said, Extreme Yang gives birth to Yin, and Extreme Yin gives birth to Yang. Yin and Yang go against each other, and life and death switch places. He had read many ancient books, and there were many similar sayings. In the end, he pointed at the death door and said, This is the true path of life. Ji Ziyue's mouth opened into an O shape, and she said in shock, What nonsense are you talking about? The life door looks peaceful, but there will never be a way out. The death door will definitely have a light at the end of the tunnel, and you will be able to survive. Are you sure? Ji Ziyue blinked her eyes and stared at him. Don't let your imagination run wild, or you will cause the future immortal Ji Ziyue to die. If that happens, you will have sowed great karma. Yi Fan was a little hesitant. He made his decision because he saw the split Taiji, but this was the other side of the starry sky, not ancient China. His logic might not be applicable. Ji Ziyue wrinkled her delicate nose and said, Little brother, are you confident? Dong. Yi Fan knocked on her jade like forehead and said, Call me brother. Don't be impolite. Ji Ziyue's eyes were brimming with tears, and she ground her pair of shiny canines until they creaked. She said angrily, If you dare to knock me again, don't blame me for being impolite in the future. I am a future immortal. In the end, Yi Fan chose the death door and strode forward. Boom! Suddenly, a tsunami like sound was heard. The Yin fish door was like an abyss, rushing over. The Yang fish door flickered with white light penetrating through. Black and white opposed each other. The brilliance of life and death reflected each other. Yin and Yang Qi circulated, covering the sky and earth, making a rumbling sound like a raging ocean, and also like thunder that resounded through the nine heavens and ten earth. When Taiji was first formed, life and death opposed each other. The Yin and Yang Qi were hazy. This kind of collision was incomparably terrifying. It could give birth to all things, and it could also make the world wither. Suddenly, the green copper piece trembled and rushed out again, stopping in front of the Yin Yang door. Although it was simple and unadorned, it was as majestic as a mountain, causing the Yin and Yang Qi to disappear. What kind of treasure is this? Ji Ziyue's mouth was wide open. She was very surprised, and a strange light flashed in her pair of intelligent eyes. Yi Fan did not respond. When the wind and waves calmed down, the green copper piece returned to his body and he continued to stride forward. The Yin fish door, the bloody concept was like the underworld, rushing towards them. At this moment, he and the purple-clothed girl saw mountains of corpses and seas of blood at the same time. There were countless skeletons, and they were like a small boat in a storm that could capsize at any time. Yi Fan firmly pushed open the death door represented by the black Yin fish door with great force. Behind him, there was no dense killing intent, no rain of blood, only an empty road that extended to an unknown place. Thud, thud, thud. The empty footsteps echoed, like an ancient road that no one had walked for tens of thousands of years. It was extremely quiet. Where does this ancient road lead to? Could it be that there is a secret to becoming an immortal at the end? Ji Ziyue's eyes curved into crescent moons. After a full hour, Yi Fan finally reached the end. Right in front of him, the primal chaos was hazy, and the yin and yang ki circulated. This was a spacious hall made of bronze, and there were a few shining white bones on the ground. A huge immortal word was carved on the bronze wall in front of him. It had an indescribable charm, and it was actually written with fresh blood. It had been branded into the bronze, and the blood was fresh and had not dried at all. 
bright bloody light shot out in all directions. It was extremely demonic. Immortals should be incomparably holy, so how could they be blasphemed with blood? Moreover, this blood was obviously not ordinary. Who knew how many tens of thousands of years had passed, and all the experts' flesh and blood had been turned into ashes. Only a few peerless experts left behind white bones. And here, the blood on the immortal word was still bright red and glistening, as if it was still flowing. It was truly unimaginable. Could it be the blood of an immortal? Chapter 126 Was it really immortal blood? Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue could not help but have such a thought. The bright red blood shone brilliantly, imprinting itself on the copper wall in front of them, forming a huge immortal character. It was about nine meters tall and radiated brilliance in all directions. It was resplendent and dazzling, as if it was condensed from resplendent scarlet clouds. Is the secret to becoming an immortal here? Ji Ziyue's eyes flickered as her lips curled up. She tilted her head to look. The resplendent bloody character gave Yi Fan a strange feeling. He calmed his heart and focused, carefully savoring it, hoping to discover something. Chaos surged in the hall as Yin and Yang energies circulated. The resplendent immortal character had an indescribable charm to it. Unknowingly, the two of them were in a daze, as if they had touched upon an indescribable concept. The front gradually became hazy, like a dream or an illusion, giving off an unreal feeling. Heaven and earth withered and then flourished, evolving and dying. The great Tao was clear and ethereal, changing unpredictably and never extinguishing. All sorts of inexplicable phenomena appeared, causing one to be both intoxicated and at a loss, falling into a dazed state. The two of them reached out as if they wanted to grab forward and grab that inexplicable trajectory. Name, the mother of all things. Heaven and earth have form, yin and yang have hardness and softness combining to nourish all things and create life. Nameless, the beginning of heaven and earth. Formless and shapeless, born from nothingness, endless like a strand of gossamer, traceless and eternal. The beginning of heaven and earth, the root of the Tao. In a daze, there seemed to be a voice reverberating in the hall, tempting one to move forward and explore the root of heaven and earth, opening the door of profundity. This was a great temptation as if the hope of becoming an immortal was right in front of them. The sonorous voice of the great Tao reverberated continuously like a great bell, allowing one to comprehend. Although Ji Ziyue's divine power was sealed, her physical body had regained its freedom. She had a peaceful expression on her face as she walked forward step by step, as if she was intoxicated. Yi Fan was the same. There seemed to be a bright lamp hanging high in the sky, emitting boundless charm and guiding him forward. The profundity of the heavenly voice and endless dermic formulations appeared before his eyes as a divine path appeared beneath his feet. Unable to resist the temptation, the two of them unconsciously took a step forward. The two of them were incomparably pious, as if they were being summoned, as if they were being guided. At this moment, in their eyes, sacred springs gushed out from the ground, golden lotuses descended from the sky, phoenixes fluttered in the sky, auspicious colors shot out in a thousand streaks and divine rainbows shot out in a myriad of colors. All sorts of auspicious lights flowed endlessly. Suddenly, Yi Fan's golden sea of bitterness surged into the sky. Thunder and lightning intertwined. His flesh shell seemed to be cast in gold, burning fiercely. At this moment, all of the auspicious signs became indistinct, everything becoming hazy. He felt as if he was facing an abyss, as if he had fallen into the underworld. His entire body was ice cold, cold sweat pouring down. He couldn't see the surrounding scenery clearly. Endless fog surrounded him. Dense killing intent covered the sky and earth, completely enveloping him. He broke out into a cold shiver, vaguely feeling that he was only a step away from death. The so-called sonorous voice of the great Tao was just that illusory, just that faintly discernible, no longer real. At the same time, Ji Ziyue's petite body also emitted a multicolored light. Her jade-white body was sparkling with specks of light. As if struck by lightning, she stopped in her tracks, looking extremely dazed. Dong! In Yi Fan's undersea spring eye, the green copper piece gently vibrated. He immediately felt his mind clear, completely recovering. The fog gradually dispersed, and he found that he had already arrived in front of the copper wall. He was only a few steps away from the celestial word imprinted in blood, about to touch it. And Ji Ziyue was even closer. 
She had already stretched out her jade-like hand, just a foot away, about to touch the bloody celestial word. He pulled the purple-clothed girl back, and then quickly retreated. When they were far enough away, the scenery they saw finally became completely clear, no longer muddled and hazy. Looking forward again, the nine-meter-tall celestial word was as terrifying as the underworld. It was dripping with blood, making one feel endless killing intent. All sorts of wondrous scenes and the endless sonorous voice of the great Tao had disappeared. There was no more mysterious Tao rhythm, only terror and terror. This is. The two of them felt a chill, cold sweat pouring down their bodies. If they had taken a few more steps forward, they would probably have died in blood five steps. I clearly heard the heavenly voice of the great Tao. Why did it all disappear in the blink of an eye? There's no more celestial aura. Jizu was very puzzled. Yi Fan's heart trembled. He wanted to explore the endless mysteries, but in the end, he felt like he was facing an abyss, being led to the edge of death, making him feel a chill down his spine. At the final moment, if not for the golden waves of the sea of bitterness surging into the sky and the green copper piece shaking, he would probably have fallen into a pool of blood, no longer in this world. At the same time, he was a little surprised. Jizuya's physique was also very special. She also stopped at the final moment. Although she was pulled back by him, it was enough to show that this woman was extraordinary. Looking at the few skeletons in the hall, Yi Fan's body turned cold. In order to find the secret to becoming an immortal, they turned into bones and slept here. This was the bloody reality. The illusory and ethereal all disappeared. The fog dispersed, leaving only killing intent, making the two of them break out in cold sweat. What does this foretell? Could it be that the end of cultivation is the abyss, hell, and immortal ascension is impossible? In the ancient history of the eastern wilderness, many peerless experts chased after immortals. Is it just a dead end? At the end, it will be a bottomless abyss. If this was the result, it would inevitably make one's heart turn cold. It would end the hope of cultivators and break the foundation of cultivation. At the end of the path of cultivation, are there immortals or not? Jizuya was doubting whether the legendary figures who had become immortals in the ancient history of the eastern wilderness had really taken that step. Could it be that there are no immortals in this world? Could it be that this is a broken road that suddenly stops? At this moment, she recalled the words of the nameless cultivator. May I ask the heavens, are there immortals? Ji Ziyue resonated with him and felt sad. Yi Fan was also thinking about this question. He had seen nine dragons pulling a coffin, but even someone as powerful as the person in the coffin died. The nine dragons were also lifeless. He had walked into the great Lane temple, but that legendary ancient temple was already deserted. The so-called Buddha was nowhere to be found. Was Buddha just a realm and not a true immortal? This made him puzzled. It was difficult for him to know if there were immortals in this world. No matter what, there are people who can cross the star domain. As long as they can do this, they can open the path to the other side of the starry sky. What were immortals? No one could say for sure whether they existed or not. There had never been real evidence, only endless legends. In the ancient books of the eastern wilderness, there are a few records of becoming immortals, but they are not. I'm not sure of this. Jizuya was confused. Why are you thinking so much? Wait until you reach that realm, then you can worry. Yi Fan knocked her, bringing her back to her senses. You knocked me again. Jizuya rubbed her smooth forehead, tears welling up in her eyes from the pain. You are challenging the dignity of a future immortal. You said it yourself, there are most likely no immortals in this world. If I become an immortal, won't there be immortals? Jizuya ground her shiny canine teeth and said, If you dare to knock me again, I won't forgive you in the future. Yi Fan smiled and pinched her pretty nose. How narcissistic. This is confidence. Jizuya retreated and gritted her teeth. You'd better not provoke a future immortal. Dense killing intent filled the air. The two of them had already retreated far enough, but they could still feel the terror of the bloody words. Mysterious beyond mysterious. The thickness of one's aura can give birth to sages. The illusory fluctuation sounded again, coming from the bloody immortal word, tempting them to advance and pry into the wondrous truth realm. It was not a sound, nor was it the transmission of divine sense. 
It was a strange aura that made people mistakenly think that they had obtained the wondrous truth divine voice. Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue looked at each other, feeling more and more terrified. It was like the sound, but also like the fluctuation of divine sense. It indeed contained the indescribable truth of cultivation, but they did not dare to advance. The road ahead was a bottomless abyss. Although the scenery along the way was good, one more step forward and they would be doomed eternally. Get rid of emotions and desires, maintain harmony, there is mystery within mystery, there is immortality within Tao, door of wonders, open quickly. An even more obscure and mysterious fluctuation came. The bloody immortal word in front of them was actually shaking, then it split into two, opening a mysterious door. Four ancient words appeared. Door of wonders. It's not a dead end, there is hope to become an immortal. The broken bridge is connected, there must be a secret to becoming an immortal inside. Ji Ziyue bit her red lips, her pearly white teeth shimmering with a crystalline luster. Her large eyes were curved, and a small dimple appeared on her left cheek. She was mischievous and lively, full of joy. However, she did not take a step forward. Instead, she glanced at Yi Fan and said, I'll give you a chance to become an immortal. Take big strides forward. Was it an abyss or an opportunity ahead? Yi Fan felt a chill run down his spine. He did not advance, but instead took a few steps back. Future immortal, I'll give you the chance. Ji Ziyue did not dare to advance either. She also took a few steps back. Both of them had the same thought. They were both fearful, feeling that the road ahead was very likely to be an endless abyss. However, if they did not advance, how could they escape? There was no way back. Suddenly Yi Fan's heart trembled. He sensed a special aura, like the fishy smell of lake water. The bloody immortal words split into two, forming the door of wonders. Not far away from it, there was chaos surging. Yin and Yang Ki circulated, but it was very uneven, constantly collapsing and sinking. Chapter 127 That's Ji Ziyue followed Yi Fan's gaze and quickly discovered the abnormality. It seems to be a passageway. Yi Fan walked forward step by step while Ji Ziyue followed behind. All sorts of wondrous voices rang out again. The two's minds were immediately invaded and they became a little confused. The green copper piece in Yi Fan's sea of reincarnation seemed to be very resistant. It vibrated gently and resolved the crisis. Their minds became clear and they could continue forward. Right beside the immortal word, there was actually a gap under the chaotic mist. The copper wall was forcefully pierced through and a man-made path was opened up. It was unknown where it led to. Heavens, who has such tyrannical combat strength to pierce through the copper palace and open up such a path? Jizu exclaimed. The legendary bronze immortal palace was indestructible like a cage of heaven and earth. It could not be broken at all. Many eastern wilderness experts were trapped inside and no one could come out alive. They were all trapped to death. It was said that the most successful exploration in the past only produced a corpse. However, there was no real evidence. But now, this legend seemed to have been broken. The fishy smell of lake water assaulted their noses. Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue moved forward quickly. An hour later, they walked along the bumpy copper path and arrived at the top of the bronze immortal palace. Heavens, someone broke through the bronze immortal palace and escaped. How powerful is this person? Ji Ziyue's beautiful eyes were filled with shock. Yi Fan was also horrified. The reason they were able to survive was completely because of green copper. Yet there was someone who was this terrifying blasting through the copper palace with his own strength, producing this gate. This person did not choose to enter the door of profundity. It seems like he had the same thoughts as us and retreated. Ji Ziyue's eyes flickered with a strange light. This is too unbelievable. He broke through the legendary bronze immortal palace. If word gets out, it will definitely shake the eastern wilderness. Based on the potholes, it could be deduced that countless years had passed. Someone had escaped from here thousands or even tens of thousands of years ago, but did not make it public in the eastern wilderness. Why would he hide it? If this person was still alive, what realm would he have reached? After careful consideration, Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue felt a chill in their hearts as various thoughts arose in their minds. Yi Fan put up a barrier of light that enveloped Ji Ziyue. He stood on the copper palace that was as huge as a city. 
the lake water flowed around him, and there was a faint ripple. However, this time, they did not fall into the copper palace. Although the green copper piece in Yifan's sea of reincarnation was not silent, it possessed a strange power. The terrifying fluctuations no longer affected them. The two of them unexpectedly escaped from the copper palace, feeling that it was a little unreal. Not long ago, numerous unusual phenomena had appeared in the door of profundity. Even though it carried temptation and concealed ghastly killing intent, those strange fluctuations were indeed the profundities and truths of cultivation. Both of them silently recalled it, and then they committed it to memory in their hearts. This was their only gain. Based on his intuition, Yi Fan felt that it was not inferior to the Tao scripture. Unfortunately, he had only obtained a few words. Ji Ziyue also felt that it was comparable to the Ji family's ancient scripture. They did not know what was behind the door of profundity and did not want to explore it. It was already a blessing to be able to come out alive, Yi Fan observed carefully. The lake water above was covered by a dark cloud-like mist, but it was somewhat thin. The copper palace here had been penetrated, and even the clouds above had thinned significantly. Perhaps I can escape. He lifted Ji Ziyue and broke through the water. Just as he rose into the air, he suffered from the heavy pressure again. The huge shadow above seemed to be a living creature that swam past. However, this time, he did not retreat. Instead, he endured the pressure and continued upward. Golden light shot out from his body and spread very far in the water. The higher he went, the greater the pressure. Yi Fan gradually felt like his body was about to be crushed. He took out his cauldron and opened up a path in front. Although this area was the weakest, Yi Fan still felt like he could not bear it. At this moment, Ji Ziyue cried out in surprise, it's the black yellow gas. Above, there was a huge shadow that was as heavy as a mountain and as thick as clouds. It was black and yellow in color, and it was hazy. It seemed like a wisp of mist could crush a mountain. It was so heavy that it made one feel suffocated. Yi Fan did not even touch it. Before he truly met it, he could not bear it anymore. He was suffocated by the pressure. The stars were in chaos, yin and yang were in conflict, and the black-yellow gas gushed out. Ordinary people thought that the black-yellow gas was the chaotic energy. However, true cultivators would not think so. They thought that the black-yellow gas was the essence of the sky and the yellow was the essence of the earth. It was the essence of heaven and earth. Therefore, the black-yellow gas represented heaven and earth. Oh my God! It's the real black-yellow gas. There's actually so much of it. Ji Ziyue was very shocked. Then, her eyes were filled with little stars. She said this is the best holy item for refining weapons. She was enveloped by the light screen that Yi Fan had propped up and did not feel much pressure. However, Yi Fan was already sweating profusely and could not hold on any longer. He said, what are you shouting for? I'm saying that this is the rarest essence energy in the world. It's a holy item for refining weapons. Many powerful cultivators have searched their entire lives and could not find a trace of it. There's actually so much here. Ji Ziyue was very excited. Her face was red as she constantly shook Yi Fan's shoulder. She said, hurry up and collect it. Use it to refine your weapons. In the future you will definitely be able to condense Tao and truth into an extreme weapon. It's really easy for you to say. Yi Fan was on the verge of collapse and could not take a step forward. Nameless, the beginning of heaven and earth is the Tao. It's the mother of all things, heaven and earth. Heaven and earth is the essence of heaven and earth, the source of all things. It's a holy item that refines all material qualities. It's the rarest. Ji Ziyue was very excited. Her face was flushed and she looked very sweet. She said with a trembling voice, usually, the top experts search in every way but find it difficult to obtain anything. But there are so many here. We must collect some. When Yi Fan heard this, he was indeed tempted. If his cauldron was tempered with heaven and earth, he felt his heart beating faster. However, the strength was right there. He really could not plunder it and could not get close at all. Ji Ziyue shook Yi Fan's shoulder and said, Hurry up and remove my restriction. I have a way to collect it. Yi Fan naturally would not break the restriction for her. That would be purely asking for abuse. This purple-clothed girl's strength was unfathomable. He did not want to be countered. 
don't worry, I won't make a move against you. Ji Ziyue hugged his arm and bit her pair of shiny canine teeth, saying, this is a great opportunity. If I don't grab it, I will be struck by lightning. At the beginning of heaven and earth, the essence that overflowed was called heaven and earth. The amount was pitifully small and almost dried up. It was the favorite of the top experts and a treasure for refining weapons. Yi Fan more or less knew a little, but it was far from the purple clothed girl's understanding. Seeing her like this, he could not calm down and thought about how to seize the heaven and earth. However, according to legend, a wisp of heaven and earth key was enough to crush a mountain ridge. He did not have the ability to collect it at all. If he went up, he would most likely be crushed into a bloody mist. Rumble. Above, the heaven and earth key was the weakest compared to the other areas. However, at this moment, there was a rumbling sound and a dazzling light flowed over from afar. Heaven and earth were the essence of the earth. When they blended together, there would not be any overflowing brilliance. However, at this moment, there was a wisp of heaven and earth key that was especially dazzling. It was many times more resplendent than the other thick and unadorned heaven and earth key. Heavens, it's the heaven and earth root, where the essence resides. Ji Ziyue was so excited that her little face was flushed. Then, she grabbed Yi Fan while panting with rage and said, Quickly undo my restriction. That is the legendary essence of the source key. It's the heaven and earth essence that is rarely seen. If you can't obtain it, it will anger both men and gods. At this moment, Yi Fan's sea of reincarnation trembled. The green copper piece flew out and entered the heaven and earth key. It sucked in that dazzling essence and descended. Ji Ziyue was both shocked and excited. She shouted, Give me some! She thought that it was Yi Fan who took action and collected it. In reality, the green copper piece was not under his control at all. Yi Fan hurriedly took out his cauldron and welcomed the green copper piece to absorb the heaven and earth essence. Kacha, the sound of cracking could be heard. That small cauldron could not withstand it at all and was shattered by the great pressure. It mixed with the heaven and earth essence. The green copper piece had only absorbed a portion of the heaven and earth essence. It could be said that it was only a small taste. The rest of the essence lingered outside and the broken cauldron was also attached to the green copper piece. Yi Fan did not know whether to be happy or worried. The green copper piece was too mysterious and easily captured the heaven and earth essence. However, the cauldron that he had painstakingly refined was shattered. It was an indescribable feeling. This is a good thing. The broken cauldron has merged with the heaven and earth key. You can refine it again and obtain the weapon of your dreams. When the time comes, don't forget to give me a strand of the heaven and earth essence. You won't need this much. Ji Ziyue waved her little fists, and her eyes were full of little stars. She was almost biting Yi Fan's ear as she reminded him loudly. The green copper piece flew over and Yi Fan was worried. A strand of heaven and earth essence could crush a mountain range. This kind of heaven and earth essence must be even heavier. If it entered the sea of reincarnation, he was afraid that he would be crushed immediately. However, there was no way to avoid it. The green copper arrived in a flash and sank into the spring at the bottom of the sea in the blink of an eye. Everything was calm and nothing bad happened, which made him feel relieved. At this moment, there was a rumbling sound above. After the heaven and earth essence was collected, the clouds dispersed and the mist dispersed. This area actually became clear and a gap appeared. This was a rare opportunity. Yi Fan carried the purple clothed girl and turned into a bolt of lightning as he rushed up and instantly escaped from the bottom of the lake. So much heaven and earth key. I can't take it away. I really can't accept this. Ji Ziyue cried out unwillingly like a little money grubber. Whoosh! The waves rolled and Yi Fan rushed out of the water and finally heaved a sigh of relief. This was a huge lake with boundless blue waves. The mist was hazy and the lake's surface was green and translucent like a natural gem. It was surrounded by a mortal key and embellished the vast land. Yi Fan flew for half an hour before he arrived at the shore. What entered his eyes was a stretch of lush greenery. Countless ancient trees grew on the shore. It was lush and full of vitality. We are finally free. The two could be said to have survived a calamity. On the shore, the old trees towered into the sky and were emerald green. Yi Fan's mind completely relaxed. Ji Ziyue's big eyes glanced over and rippled. 
She wrinkled her nose and then her shiny little canine teeth and cute little dimples appeared at the same time. She said, hey, 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 we've gone through thick and thin together and can be said to be friends of life and death. Why aren't you letting me go? Now it's time to share the joys and sorrows. Quickly share my heaven and earth essence. She didn't treat herself as an outsider at all. She was lively and a little mischievous. She walked over lightly and tilted her head with a faint smile. She stretched out a delicate hand and waved it in front of Yifan. Yes, we should share the joys and sorrows. Yifan smiled and patted the seat beside him, indicating her to sit down. He said, Write down your G family's ancient scriptures for me. What? Jizuus stared at him with her big watery eyes and said, This is the act of a bandit. That's right. I'm going to rob today. Yifan smiled brightly and said, Moreover, I'm going to rob everything. Hand over the treasures. Hand over the ancient scriptures. Chapter 128 The corner of Jizuus's lips curled up as she glared at Yifan. She said angrily, I don't have any treasures or ancient scriptures. I only have the life of an immortal. Do as you see fit. You sure are a hoodlum. Yi Fan was immediately amused. He said in your words, If you don't tell me the truth, I have many ways to deal with you. Ji Ziyu had bit her red lips with her pearly white teeth. She turned her head to the side and looked at the clouds in the horizon. She wanted to say something, but she held back in the end. Yi Fan didn't make a move immediately. He had plenty of time. The most important thing now was to refine the heaven and earth essence. His cauldron was broken and attached to the green copper. This really worried him. In the eyes of the sea of reincarnation, the green copper was motionless. The heaven and earth essence lingered around it. The broken cauldron floated up and down, blending with the heaven and earth. Jizuya's words were very reasonable. After the small cauldron shattered, it wasn't entirely a bad thing for Yifan. This was an opportunity. Since it's broken, I'll reforge it. Yifan's mind was completely immersed in the eyes of the spring. He used the divine power in his sea of reincarnation to carefully squeeze the broken cauldron. He wasn't going to reforge it directly. What he needed to do was to completely shatter this cauldron and merge it with the heaven and earth essence. Shattering the cauldron in the sea of bitterness was like shattering his own body. The divine power circulated and his mind was immersed in controlling it. He actually had the illusion of shattering himself. The heaven and earth essence was like the moonlight and the radiance of the sun. It was very eye-catching. It kept merging with the broken cauldron. Under Yifan's control, the two became inseparable and gradually became a stream of light. It revolved around the green copper. The mist was hazy and mysterious. In the end... The brilliance was contained and the sharpness was restrained. It became plain and simple. The misty heaven and earth essence flowed naturally, giving people a feeling of unfathomable depth. At the beginning of the world, a small amount of the essence of heaven and earth was born. It was the source of all things. It had an unimaginable mysterious power and was a treasure for refining weapons. Yi Fan controlled it carefully. He wasn't in a hurry to reforge the cauldron. In order to let the two fuse completely, he constantly tempered this energy and branded it on the green copper. He allowed the black-yellow essence to envelop the green copper piece and repeatedly imitated and tempered it. He wanted to become one with it and engrave the natural Tao patterns on it. This was destined to be a long process that required time to slowly sharpen. In the beginning, everything went smoothly without any accidents. It was a good start. Just like that, Yi Fan temporarily stayed by the lake and added several seals to Ji Ziyue to prevent her from breaking the restrictions. In the blink of an eye, half a month had passed. The mist in the lake was hazy, and the ripples were sparkling. The trees on the shore were lush, and the flowers and grass were fragrant. Under a towering ancient tree, Ji Ziyue couldn't move at all and was imprisoned there. Yi Fan ignored her screams and focused on drawing her beautiful face with the brush in his hand. He was very fast and in the blink of an eye, a toad was formed. He nodded and seemed very satisfied. He put the brush in his hand to the side, took a mirror and placed it in front of Ji Ziyue. Ah! Ji Ziyue screamed as if she had encountered the most terrifying thing. She was extremely annoyed and gritted her teeth, glaring at Yi Fan. Half a month has passed and you only wrote a section of the ancient scripture for me. It's too little, 
I need the complete scripture. At this point, Yi Fan changed the topic and said patiently, I have the black yellow essence, it's hard to find in a thousand generations. If you explain the ancient scripture to me, I'll give you the source key of all things. It's mutually beneficial and no one will lose out. Ji Ziyue was indeed a little tempted. She blinked her big eyes and said, I need time to think about it. Don't think I don't know that you're trying to stall for time. Yi Fan sat opposite her and prepared the brush and paper. He undid the seal on Ji Ziyue's right hand and said, Stop dilly-dallying. The source key is just around the corner. Don't you want to collect it? Ji Ziyue said angrily, You're too much. I've already given you several treasures and you're still not satisfied. At most, I'll fight you to the death. As long as I die, the imprint on my body will definitely appear in the Ji family. Everything that happened will appear. Yi Fan was speechless. He pushed a phoenix hairpin, two bracelets, and a pair of earrings in front of her and said, How do you want me to use these things? As long as you write the ancient scripture for me, I'll return them all to you. Ji Ziyue immediately changed her expression. She was about to cry and said, It's not that I don't want to write the ancient scripture. But the elders of the family sealed an immortal curse in my sea of consciousness. If I dare to reveal it, my body and soul will be destroyed on the spot. Yi Fan chuckled and said, Don't be so pitiful. I don't believe what you're saying at all. Ji Ziyue's beautiful eyes were filled with tears. She sobbed helplessly and said, I've never had any enmity towards you. I even let the people of the demon race off. I have no intention of harming you. But you treat me like this. This indeed made Yi Fan feel very ashamed. After catching this hot potato, he felt that it was very difficult to deal with. He couldn't kill her, and if he let her go, there would be endless troubles in the future. He kept interrogating her about the ancient scripture but he didn't get any Xi'an techniques. I'm determined to get the ancient scripture, stop acting. Ji Ziyue immediately changed her expression. The tears in her eyes disappeared and she started to grind her little canine teeth and said, I'll fight it out with you. Then let's fight. Yi Fan started to take off her shoes and socks. Ji Ziyue screamed, What are you doing? Stop. Are you going to write the ancient scripture or not? I. Yi Fan took off her shoes and socks completely, revealing a small foot that was as smooth as jade. It was sparkling and translucent like suet jade, shimmering with a bit of luster, delicate and beautiful. You. Ji Ziyue was incomparably embarrassed. Her face was pink and she was completely frightened. She said with a trembling voice, Stop quickly. Yi Fan took his time and smeared a layer of honey on her warm foot, then he grabbed a few ants and placed them on it. In the ancient forest, Ji Ziyue's embarrassed and angry screams immediately came out, Little brat Yi Fan, I'm not done with you, ah. Uh. An hour later, Yi Fan walked to the lakeside with a few pages of paper in his hand. He had a focused expression as he seriously studied the scripture recorded on it. The great Tao is like the abyss, the sect of all things, light is like dust. Yi Fan studied and pondered at the same time. The Ji family's ancient scripture was indeed unique. It was definitely not inferior to the Tao scripture. The opening few sentences pointed out the main point of the ancient scripture. The great Tao was void, but its effects were endless. This was the void scripture of the Ji family. The void Tao could erase the sharpness of all things, resolve conflicts harmonize the radiance of all things, and mix with the dust of all things. However, one's body would always be void and exist forever. It was a pity that Ji Ziyue was very determined and would rather die than submit. She only wrote a limited number of pages. He still needed time to obtain the entire ancient scripture. These few pages were very disjointed. There was only half a page of description about the Tao Palace. He read it carefully. The goddess of grains does not die. It is called Xian Pin. The gate of Xian Pin is the root of heaven and earth. Although it was only half a page, it allowed Yi Fan to understand what the Tao Palace had to cultivate. I really have to cultivate five gods' will. There were five gods' will in the Tao Palace. If he could use them, he could extend his lifespan and give birth to the five key. When the gods' will and key were combined, all sorts of mysterious things would happen. The Tao Palace was very mysterious and even more extraordinary than the sea of reincarnation. It would open and dig out all sorts of mysteries. It was a pity that Yi Fan only read half a page and did not know what to do next. To cultivate the Tao Palace, one had to cross the Sea of Bitterness and reach the other shore. In the following time, Yi Fan started to cultivate diligently as he did not want to waste any time. 
During this process, he constantly refined the black and yellow essence, allowing it to contain the green copper piece. He refined it repeatedly, fused it, and copied the Tao patterns. Of course, the most important thing that Yi Fan did was to refine the blood essence of the demon monarch's sacred heart. He needed strong power, and it would be a waste if he did not make use of this heart that was immersed in the life spring. This time, he used the black and yellow key to force the sacred heart to fill the sky with bloody light to collect the blood essence. With the green copper piece suppressing at the bottom of the sea, the demon monarch's sacred heart could not resist. It was like a horned dragon coiled in the shallows, not daring to make any big moves. For a full half a month, Yi Fan could be said to be squeezed. He constantly refined the demon monarch's sacred blood and cleansed his body. His skin was as clear as jade and various impurities were expelled. He was about to undergo a complete transformation. GZUS saw all of this and was shocked. She vaguely felt that there were many secrets on Yifan, and it was far from being as simple as it looked on the surface. On the nineteenth day of refining the demon monarch's sacred blood, a shocking change happened. The heart that was as red as jade seemed to be unable to bear it any longer and completely exploded. Yi Fan's golden sea of bitterness was completely boiling. If it was not for the green copper piece that stabilized everything here, his body would probably have shattered. The demon monarch's heart thumped as it completely recovered its vitality. It was unwilling to be deprived of its sacred blood and wanted to shock Yi Fan to death. That day, even the experts who had surpassed the Nirvana realm could not withstand it. One could imagine how terrifying it was. The black and yellow key circulated on the green copper piece and stabilized the sea of reincarnation, preventing Yi Fan from being in danger. The heart that was as bright as a ruby was burning fiercely and actually broke through Yi Fan's sea of bitterness. It turned into a dazzling blood light and disappeared into the sky. Yi Fan's sea of bitterness was in extreme pain. Although it quickly closed, it took him a long time to recover. This result made him dumbfounded. He muttered to himself, I squeezed it too hard. It's indeed wrong. The demon monarch's sacred heart actually flew away. The powerful demon monarch's sacred heart was unwilling to be taken away every day. In the end, it disappeared and broke through the sky. Oh my god, that must be the demon monarch's heart. It's actually in your body. Jizue was dumbfounded and shocked. Yi Fan did not chase after it. He sat down cross-legged and cleansed his flesh and blood with the last of the sacred blood. At this moment, his whole body was like jade. His organs were shining, his bones were shining, and his skin was crystal clear. After the baptism of the sacred blood, he felt waves of unbearable pain. Finally, after consuming two kinds of sacred medicine, he began to be reborn for the third time. This was a painful and unbearable process. It lasted for half a day before everything calmed down. Yi Fan stood up like a god. Divine light radiated in all directions, shining with the sun and moon, shining with the stars, sparkling like seven colored glass. Only after a long time did the light disappear. He returned to his original appearance. He felt powerful strength. The third rebirth made him feel like he was reborn from the ashes. The energy in his body seemed inexhaustible. The moment he clenched his five fingers, golden lightning interweaved on his golden fist as if it could pierce through heaven and earth. The most incredible thing was that the black and yellow key actually appeared on the golden fist as if it was smelted on it. Jizue was very surprised. Her small mouth formed an O shape. You. What did you do? A cool breeze blew. Yi Fan's black hair danced lightly. He clenched his golden fist tightly. He felt incomparably powerful as the black and yellow key permeated out. Chapter 129 How can this be? Ji Ziyue's beautiful eyes sparkled and her rosy mouth was slightly agape. Her face was full of disbelief. She could not understand why the black yellow key would appear on that pair of fists. At this moment, Yi Fan's golden fists gave off a powerful feeling just by looking at them. It seemed to be indestructible and the universal source key seemed to have been refined on them. Black yellow is the universal source key born from the intersection of heaven and earth. It's a sacred object for refining weapons. Why is it attached to your fists? How did you do it? Ji Ziyue's big eyes flashed with a strange light. Yi Fan loosened his golden fists and the black yellow source key disappeared immediately. 
It flowed back into the sea of sufferings and lingered around the green copper block. He was also very shocked and afraid that he would turn into dust. He could not bear the weight of this universal source key at all. One strand was enough to crush a mountain. Just now, a strand appeared on each of his fists. It really made his heart palpitate. Fortunately, the green copper block suppressed the universal source key and no accidents happened. The green copper block sank into the sea of reincarnation and the black yellow source key attached to it. Even his body became a carrier. When he operated the sea of reincarnation, it was very likely that the black yellow essence would be drawn out. This made him feel very uncomfortable. If not for the green copper block suppression, he would be in danger of turning into dust at any time. So much universal source key was enough to crush him countless times. However, danger always coexisted with opportunity. Although it made people uneasy if used well, it was equivalent to an indestructible weapon. How terrifying would a fist with a strand of black yellow essence key appear? No matter how many magic treasures you have, no matter how many divine abilities you have, I will pierce through it with one punch. Yi Fan was considering whether he could really fuse the black yellow source key with his body. But after thinking about it carefully, it was too difficult, and he probably could not do it now. The true black yellow source key was hard to refine. Top cultivators used it to refine weapons. Almost no one had heard of someone refining the body because it was too dangerous. The path is walked, everything can be taken slowly. He was not in a hurry for success. He had all the time to slowly explore. Your body is very special. Ji Ziyue was very clever and keenly captured something. What do you see? At this moment, Yi Fan had already returned to his natural state. His smile was as bright as the sun, and he had a harmless look on his face. He was only a youth around the age of fourteen. Just now, your skin was sparkling and translucent like a precious lamp. It was flawless and surpasses a spirit treasure. It shouldn't have been like that at all. Just now, when Yi Fan was reborn for the third time, his body shone brightly and his flesh and blood were almost transparent. Ji Ziyue saw this transformation process, and she was very shocked. After a cultivator reached the Nirvana realm, he would undergo a different kind of rebirth, constantly changing his blood, refining his bones, and completing the metamorphosis like a butterfly breaking out of a cocoon. However, According to what Ji Ziyue said, the rebirth of blood and bones was far from comparable to Yi Fan's transformation. This kind of sublimation is very unusual. It doesn't conform to common sense. Her eyelashes trembled as she carefully sized up Yi Fan, revealing a bewildered expression. According to what Ji Ziyue said, after reaching the Nirvana realm, if one's physique was said to be a change from a bug to a butterfly, then Yi Fan could be said to be a rebirth from a bug to a phoenix. Even if you use the demon emperor's divine blood to refine your body, it shouldn't be like this. This kind of transformation is almost comparable to the rebirth of the ancient mighty people. Ji Ziyue became more and more surprised. She kept speculating and muttered to herself, no matter how extraordinary an ordinary cultivator's body is, it can't be compared to 10% of yours. Could it be that? You also have a divine body? Yi Fan did not respond. This kind of rebirth was even more magical than when he reached the Nirvana realm. He had long known about it. After all, he had consumed the divine medicine and the demon emperor's divine blood. Once his sacred body of the ancients transformed, it would naturally be extraordinary. Compared to the transformation of other cultivators, it can't be considered a rebirth at all. At this point, Ji Ziyue's big eyes that were filled with spiritual energy revealed a strange light. She said, could it be that you really have a divine body like my brother? Don't compare me to him. I'll beat him up sooner or later. You. Ji Ziyue was very dissatisfied. She wrinkled her nose and said, I'm just afraid that when brother Hao Yue appears, you'll run away. I don't want to bother with him for now. When I'm successful in my cultivation, I'll definitely beat him up into a pig's head, Yi Fan said indifferently. Humph. Ji Ziyue snorted and squinted her big eyes. Of course, she was dissatisfied with him talking about her brother like that. She muttered, You can't beat my brother even if you cultivate for another hundred years. Isn't it just because he has the anomaly, the sea rising bright moon? When the time comes, I'll pluck his moon and plant flowers and grass in his blue sea. 
my brother's divine body has just formed and is almost invincible among the younger generation of the eastern wilderness. You haven't even touched the threshold of the Dao Palace secret realm yet, and you still want to be his enemy. Really, naturally, Yi Fan didn't have the desire to win. He was just teasing her casually. He pinched Ji Ziyue's nose and said, Just wait and see. If I don't beat that proud moon up, I'll be letting down my fist. Just wait and get beaten up. Ji Ziyue was furious. She opened her mouth and revealed her sparkling teeth, biting at his finger. You're a dog. You actually bit me. Yi Fan chuckled and said, What's so great about a divine body? Didn't his sister still become my prisoner? Although he said that, Yi Fan really had a headache. The Ji family was famous in the eastern wilderness and was a transcendent force. If they knew that Ji Ziyue was in his hands, he didn't need to think to know what would happen. What should I do with her? He couldn't kill her, but he couldn't let her go either. Ji Ziyue knew many of his secrets, such as the green copper block. He absolutely couldn't let them see the light of day. Why is the monster emperor's heart on you? What's with that green copper block? Your physique is so special. When you were reborn, you were similar to my brother. Is it really a divine body? In the past few days, Ji Ziyue kept asking, but it was impossible for Yi Fan to tell her. While Yi Fan was cultivating in seclusion, he went out once to understand the situation outside. What made him feel extremely strange was that after drifting in the underground river for a month, he still hadn't left the Wei Kingdom. He had only come from the west to the east. There was a super force here called Tai Xian. It occupied a vast area and the endless mountains in the east belonged to this sect. In the continuous mountain range, there were a total of 108 main peaks. Each peak represented a kind of inheritance, and each inheritance far exceeded a small sect like the Spirit Void Grotto Heaven. In this vast area, other than the Ji family and the Yaoguang Holy Land, no other sect could firmly suppress a super sect of this scale. The eastern wilderness was vast, and there were countless countries. In the past, when the Taishian sect was at its peak, its strength could be ranked in the top 100 in the eastern wilderness. It could be called a giant. Especially in this area, it was even more famous. In the surrounding dozens or hundreds of countries, there were few sects that could be on par with it. Superforce. Yi Fan didn't want to provoke this sect. Other than that, the news he heard the most was about Ji Haoyue. The birth of the Ji family's divine body shook the eastern wilderness, indicating that the Ji family would be extremely prosperous in the next few thousand years. It was common knowledge that the divine body could live for thousands of years. Ji Haoyue rose powerfully and constantly attacked the demons. He had already chosen the cave abodes of several big demons and was invincible. In the past two months, no one could compare to him in terms of popularity. It could be said that he was dazzling. Many super forces were guessing why the Ji family was making such a big move. Yi Fan had a feeling that Ji Ziyue was not simple. Otherwise, she would not have been able to survive under Yen Ryu's golden lotus phenomenon. The Ji family should have valued her very much. However, during this period of time, there was no news of Ji Ziyue's disappearance, as if someone had deliberately concealed it. Yi Fan thought to himself. The Ji family most likely thought that Ji Ziyue had accidentally fallen into the hands of the demons. That was why they were attacking everywhere. This made him break out in cold sweat. In this critical period, Yi Fan's best choice was to live in seclusion. If people found out that he had kidnapped Ji Ziyue, it would definitely be a huge disaster. A few days later, Yi Fan began to use the artifact. The tripod had long shattered into nothingness and fused with the black and yellow key. It could be forged again. This was an extremely difficult process. The myriad source key was extraordinary. If one wanted to forge it with the tripod, it would be almost impossible to reach the heavens. Yi Fan chose to forge the tripod on the green copper block. What was unbelievable was that the rough shape of the tripod was formed in half a month. The green copper block was mysterious, and it was not difficult to refine the black and yellow key on it. After the black and yellow cauldron was formed, it was simple and natural. It had an innate Tao charm and was extremely extraordinary. One could not look away from it at a glance. However, just as it left the green copper block, the tripod instantly turned into black and yellow key and disintegrated. This made Yi Fan feel very helpless. Heaven and earth merged, growing and nurturing each other. 
the essence of heaven and earth overflowed. All things mixed together, and the essence of heaven and earth filled the air. This was black and yellow. The myriad source key was extremely difficult to form. It was too difficult to form a tripod. However, this also meant that once the refinement was successful, he would obtain an unparalleled artifact. After this cultivation, Yi Fan thought of the Ji family again and felt a headache. He leaned against an ancient tree with a grass stalk in his mouth. He looked at Ji Ziyue who was not far away and said, Little girl, let me find you a husband. Go and die. Ji Ziyue was furious and glared at him. Why are you so excited? You are going to get married eventually. I guarantee that I will find you a good husband. Yi Fan bit the grass stalk and said to himself, When the time comes, we will be on the same side. I won't find trouble with your brother. What nonsense are you talking about? Ji Ziyue was furious and did not look at him. After thinking about it, in order to prevent me from accidentally killing your brother in the future, this is the only way. Yi Fan boasted shamelessly and said to himself, Speaking of which, your Ji family can be considered a big family. It is not a loss to have a marriage with your family. I have never seen such a shameless guy like you. Ji Ziyue's cheeks puffed up and she really wanted to bite Yi Fan. Ji Hao Yue had a divine body and appeared out of nowhere. It could be said that she shone brightly and was not something that Yi Fan could compare to. The Ji family was extremely powerful in the eastern wasteland and their status was extraordinary. However, Yi Fan said that if he married her, it seemed like the Ji family would have an advantage. The husband I found for you is very extraordinary. He obtained the inheritance of the demon race. His name is Pang Bo and he is definitely a good match for you. If you want to marry him, go ahead and marry him. Ji Ziyue turned her head to the side and cursed softly. I wish you and the demon race a hundred years of harmony. When the time comes, you will give birth to a little demon, no, a transvestite. You little girl, your mouth is quite poisonous. Yi Fan laughed involuntarily and threw away the grass stalk in his mouth. Since you are not willing to marry a demon, I will reluctantly digest you myself. Ji Ziyue's eyes flickered with spiritual energy. I actually want to tell you a secret. What secret? Yi Fan leaned against the ancient tree and asked lazily. The secret cannot be passed to six years. Come here. Yi Fan walked closer and said, If it is about the secret of the ancient scripture, I will be happy to listen. The secret is. I want to bite you. Ji Ziyue completely flipped out and bit Yi Fan's ear. She was already furious. Don't be so fierce. Yi Fan lifted her chin and smiled. Actually, the marriage is for your own good. I want you to regain your freedom. Otherwise, I will feel uneasy if I have to trap you by my side every day. You are afraid that my family and my brother will come looking for you, right? Ji Ziyue's red lips were moist, and her little canine teeth were shiny. She really wanted to bite Yi Fan to vent her anger. My head hurts. Let me think. Yi Fan rubbed his temples. Chapter 130 Ji Ziyue blinked her big eyes and said, There's no need to have a headache at all. Let me go and you won't have any worries. What a troublesome person. Since he couldn't kill her and couldn't let her go, Yi Fan rubbed his temples gently. Ji Ziyue was dissatisfied and said, Hey, 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 who's troublesome? How can a smart and beautiful future immortal like me be associated with that word? What do you think I should do with you? We went through trials and tribulations together, and went through the bronze immortal palace together. We can be considered friends of life and death. You can't treat a friend like this. Ji Ziyue wrinkled her nose and said, Let me go and I promise I won't hurt you. Yi Fan sat under the ancient tree and glanced at her. I don't dare to take your promise and guarantee. Ji Ziyue was not discouraged. Her clear and melodious voice was like pearls falling on a jade plate. She tried to persuade Yi Fan. I know how to cultivate the sea rising bright moon. The ancient mighty figures all had monstrous powers. There's a secret behind it. There's a huge secret in the void ancient sutra. The eastern wasteland's seven life forbidden zones have. Ji Ziyue's small mouth kept talking, trying to persuade and entice him until her mouth was dry. However, although Yi Fan listened with relish, he did not say anything. She glared at Yi Fan angrily and said, Did you hear what I said? Of course I heard it but you didn't say it completely. Every time you only said the first half. All the secrets and secrets were swallowed back by you. I was just about to listen to the rest. Are you going to let me go or not? No. 
Yi Fan replied straightforwardly, You. I said so much and you only responded with these two words? Then why didn't you say so earlier? I'm so angry, my throat is dry. Ji Ziyue felt that her mouth was dry. Continue, I'm happy to listen. Ji Ziyue was furious. She glared at him and said, If you don't let me go as soon as possible, the family will definitely find this place. At that time, you'll definitely be in big trouble. Yeah, it's really troublesome. Yi Fan leaned against the trunk of the ancient tree, rubbed his chin with his right hand, and teased, How about this? I'll reluctantly marry you and live in seclusion here for a period of time. After a few years, I'll bring a bunch of kids to your clan to meet relatives. Little brat, Yi Fan, if you keep spouting nonsense, I won't let you off. Are you doubting me? Yi Fan smiled and stood up. Ji Ziyue screamed in fright. In the end, Yi Fan obtained another section of the void ancient scripture and began to study it by the lake. Two days later, a jade green bird that looked like it was carved out of emerald appeared by the lake. Its eyes were scarlet red, like two red beans embedded in its head. Quick, catch it! Ji Ziyue suddenly cried out. Why? Yi Fan's cultivation was interrupted and he turned around to look at her. A look of shock appeared on Ji Ziyue's face and she said, Quick, don't let it escape, or we'll all die. Yi Fan soared into the air and reached out with lightning speed, grabbing at the jade green bird. However, this jade green bird was already intelligent, and its speed was surprisingly fast. It turned into a green light and disappeared in a flash, fleeing into the distance. Yi Fan took out the purple copper 8 trigram mirror, and the mirror's surface was like a full moon. Immediately, a beam of light shot out, and with a soft chi sound, the jade green bird turned into a wisp of green smoke. What's going on? Does that jade green bird have some background? It's one of my cousin's many pets. Ji Ziyue revealed a trace of panic, and said, Let go of me, or we'll all be in danger. Yi Fan was shocked. Did the Ji family come looking for him? At the same time, he keenly sensed the abnormality and asked, Your cousin is here, and you seem to be very afraid that she will harm you. Why is that? You don't understand. Ji Ziyue didn't want to explain, and said, Quickly undo my restriction, or not only will she kill me, she will also silence you. You come from the same family, and she actually wants to kill you. Yi Fan was very surprised. Don't waste time. It's almost too late. Ji Ziyue revealed a look of worry, and constantly urged, If I let go of you, I might die immediately. Yi Fan picked up Ji Ziyue and was about to fly away. But at this moment, a crisp laughter sounded, and said, Miss Ziyue, I really didn't expect to meet you here. An enchanting woman wearing a green dress flew over gracefully, and appeared by the lake, blocking Yi Fan's path. Ji Xia, it's you, is my sister Bai Yu here as well? Ji Ziyue asked. Miss Bai Yu did not come, and this servant passed by this place. I didn't expect to discover Miss Ziyue's whereabouts. Although the woman in green was a servant of the Ji family, she was very presumptuous at this moment, and chuckled, Ayo, so Miss Ziyue wants to fly together with someone. Ji Xia, how dare you? Ji Ziyue secretly pinched Yi Fan, indicating for her to undo the seal. Ji Xia constantly sized up Yi Fan, and then said with a smile, He's just a 14-year-old brat, Miss Ziyue, your eyesight is too poor. Her words were very disrespectful, and she made fun of Ji Ziyue and even more so, did not put Yi Fan in her eyes. Yi Fan felt that something was wrong. The Ji family caught up so quickly, and it exceeded his expectations. This woman clearly had ulterior motives. Ji Xia looked to be 25 or 26 years old, and although she was rather pretty, she could not be compared to the quick-witted Ji Ziyue. She said with a fake smile, Is Miss Ziyue unwell? Why do you look weak and weak? Do you need this servant to help you? Ji Xia, you're too presumptuous. Are you here to find me? Miss Siyue, you disappeared for a long time, and the elders in the family were very worried. They mistakenly thought that you had fallen into the hands of the demon race, and they went on an expedition to find you. However, we never expected that when we were worried for you, you would build a hut here, and live with someone. Ji Xia became more and more presumptuous, and she did not treat Ji Ziyue as her master, and repeatedly made fun of her. Ji Ziyue did not get angry, and she said calmly and calmly, Ji Xia, you are searching for me under the orders of my sister Bai Yu, and you want to get rid of me? Ji Xia let out a bell-like laughter, and said, 
Miss Biyue is kind-hearted, and it's impossible for her to do such a thing. However, this servant does not have so many scruples, and indeed wants to send Miss Ziyue on your way. If you want to kill me, just do it. Ji Ziyue walked forward agilely. Ji Xia was bewildered, and she took two steps back. She looked at Yi Fan and said, Brat, your methods are not bad. I wonder what method you used to take down my Miss Ziyue. She was very cautious and wanted to test if Yi Fan had really sealed Ji Ziyue. Ji Xia, after following my sister by you for so many years, you have indeed picked up her bad habit. You are paranoid, and you still don't dare to make a move? Ji Ziyue smiled faintly. The more it was like this, the more suspicious Ji Xia became. She rushed into the sky and said, Miss Ziyue, come up and fight. Ji Ziyue groaned inwardly, and she really wanted to bite Yi Fan. He. Ji Xia laughed charmingly, and she was as beautiful as a flower, and said, Looks like I was overthinking. Saying that, she waved her hand lightly, and a blue lightning tore through the sky, striking at Ji Ziyue. Swoosh! Yi Fan rushed over, and pulled Ji Ziyue to the side. Amidst the rumbling sounds, a few towering ancient trees turned into ashes under the blue lightning, and the ground was scorched. So Miss Ziyue was really captured. But this Brad isn't very strong. How did he do it? She sprinkled out colored sand, and it shone like the stars in the sky, forming a nebula that enveloped the area below. Leave this place, you are not her match. Ji Ziyue whispered in Yi Fan's ear. Yi Fan picked up Ji Ziyue, and rushed into the lake as fast as lightning. He didn't dare to fly out of the mountain. Once his whereabouts were exposed, he wouldn't be able to stand in this area. Quickly release my restriction. Under the lake, Ji Ziyue shook Yi Fan's shoulder with force. A faint light enveloped the two of them, and they continued to sink down. He. Ji Xiao's laughter could be heard. She was enveloped by the green light, and she quickly traversed the lake, and was about to catch up in the blink of an eye. But she also had scruples in her heart, and didn't dare to kill Ji Ziyue directly. She was afraid that the imprint in her body would rush out, and cause great trouble for her. Yi Fan rushed to the bottom of the lake and he wanted to make use of the mountain-like profound yellow essence key there. Brat, your divine power is only at the divine bridge realm. How did you catch Miss Ziyue? Ji Xia transmitted her voice, and said someone else must have made a move, and you are just here to watch over her, right? Ji Ziyue also understood Yi Fan's plan, and said think of a way to make the profound yellow essence key erupt from below. Brat, I remember that when we surrounded Yen Ryu, I seem to have seen you being protected by a few old demons. You must have some secret on you. Ji Xia's laughter gradually turned cold, and said, Looks like I will have a great harvest today. After rushing to the bottom of the lake, Yi Fan suddenly waved his fist, and smashed it into the water. Then, he raised his speed to the limit, and flew forward with Ji Ziyue. Rumble! As if the gates of hell had been opened, a vast pressure surged, as if it could tear the heaven and earth apart, and gushed out in an instant. Ji Xia just happened to rush here and on the spot, her beautiful face turned pale, and she shouted, the legendary profound yellow. A wisp of profound yellow could crush a mountain ridge, and when such a mountain-like profound yellow essence key went berserk, the terrifying power was simply unimaginable. She was scared out of her wits, and desperately flew upwards, no longer caring about chasing after Yi Fan. Ah! Ji Xia screamed miserably. In the distance, Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue still had lingering fears, and they had already rushed out of the lake, and hid far away. The lake water boiled, and huge waves surged. The profound yellow essence key surged like a huge millstone, and there was no power that could stop it. The miserable screams stopped abruptly, and Ji Xia did not rush out. Only after a long time did the lake water return to calmness. Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue stood on the shore, and the two of them did not speak for a long time, and both of them had complicated feelings. After a long time, Yi Fan finally opened his mouth. That Ji Biyue won't follow us down, right? Ji Ziyue did not respond, but pondered seriously about something, and muttered to herself, I can't go back now, and I can't show my face. The situation is very complicated. It is very complicated. Just at that moment, a cold voice sounded out. Ji Xia's hair was disheveled as she appeared behind Yi Fan, and Xiao Luo like a ghost. She was only ten or so meters away from them, and her entire body gave off a green light. 
Even the profound yellow couldn't crush you? Yi Fan was shocked. Ji Ziyue's intelligent eyes flashed with a strange light, and she said, Ji Biyue gave the divine light escape talisman to you? That's right. In order to find Miss Ziyue, I brought this divine light escape talisman and turned into lightning to search for you for many days. Ji Xia's face was ferocious, and she pressed forward eerily. Unfortunately, the talisman was just brushed by the profound yellow essence key, and it collapsed. Miss Ziyue? You can go on your way. Yi Fan blocked in front of Ji Ziyue, and said, You deceiving slave. You deserve to die. Chapter 131 Ji Xia relied on the divine light escape talisman, and turned into lightning, avoiding the crushing of the Xian Huang mother key. However, she was still seriously injured. She hated Yi Fan and said coldly, I'll tear you apart first, and then send Miss Ziyue on her way. She opened her five fingers and five divine rainbows shot out, grabbing at Yi Fan. Yi Fan was waiting for this opportunity. His physical body was extremely strong, and he was least afraid of close combat. A pair of golden fists swung out fiercely, collapsing the space on the spot. You! Ji Xia was shocked and retreated on the spot. However, it was too late. The two of them were so close and Yi Fan would not give her any chance. The first punch destroyed the five beams of divine light, shattering the five fingers that were spread out. Ah! Ji Xia screamed. Light flashed in her body and she wanted to take out her spiritual treasure. Bang! Yi Fan had already swung out his second punch. Before the spiritual treasure could rush out, it was smashed back by the golden fist. Ji Xia's sea of sufferings collapsed on the spot. Yi Fan's fist surpassed the spiritual treasure. At close range, nothing could stop him. Ji Xia screamed and her body bloomed with light. She wanted to shatter her body and severely injure Yi Fan. At this moment Yi Fan swung his fist for the third time. With a bang, it heavily smashed into her chest, penetrating it in one punch. Boom! Ji Xia was torn into pieces and collapsed in all directions. She was killed by Yi Fan with three punches. A Nirvana Realm cultivator was killed by your fists. Ji Ziyue was speechless and said, You're a beast in human form. Yi Fan's fourth punch was fixed in the air. Before the last punch was swung, a wisp of Xian Huang appeared on it and slowly disappeared as he slowly retracted his fist. This made him feel uneasy and a little surprised at the same time. He swung his fist continuously and sometimes released the Xian Huang mother key. If he could control it, this pair of fists would be extremely terrifying. You! Ji Ziyue glanced at him and said, even if it's a cultivator from the secret realm of the Dao Palace, if they don't know anything, they might suffer a great loss if they appear beside you. Yi Fan turned to look at Ji Ziyue and said, Do you think your cousin will appear here? It's hard to say. Ji Ziyue looked worried and said, I'm about to die because of you. The situation is complicated now. If my whereabouts are exposed, I might be in more danger than you. Yi Fan shook his head and said, Your Ji family's internal affairs are really complicated and cruel. You don't understand. Ji Ziyue rolled her eyes at him and did not explain anything. Instead, she sighed and said, Ji Xia, why bother? She found some leaves and covered the corpses. Yi Fan didn't mind. But suddenly, Ji Ziyue's body shone brightly and a powerful aura burst out from her. You! Yi Fan was shocked. He turned around and was about to soar into the sky. However, the surrounding space started to distort like ripples of water. Ji Ziyue was incomparably sacred. With her as the center, a hazy brilliance flowed out, imprisoning everything here. Only then did Yi Fan realize that she was holding a lightning-like divine talisman. Although it was broken, it was flowing with divine power. It was the talisman that unlocked Ji Ziyue's restriction. Divine Light Escape Talisman Sister Biyue gave it to Ji Xia to turn into lightning and search for me. She wanted to harm me, but it shattered here and saved me. Ji Ziyue chuckled. Her whole body glowed with incomparable confidence. She was radiant, and her body was crystal clear. She was shrouded in a holy aura. At this moment, she was as fresh as snow on a flowering tree, as light as the spring breeze and as clear as the moonlight. She looked spotless, ethereal and holy. She turned to look at Yi Fan and immediately smiled. A dimple appeared on her left cheek, making her look mischievous and cute. Someone, you've taken care of me these past few days. 
How do you think I should thank you? At this point, Yi Fan had nothing to worry about. He said nonchalantly, Just devote yourself to me. Ji Ziyue smiled sweetly. Her smile was very sweet as she walked over gracefully. She pinched Yi Fan's cheek and said, Little brat, how dare you treat me like that? Hey, Ji Ziyue, I risked my life to save your life just now. You can't bite the hand that feeds you. Yi Fan felt very guilty. At least you still have some conscience. You didn't abandon me and run away. Otherwise, you would be lying on the ground now. Ji Ziyue tilted her head and looked at him with a sweet smile. However, this made Yi Fan's hair stand on end. What do you want? Ji Ziyue revealed an incomparably charming smile and said, I want to bite you. At this point, she drowned her sparkling little canine teeth, and then she bit down. After being captured for so long, what she wanted to do the most was to bite Yi Fan a few times. Otherwise, it would be difficult to vent the anger in her heart. Yi Fan was sealed by her and could not move at all. Even though he had a treasure body, he could not endure it without divine power circulating. He grimaced on the spot and shouted, There's no need to be so intimate. Immediately after, he screamed miserably. Ji Ziyue hated him so much that she bit him repeatedly. Men and women should not touch each other. Don't be like this. Yi Fan shouted, Scream loudly. It's useless even if you scream until your throat breaks. Ji Ziyue smiled sweetly, her little canine teeth grinding. Yi Fan was completely speechless. Why did her words sound so awkward? I say, Ji Ziyue, show mercy. I'm about to be bitten into a sieve by you. Little brat, you're not even fourteen years old, and you're already bullying me. Ji Ziyue said hatefully as she bit Yi Fan's ear. Yi Fan felt like he was in deep water. This was the first time he had encountered such a punishment. He shouted, Ji Ziyue, don't go too far. I want to go too far and bite you to death. Her smile did not diminish as she kept grinding her teeth. What you're doing is too unladylike. It's not dignified to bite people. Yi Fan wanted to cry but no tears came out. Scream, scream as hard as you can. Scream until your throat breaks. Ji Ziyue looked so smart and beautiful but her current performance made Yi Fan Ru completely speechless. You're molesting me. Yi Fan did not want to say such words passively. Their roles should have been reversed. Pui, you little brat. You're just fourteen years old. Do you know what molestation is? Ji Ziyue pinched his cheek and kneaded it forcefully. Ji Ziyue, you're a future immortal. You've lost your composure like this. Immortals are also humans. They also have anger. After bullying me for so long, I can't wait to bite you to death. Ah. Yi Fan shouted. Ji Ziyue bit him again before retreating and said, What the hell are you shouting for? I was molested by a bad girl. Ji Ziyue's face immediately turned red and said, Little brat, you're still being stubborn. You're really asking for a beating. I give up. Don't bite anymore. My entire body is soft. Pui, your words are so unpleasant. After venting most of her anger, Ji Ziyue finally felt a little embarrassed. Her jade face was rosy. We're even now. Can you let me go now? Dream on. This is just the beginning. Ji Ziyue lifted his chin. Her dimples were faintly discernible as she smiled seductively and said, Little brat, you actually have designs on my ancient scriptures and even dare to tease me. You're really audacious. What do you want? Yi Fan said weakly. Don't be so dejected. Come, little brat, smile for big sister. Ji Ziyue lifted Yi Fan's chin. Her big eyes narrowed into crescents as she smiled radiantly. I think we should call out our identities. Hearing Yi Fan's words, Ji Ziyue smiled even more brilliantly and said I'll treat you well. Ah. Uh, another round of deep water heat. Half a day later, Yi Fan was completely freed. The teeth marks on his body were lined up in a very orderly manner. Give me half of the mother of heaven key. I can't control it. There's no way for it to flow out. Liar. Relatively speaking, Ji Ziyue was still considered soft-hearted. She did not torture Yi Fan intensely. There are many secrets on you. I want to slowly dig them out. Green copper piece, myriad key, and your precious body. She glanced sideways at Yi Fan and said, My cousin wants to kill me. If we meet, I'll create an opportunity for you to get close to her. With the strength of your body, You'll definitely make her suffer. You're treating me as cannon fodder. 
Yi Fan rolled his eyes and said if my body was strong enough, I wouldn't have been imprisoned by you. I have a secret treasure on me. As long as my divine power circulates steadily, you naturally won't be able to act violently around me. Ji Ziyue rolled her eyes at him and said, My cousin definitely won't be on guard against you. When the time comes, you'll definitely succeed. Your existence is like a sharp sword in the darkness. I want to give her a surprise. I want to see who else wants to deal with me. When things calm down, I'll drag them all out. Ji Ziyue felt that the situation outside was complicated and did not dare to show her face. She wanted to hide for a while and secretly observe who wanted to deal with her. She suddenly thought of something and her eyes revealed joy. She said, looking at the time, the day of the Supreme Mystery Sect Disciple Recruitment is almost here. Why don't we hide in the Supreme Mystery Sect? This place was the location of the Supreme Mystery Sect. The 108 main peaks were not far from here. The Supreme Mystery Sect was extremely powerful. In this area, other than the Ji Clan and the Yaoguang Holy Land, no other sect could suppress them. Even our Ji Clan is not willing to easily provoke the Supreme Mystery Sect. If we were to say where is the safest in this area, it would undoubtedly be this sect. The Ji Clan will not send people to search. As long as we hide inside, there will be no danger. Two days later, Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue appeared in the mountain range where the Supreme Mystery Sect was located. In front of them, the mountains were towering and majestic. They were also very beautiful and could be called magnificent. Among them, the 108 main peaks were the most magnificent. Of course, it was impossible to see all of them. Only a dozen or so main peaks could be seen. Immortal cranes danced in the air, spirit palaces were faintly discernible, and clouds and mist lingered around them. It was very peaceful. They blended in with the crowd that had come to pay respects to their masters and smoothly entered the mountain gate without any accidents. There are 100 main peaks here. Let's choose a more remote one that no one cares about, Yi Fan suggested. Yes, that should be the case. Inside the Supreme Mystery Sect, there were many disciples maintaining order in front of the mountain gate. Suddenly, Yi Fan saw a familiar figure. Her white clothes fluttered in the wind. She was graceful and elegant. She was very beautiful and otherworldly. She's actually here. Yi Fan was shocked. He had already recognized that it was Li Xiaoman. Although he had already guessed that it was impossible for her to die in the ancient desolate forbidden area, he did not expect her to join the Supreme Mystery Sect. Did you meet an acquaintance? Ji Ziyue revealed a charming smile and said, Little brat, there's something wrong with the way I look at you. It's okay, if there's a grudge, Big Sister will help you vent your anger. Chapter 132 Yi Fan felt that he and Li Xiaoman were already as calm as water. The only relationship they could have was that they were stranded in this world together. Apart from that, it was difficult to have anything else. All the bits and pieces of the past had long passed with time, becoming blooming fireworks. He had also thought that although they could not be together, and were no longer as touched as before, they could still be friends. But the last time they met, he felt that it was wishful thinking. Yi Fan did not intend to acknowledge Li Xiaoman. Instead of feeling that indifference, it was better to brush past her like a stranger. Before coming to the Taishian Gate, Ji Ziyue had smeared her pink cheeks, almost turning into a little tabby cat. Only her big eyes were still very lively, and at this moment, they were curved into crescent moons. She had captured the change in Yi Fan's mood. In the Endless Mountains, there were 108 main peaks, representing 108 kinds of legacies. They were the root of the Taishian Gate's everlasting prosperity. Even though some of the legacies were showing signs of decline, there were still other legacies that were rising. After the change of dynasties and the passage of time, the Taishian Gate had always stood tall. Inside the gate, the terrain was open, and people were surging. There were tens of thousands of people gathered here, but it was not crowded at all. They were all waiting for the selection, and this was only the first day. It would last for seven days. If there were so many people every day, one could imagine how many people would come here. These people came from dozens of surrounding countries, and they all had a certain amount of talent, but only a very small number could stay. They had to be extremely talented and outstanding. So exaggerated? In front of him, there was a sea of people. Yi Fan was quite surprised. This was even stricter than the emperor choosing his concubine. 
Ji Ziyue glanced at him and said, Of course, the Taishian Gate is very famous. At its peak, its strength was enough to rank in the top 100 of the Eastern Barren Territory. It is a rare superforce that has existed for more than 10,000 years. If that's the case, isn't your Ji family even more terrifying? It is hard for me to imagine how powerful your family is and how strong they are. The clan of the ancients and the holy land have existed for a long time and cannot be measured. Even I have no way of truly understanding how deep their heritage is. Hearing this, Yi Fan could only suck in a breath of cold air. He had no way of figuring out just how terrifying such a transcendent ancient clan was. Little brat, why do I feel like you don't have any concept of the major powers? You don't understand them at all. Don't call me a brat. Yi Fan felt very uncomfortable with this form of address. Ji Ziyue chuckled and messed up his black hair, saying, You don't look more than 13 or 14 years old, yet you want to act like an old man and pretend to be an adult. Seriously, at this moment, dozens of figures flew over from the 108 main peaks in the distance. All of them had white hair that draped over their shoulders. They were all hale and hearty old men. They were both men and women, and they looked like old immortals. They floated in midair, looking down at the tens of thousands of people below. One of them spoke. His words were concise and to the point, and his voice spread to every corner. Everyone could hear him. According to what the old man said, the most initial test only required one to pass through a door of immortality, and it was utterly impossible to pass if one didn't possess a mortal fate. Only after passing through this door could one go to the 108 main peaks to take the test. If one was suitable for the inheritance of a certain peak, they could stay and become a disciple of the Taishian sect. Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue blended into the crowd and followed the crowd forward. Soon, they arrived in front of the mysterious door. It was a thousand meters tall and formed from a natural stone barrier. Inside was a misty and endless canyon. Although many people entered, 90% of them were sent back by the immortal light and were considered to have no immortal fate. This natural barrier of the Taishian sect that looks like a stone door is said to have been refined by the 19th generation patriarch. Those who are not suitable for cultivation cannot pass through, many people whispered. Many of those who were sent out were very unwilling and walked forward again, but the result was no different. There were many young disciples of the Taishian sect guarding this place, and no one dared to cause trouble. After being sent back several times, those people had no choice but to leave. When it was Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue's turn, the two of them didn't have anything to be nervous about. They walked in at the same time as hundreds of people. Ji Ziyue easily passed and lightly stepped forward, but at this moment, there was a flash of light, and Yi Fan was sent back. This guy's physique is clearly tyrannical. How can he be so useless? Ji Ziyue's small mouth formed an O shape, her face full of disbelief. Yi Fan had just sealed off the fluctuations of his divine power. The sea of bitterness was as hard as divine iron, unshakable, and as expected, he was sent back. He instantly understood the reason. His face flushed red, and his heart did not jump. He walked forward again. People around him made fun of him, but he did not care. This time, he overflowed with a bit of divine power, and without any accidents, he smoothly passed. This surprised the people outside who were waiting to see him make a fool of himself. You, what happened just now? Ji Ziyue's expression was filled with curiosity. She sized him up and said, Your physique is very special. There must be some secret. In the end, only a few thousand people remained from the tens of thousands of people. They headed towards the 108 main peaks to search for their own immortal opportunities. Many of them would still fail and only a few would be able to stay. In the depths of the Supreme Mystery Sect, there were countless beautiful mountain peaks. Among them, the 108 main peaks were the most magnificent. Some of the main peaks were filled with celestial music. Clouds and mist floated about, and multicolored light flickered. Some of the main peaks were full of vitality. The waterfall was thousands of feet long, and it fell down like the Milky Way falling from the nine heavens. On some of the main peaks, Immortal cranes danced in the air and heavenly palaces floated in the air. It was extremely auspicious, as if it was a pure land outside of the world. Those palaces are not located on the mountains, but floating on the clouds. Yi Fan was deeply shocked. What's so strange about this? 
it's only natural for such a superpower to do so. Our family still has an ancient city that will never fall, this. Yi Fan could only sigh silently, I'll wait here for a while. I'll observe in the dark to see who wants to deal with me. When the time comes, I'll drag them all out. Ji Ziyue blinked her large eyes and then said, However, since we've come here, we can't come here for nothing. The Supreme Mystery Sect has a few legendary mysterious ancient techniques that are unique. Even the Holy Lands and the ancient clans are envious of them. Yi Fan was very tempted and said, Then what's there to hesitate about? Let's choose the main peak that has this kind of inheritance. Unfortunately, it's said that those ancient techniques have almost been lost and have been in decline for many years. We can only try our luck. Ji Ziyue came from the ancient clans and was very knowledgeable. She had a certain understanding of the Supreme Mystery Sect. In the end, the two of them walked towards a very desolate main peak. This main peak was not very majestic. It was only 3,000 meters tall. There were dozens of subordinate peaks that belonged to it, and many of them were even taller than the main peak. It was obvious that this was a declining inheritance. This place was very quiet, and there was almost no one in sight. The main peak could be said to be a forest of ancient trees and old vines. It was very desolate, as if no one had appeared in a long time. Although it is one of the 108 main peaks and represents a powerful inheritance, it seems that it has completely declined. This place is too desolate, and there isn't even a disciple guarding the mountain gate. Yi Fan felt that it was difficult to gain anything. Ji Ziyue rubbed her little flower face, and then two beams of divine light shot out from her big eyes, almost turning into a tangible substance, and began to sweep across the main peak in front of her. In the past, this main peak was incomparably prosperous. Unfortunately, 500 years ago, the master of this peak fought with the supreme elder of the Yaoguang Holy Land and perished together. The inheritance was almost severed. Then why are we still here? Yi Fan did not understand. The 108 main peaks of the Supreme Mystery Sect have never truly lost their inheritance, because each main peak is a natural scripture. Even if it has declined for hundreds or even thousands of years, sooner or later it will flourish again. The scripture will appear and the inheritance will open again. What exactly is here that makes you so interested? Legend has it that this peak has a kind of immortal technique that has unfathomable power, making all the holy lands jealous. Jizuyue's eyes lit up. Immortal technique? That's right, because it is too mysterious, almost demonic, almost immortal, that is why it is called immortal technique. What's so special about it? Yi Fan was very curious, and felt that this kind of inheritance must be extraordinary. If this kind of immortal technique is cultivated and used, it can occasionally increase a person's combat power by several times, or even ten times. Ji Ziyue was very yearning. This was a mysterious inheritance. When this technique was used, it could sometimes unleash several times the strength of one's body. Although it could only happen occasionally and could not succeed every time, it was still very terrifying. If it was accidentally triggered when fighting against an enemy, it would often cause unimaginable lethality. There's such a technique? Yi Fan was very excited. It is said that there was a very mysterious ancient scripture that did not record profound mental cultivation methods. It only recorded nine kinds of secret techniques, and it was as famous as the Tao scripture, the Void scripture, and other immortal scriptures. Unfortunately, that ancient scripture was split up, and it was difficult for the nine secret techniques to appear at the same time. They were scattered in all directions, and some of the secret techniques might even disappear forever. Rumor has it that the immortal technique of this main peak was one of the nine secret techniques back then. Just nine secret techniques are comparable to the ancient scriptures of the holy lands. Yi Fan sucked in a breath of cold air. The inheritance of this main peak was one of the nine secrets, and it had a great origin. I hope I can find this secret technique. Divine light circulated in Ji Ziyue's eyes. Is this the only secret technique in the Supreme Mystery Sect? Ji Ziyue nodded and said, It is already fate that they were able to obtain a secret technique. At this moment, it was quiet and desolate. The mountain gate at the foot of the main peak was overgrown with weeds, and it did not look like a celestial mountain at all. On an ancient tree not far away, a few crows cawed loudly and flapped their wings to fly. The path on the mountain was completely flooded by thorns, and the vegetation was messy. 
It seemed that no one had cleaned it for a long time. At this moment, a stooped, trembling old man walked out of a dilapidated palace on the mountain and walked down. Are you here to take the test? His old eyes were turbid as he said, It's been five hundred years, and the inheritance still hasn't appeared. It's almost severed. I don't know how long it will take. If you come here, you will only be wasting your time. We're not afraid. We have plenty of time to wait. GZUS smiled very sweetly and went forward to support the old man. She was very lively and intelligent. There were many palaces on the 3,000-meter-high main peak, but many of them had collapsed. Ancient trees had fallen on them, vines were everywhere, and the weeds in the courtyard were half the height of a person. This is almost becoming a wilderness. Yes, the inheritance hasn't appeared. Who would be willing to come here? It's naturally desolate. The old man sighed again and again. At this moment, more than ten divine rainbows rushed past, flying towards the main peak in front of them. Yi Fan did not expect to see Li Xiaoman again so soon. She was already a life spring realm cultivator and could fly on rainbows. The main peak in front is extremely prosperous. You might as well choose the inheritance there instead of this peak, the old man suggested with good intentions. We only care about the inheritance of this peak. GZUS smiled faintly. The old man nodded with a smile and said, Good, you have ambition. You must know that the inheritance of this peak is one of the legendary nine secrets. I hope you can obtain it. Chapter 133 The humble peak, like its name, had no beautiful scenery, no majestic presence, no celestial roots, and nothing special about it. It was ordinary and almost desolate like a wilderness. Withered vines, old trees, crows, and the blood-colored sun was setting in the west. It was gloomy and did not look like a main peak of a celestial sect at all. The humble peak had broken walls, endless rubble, weeds, and thorns everywhere. Even the mountain path was gone. In the sky, seven or eight shadows flew past. When they passed by here, they all paused and then landed. These were a few young disciples, all in their twenties. Seeing that this main peak that had been desolate for many years, they were surprised that someone had come to search for celestial fate. So they came to take a look. Greetings, Uncle Master Li. There were both men and women among them. After they bowed to the old man, they sized up Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue. Senior, what kind of test do we have? Yi Fan asked what kind of test they had to go through. This skinny, seemingly weak old man was the only disciple of the humble peak. His name was Li Royu. He shook his head and said, Actually, there is no need for a test. No one has come here for many years. If you insist on staying, you all pass. At the side, the seven or eight young Taishian disciples all chuckled. They could not understand why these two would choose a declining main peak. I guess these two's talent is terrible. It is impossible for them to be chosen by the other main peaks, so they came here to take the test. These two are smart and want to use this method to stay, but they don't know that it is useless. Once they choose this mountain, they can't join other main peaks. For many years, there have always been people who think they are smart, but in the end, they still leave with their tails between their legs. These young disciples discussed and snickered. They were the disciples of the main peak in front. The inheritance there was extremely prosperous now. GZUS smeared her pink cheeks until she looked like a kitten. Only her big eyes were full of spirit. She glanced at the disciples and then looked at the old man, Senior Lee. Let's follow the rules and give us the test we deserve. There is no need. Li Royu shook his head. Uncle Master Li, since they want to take the test to prove themselves, then give them a chance. Not far away, the disciples were all chuckling. Yeah, maybe they really do have the immortal bone and can bring glory to the humble peak. Uncle Master Li, why don't you test them out? This was also a reflection of the decline of the humble peak. If it was any other peak that was flourishing, they would definitely not dare to interrupt like this. Even if they wanted to ascend the mountain, they would have to go through a report first. However, it also showed that the old man had a good temper. All right. Li Royu nodded. He was old and clumsy as he walked out of the dilapidated palace. The peak of the humble peak was covered in rubble, and there wasn't a single intact building. Inside, there was a spacious area. There were nine level jade stone steps there. Even though time passed, time slipping away, the jade was still sparkling and translucent, not damaged, looking extremely gentle. 
so it's the nine steps to heaven stairway test. A female disciple was surprised, as the only disciple and elder of the humble peak, Li Royu sighed and said, five hundred years ago, all the disciples of the Taishian sect wanted to step onto the nine heaven ladder and become a disciple of the humble peak. How glorious it was in the past. There really is a nine steps to heaven stairway. I've heard of it before, but I didn't think it would be on the humble peak. Now, the nine steps to heaven stairway are almost buried in dust. This place is cold and deserted, no longer having the glory of the past. Who would still be willing to climb the nine steps to heaven stairway? This place is not what it used to be. The door is deserted, and it has long since declined. The seven or eight young disciples whispered, very disapproving, and their words were full of contempt. In the past, how many amazing characters climbed the heaven stairway and were proud of it? Li Royu sighed. Uncle Li, you can't always remember the past. Several young disciples chuckled, very disapproving. The so-called test is to climb the nine steps. Ji Ziyue was very curious. She felt that there was nothing special about such a test. Yes, you can go and try. Li Royu nodded. The future genius of the humble peak, let's see if you can pass the test. You must stand firm. Don't be unable to cross even one step. Several young Taishian disciples chuckled, thinking that Ji Ziyue and Yi Fan were just playing petty tricks. They didn't believe that they could pass the test. Facing the teasing, Ji Ziyue didn't care at all. Her steps were light, like a butterfly, and she walked towards the nine steps to heaven stairway. The so-called nine steps to heaven stairway was made from nine kinds of ancient jade. The colors were all different, and there was no dazzling divine light, only specks of crystal. Ji Ziyue climbed the first jade step. The green ancient jade flickered, rippling out. She seemed very relaxed. She took another step, and the second jade step immediately appeared red, specks of scarlet light. She felt the pressure, and her brows furrowed slightly. When the third step landed, the blue ancient jade scattered down, becoming crystal clear. She felt that her steps were heavy. The fourth step, the fifth step. When she reached the seventh step, she felt that it was difficult to take another step. It was as heavy as a mountain, and her body was drenched in sweat. She didn't know that Li Ruyu was already shocked when she climbed the third step. When she reached the seventh step, he was already dumbfounded. Thump! Ji Ziyue took the eighth step. The ancient jade shone, and the purple jade stairway was under her feet. She felt like she was carrying the blue sky on her back, and she couldn't breathe. Thump! When she took the ninth step, she stepped on the last step. Instantly, heavenly music sounded, five-colored light shot up to the sky, and a seven-colored divine light appeared. She successfully climbed the nine steps to heaven stairway, and the humble peak was full of strange phenomena. This. Li Royu's face was full of shock, and his body was trembling slightly. He couldn't believe what he just saw. He muttered to himself, in the past, I heard that those who could reach the seventh step were already considered peerless geniuses. Since the humble peak has been passed down, I don't even know if anyone has reached the ninth step. At the side, the young disciples were full of disbelief. They didn't expect this to be the result. The declining humble peak actually welcomed a peerless genius. Ji Ziyue understood the situation and immediately regretted it. She thought that she had to step on every step, but she didn't think that it was unnecessary. She secretly stuck out her tongue and muttered to herself with a frown, It's over. I didn't want to be in the limelight here. What should I do now? That's impossible. Is she even more talented than the previous ones? After so many years, the nine steps to heaven stairway is most likely damaged. Otherwise, how could she pass all of them? The young disciples found it hard to believe. At this moment, a green rainbow flew over from the main peak. A middle-aged man in his forties or fifties landed and cupped his hands at Li Ruyu. Greetings, Senior Marshal Brother Li. Greetings, Uncle Master. The young disciples at the side bowed to the middle-aged man. I saw a strange phenomenon flashing past the humble peak just now, so I came to take a look. What happened? Uncle Master, just now. The young disciples quickly recounted what happened just now. What? The middle-aged man was also shocked. Silhouettes flashed, and another seven or eight silhouettes landed. Their hair and beards were all white, and they also came from the main peak, Star Peak. 
After these people understood the situation, they were all shocked. They then invited Li Ruoyu to the side, looking embarrassed. Not to mention Li Ruoyu, even the young disciples at the side could guess what they were thinking. They must be shocked by Ji Ziyue's talent, and wanted to take her in as a disciple of Star Peak. I understand what you mean. Li Ruoyu sighed and said now that the humble peak has declined, letting such a talent stay here is really a hindrance to her cultivation. As long as she is willing, you can take her away. The few old men cupped their hands at Li Ruoyu to express their gratitude. Snatching a disciple like this made them feel ashamed. In an instant, Ji Ziyue was completely surrounded by the few old men of Star Peak. All of them were extremely kind, as if they were looking at a treasure, and kept nodding. Hey, 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 white-bearded old grandpas, can you not laugh like that? Why do I feel like you're a big bad wolf? Ji Ziyue muttered in dissatisfaction. The few old men laughed, and did not mind. They took turns to praise Ji Ziyue, telling her about the glory of Star Peak, and directly stating that they wanted to take her in as a disciple. I only want to join the humble peak. I'm not interested in the other main peaks. The humble peak has declined for many years, and there are no inheritances left behind. Star Peak is extremely prosperous, and is now one of the top three out of the 108 main peaks. But I'm really not interested in Star Peak. The few young disciples at the side were all stunned. The few old men persuaded like this, but there was actually someone who did not appreciate it at all, and did not care at all. If this spread out, everyone's jaws would probably fall to the ground. You must want to learn that legendary secret technique, right? But it has been lost for many years, and you won't get it even if you stay here. The few old men guided patiently, taking turns to speak. Once you join the humble peak, you can't join the other main peaks, but the disciples of the other peaks can choose again. Yeah, you can join my star peak first. If the inheritance here reappears, you can come back. On the side, the disciples were very upset. They had never thought that the elders of Star Peak would be so humble in order to accept a disciple. This was really incomparable. Let me think about it. Ji Ziyue accidentally made a name for herself, which was not in line with her original intention. Her big eyes turned and she said, Well, I can join Star Peak, but don't let them talk nonsense. She pointed to the few young disciples next to her. She wanted to hide in the Taishan sect and did not want to be noticed too early. You can rest assured. The few old men of Star Peak all laughed. Ji Ziyue knew that the Taishan sect, as a super force, would definitely investigate the identity of the new disciples, but she did not care much. Even if the other side knew, it would not matter. As long as she could hide for a few months and temporarily leave the sight of the people of the Ji family who wanted to harm her, it would be fine. Even if the Taishian sect found out her true identity, they would definitely turn a blind eye, and it was very likely that they would use this to establish a relationship with the Ji family elders. The final result was that Ji Ziyue would join Star Peak in a Loki manner and become their disciple. There is one more person, let's see how his aptitude is. The people present were also very interested in Yi Fan's aptitude. He came here with Ji Ziyue, maybe he was also a genius. Yi Fan completely sealed the sea of bitterness. It was as hard as divine iron, without a single ripple. He did not want to casually expose his own physique. Walking like a dragon and walking like a tiger, his aptitude should be extraordinary. Before the people next to him finished speaking, Yi Fan had already stepped onto the first step of the heaven stairway. With a flash of green light, he flew back a few meters and fell to the ground. This. He hasn't even crossed the first step? This kind of aptitude is too. The people next to him all stopped talking, feeling quite speechless. Junior brothers, please make an exception and take him into Star Peak as well, Li Ruoyu said for Yi Fan. This. The few old men of Star Peak pondered for a while, but in the end, they still nodded. They had stolen a genius, so they had to take into account Li Ruoyu's feelings no matter what. Thank you seniors for your kindness, but I don't want to join Star Peak, I just want to stay here. Yi Fan bowed to them and said, The few elders present all looked at each other. What was going on today? Since when did Humble Peak become so attractive? The extremely prosperous Star Peak was rejected time and time again. It was understandable that the previous geniuses were arrogant because of their talent. But now, a frowning aptitude young man actually did the same. It was really a blow to them. At the side, 
the few young disciples were almost going crazy. Back then, they went through untold hardships and went through all kinds of tests before they stood out from the crowd and became disciples of Star Peak. They did not expect that there would be people constantly ignoring Star Peak today. This made them feel rather uneasy. It was fine if it was a genius, but even such a young man did the same. How could they endure this? Jizuya blinked her big eyes and smiled. It's good that you stay here. This peak was their target. Only that secret technique was something they were interested in. In the end, Star Peak's group flew away on a rainbow and disappeared. Only Yi Fan and Li Ruoyu were left at the humble peak. As night fell, the stars in the distance sprinkled down like water. The star peak ahead looked very ethereal as it was enveloped by endless radiance. Yi Fan gazed into the distance and felt a little surprised. The star peak actually attracted the stars in the sky. The endless radiance condensed and became hazy like water, like an immortal realm. Li Ruoyu stood at the peak and said, That is the star peak's inheritance using the stars as the origin power. When cultivated to the extreme, one can even communicate with the stars and let the radiance enter the body, achieving a supreme immortal physique with unparalleled battle prowess. I believe that humble peak is not weaker than star peak and will rise again. Yi Fan was indeed very interested in the power of the stars, but he was more interested in the humble peak's secret technique. Five hundred years ago, the humble peak was shrouded in immortal mist and auspicious colors. Jade palaces were located high up in the clouds and experts came forth in large numbers. It could be said to be a place of great heroes. Unfortunately, it gradually declined. How can we make the inheritance reappear? The heaven stares. Yi Fan suspected that there might be a secret technique inside the nine steps to heaven. Li Ruoyu shook his head and said, The entire main peak is the scripture, the inheritance is not inside the nine steps to heaven. Only when the humble peak shines brightly and is surrounded by immortal energy does it mean that the inheritance has reappeared. Does it have to be like this? Yi Fan didn't believe it. In the past 10,000 years, there has only been one accident. Before the inheritance appeared, a predecessor obtained the cultivation method of the secret technique. In the end, his achievement was comparable to the great existences of the ancient era. His mana was unparalleled. Li Ruoyu sighed. How did he obtain it? Yi Fan's eyes brightened. No one knows. Before he died, he only said twelve words. Which twelve words? Great success is like imperfection. Great excess is like rushing. Great skill is like clumsiness. Chapter 134 That night, Yi Fan sat cross-legged at the top of the humble peak. His powerful will rushed out from the golden lake between his eyebrows, constantly searching the mountain. Unfortunately, he did not feel anything unusual about the humble peak. If the entire main peak was a scripture, he was a little confused and felt that it was very mysterious. In the dead of night, the starry peak in front of them became even more resplendent. Starlight sprinkled down from the sky, pure white and translucent. It was as if auspicious snow was fluttering in the air, or as if white jade was descending. It made people feel an enormous power of the stars. Hiss, Yi Fan gasped. This kind of inheritance was too magical. With so much power of the stars gathered together, it shone brilliantly and nourished the body for a long time. There must be unimaginable benefits. This made him a little envious. This kind of cultivation method had its uniqueness. No wonder Taishian's sect had stood tall for tens of thousands of years. The 108 main peaks were really extraordinary. Yi Fan put aside his thoughts and began to cultivate the scripture of the way. He was constantly improving his cultivation and had never wasted any time. His heart gradually calmed down. The scripture of the way was the top cultivation method for the secret realm of reincarnation. At least in the eastern barren territory, no ancient scripture could surpass it. It was not until midnight that he stopped and said to himself, Once I finish cultivating the secret realm of reincarnation, I will start to prepare the cultivation method for the secret realm of the Holy Ji Palace. I don't know when I can go to the Jade Lake Sacred Land. He had no hope for the scripture of the void. Moreover, it was said that the ancient scripture of the Jade Lake Sacred Land was the strongest cultivation method for the secret realm of the Holy Ji Palace. That was the method he wanted the most. Yi Fan's mind was calm. He fell asleep and let the moonlight fall on him. He lay on his side on the bluestone, shrouded in thin smoke, 
looking ethereal and otherworldly. There was an advantage to joining the humble peak. The only disciple of the peak, Li Royu, had no time or experience to investigate Yi Fan's past. If he joined the other main peaks, his identity and background would be like transparent water, and he would be thoroughly investigated. The next day, Yi Fan began to explore the humble peak. He went all over the mountain and did not find a single spirit medicine or spirit root. It was no different from the wilderness. Flap, flap, flap. A few ominous crows cawed loudly and flew up from a withered old tree, making this quiet place seem even more desolate. It was really hard for him to imagine that such a desolate place was the main peak of the supreme profound sect, representing a powerful inheritance. At noon, he returned to the top of the mountain. The dilapidated palace hall and the courtyard were covered with wormwood that was half a man's height. A wild rabbit scuttled out of it, which made him feel quite speechless. Bang! He picked up a rock and threw it out. The hare fell to the ground and a bonfire was started. Not long after, the fragrance of meat wafted out. The rabbit meat was roasted until it was golden and glossy. The fat dripped into the bonfire and made a sizzling sound. Humble peak, withered vines, dead trees, old crows nesting, ancient palaces, wild hares scurrying away, really. Yi Fan muttered to himself. In the distance, in the dilapidated palace, Old man Li Ruoyu glanced at him, but didn't pay much attention to him. He closed his eyes and quietened down like a withered tree. At this moment someone mocked, the 108 main peaks represent the 108 powerful inheritances of the supreme profound sect. The peak of the main peak is the most holy and is the place of inheritance. Now it is set ablaze and the mortal meat stinks. Only the humble peak is like this. A somewhat arrogant young man wearing a blue robe descended on a divine rainbow. His head was raised very high, and he frowned at the bonfire. What, are you hungry? Do you want to eat? Yi Fan said these two words lightly and with a mocking expression. The blue-clothed young man did not think that a disciple who had just entered the sect would dare to contradict him like this. His face suddenly darkened and he said, How dare you? How dare you blaspheme the peak of the main peak? Do you know your crime? I say, who are you? Where did you come from? How strange. Yi Fan was indifferent and did not look at him directly. He was busy roasting the rabbit meat. Do you not understand what I said? The blue-clothed young man walked forward and stood in front of him. He looked down at Yi Fan and said, How can the main peak light an ordinary fire and let the mortal meat stink? Yi Fan was very casual. He constantly flipped the rabbit meat on the bonfire, and his mouth was unforgiving. He said, if the fragrant rabbit meat stinks, then what is your soft and tender skin? Stinky skin? The blue-clothed young man was originally just being sarcastic and did not have any other thoughts. He did not think that Yi Fan would not fear him and would continue to ridicule him. His anger surged and he shouted, this is the holy land of the celestial sect. How dare you blaspheme here? There are no fairies here, and there are no goddesses. What have I blasphemed? Yi Fan took the golden rabbit meat from the bonfire, tore off a leg, and began to enjoy it. He no longer paid attention to him. You are audacious, acting as you please on the main peak. You have disgraced Tai Xian. Your sin cannot be forgiven. The blue-clothed young man was as dark as water. He pressed forward and was about to attack. Don't accuse me. What audacious? Disgracing Tai Xian? What are you talking about? Yi Fan glanced at him and said, Don't act like a senior in front of me. I will take you down and send you to heaven's punishment cliff. The blue-clothed young man sneered. He reached out a hand and was about to grab. Wait. Yi Fan stopped him and glanced at him. He said, Where did you come from? Elder Li of the humble peak is here. And even he did not say anything. Who are you to the humble peak that you dare to point fingers here? As a disciple of Tai Xian, I naturally have to protect the important grounds of the celestial sect. The blue-clothed young man spread his fingers and wanted to grab Yi Fan's neck and lift him up. Yi Fan shouted towards the dilapidated hall in the distance, Elder Li Ruoyu, the humble peak is the inheritance of our bloodline. Can the disciples of the other main peaks control us? Apart from the headmaster and the grand elder, the other main peaks have no right to interfere. Everything is up to us. Elder Li Ruoyu's voice sounded. 
so, he has trespassed into the important grounds of my humble peak and committed an unforgivable sin. Yi Fan flashed to the side and avoided the throat grabbing. He picked up a stone from the ground and slammed it forward as fast as lightning. Slap! The stone slammed into the face of the blue-clothed young man. Blood flowed from his nose and mouth. He swayed and swayed. The pain made tears and mucus flow down his face. He almost fell to the ground. Trespassing into the important grounds of the humble peak, you are audacious and disgraced Taishian. You should be punished. Yi Fan turned around and accused him. He swung his right arm and slammed the stone in his hand on the face of the blue-clothed young man. He was completely stunned. Blood flowed from his nose and saliva flew. Slap, slap. The blue-clothed young man was knocked out by Yi Fan. His mouth was crooked and his eyes were slanted. He fell to the ground and twitched. After a long time, he woke up. At this time, Li Royu walked over and asked, What are you doing here? The blue-clothed young man was completely awake. He immediately remembered what happened and was about to go crazy. He was knocked out. His expression changed and he could not stand it. He was about to pounce on Yi Fan. Elder Li Royu's face darkened and he said, How dare you? Greetings, Elder Uncle. The man in blue shuddered. He suppressed his anger and held back his impulse. He bowed his head and saluted. The competition between the disciples of the main peaks will begin in three months. I'm here to deliver a letter. After saying that, he handed over a letter. I understand. You can leave. Li Royu nodded. The blue-clothed young man looked at Yi Fan. His eyes flashed with coldness. He then turned around and left. Next time, don't make a fuss in the other main peaks. Don't think of yourself as a grand elder. Yi Fan mocked from behind. You. The blue-clothed young man was furious. However, he did not dare to make a move in front of Elder Li Royu. He soared into the sky and flew towards the star peak. Li Royu glanced at Yi Fan. He did not say anything. He trembled and returned to the dilapidated hall. He closed his eyes and continued to meditate. Great accomplishment is like imperfection. Great abundance is like rushing. Great skill is like clumsiness. Yi Fan muttered to himself. He carefully pondered these words and began to wander around the humble peak. Half an hour later, several figures landed and stopped Yi Fan halfway up the mountain. The blue-clothed young man was among them. Who are you? Why are you entering and leaving my humble peak? Yi Fan glanced at them. He knew that they were from the star peak. You really don't know the rules. You have to salute when you see your senior brother. Why aren't you coming over to salute? One of them sneered. Who are you? Why should I salute you? Yi Fan casually moved closer to them. Except for the blue-clothed young man, the others all laughed. It's rare for the humble peak to have a disciple. It looks interesting. We won't be lonely anymore. As your senior brother, let me teach you how to understand the rules. When you see us in the future, you have to bow and show respect. Do you understand? One of the young men wanted to press down on Yi Fan's head. He wanted him to lower his head and salute. Another one kicked his calf. He wanted him to kneel. What are you doing? Yi Fan dodged to the side. This is a main peak. It represents a kind of inheritance. People from other main peaks can't come and go as they please. Ha! Everyone laughed. Do we need permission to enter the humble peak? What's the difference between this place and a barren mountain? You can come and go as you please. Two of them pressed down on Yi Fan's head. The other two kicked his legs. They wanted him to kneel. If it was any other main peak, would you dare to do this? Yi Fan took a few steps back. You've gone too far. What a naive little guy. Let me teach you how to recognize the situation. I also want to say the same thing to you. Yi Fan grabbed the arm that was pressing down on his head. Crack. He twisted it. The sound of bones breaking could be heard. At the same time, he swept his right leg across, kicking the two youths who were trying to kick him and force him to kneel down to the ground. The blue-clothed young man and the other man's expression changed. They leaped into the air and wanted to fly away. Boom! A thousand-pound boulder, even faster than lightning, soared high into the sky and heavily crashed into their bodies. Ah, screams could be heard. The two of them were smashed down by Yi Fan's boulder. They were seriously injured. Many of their bones were broken. 
Yi Fan lined up the five people on the ground. He walked over and stepped on the blue-clothed young man's face. You're really something. Boom! He kicked him like a ball. He flew out and hung on an old vine in the distance. Then, he came in front of the other two. He stepped on their hands and said, If you want to teach me, make me lower my head and bow to you. Show me. Boom! Yi Fan raised his leg and kicked. The two of them flew out and hit an ancient tree behind them. You two want me to kneel? Yi Fan came in front of the last two. He kicked them twice. The two of them flew into the air and then fell down. Remember, the humble peak is a main peak. It's a powerful inheritance. You need to report to this place and walk up from the mountain gate. Yi Fan was filled with righteousness as he accused them. At this moment, Li Ruoyu appeared soundlessly and was already standing not far away. Well said. From now on, no one is allowed to trespass the humble peak. The old man said lightly and then disappeared into the forest. The news that the humble peak was going to be rebuilt spread quickly. Especially the disciples of the star peak. Many people were furious. They couldn't hold back after knowing that their disciples returned with heavy injuries. After Yu Fan returned to the top of the mountain, Li Ruoyu didn't say anything. He directly handed him an ancient bow and nine arrows. Finally, he gave him a yellowing book. Senior Li, the people of the Star Peak are here. In the evening, Yi Fan found dozens of disciples of the Star Peak flying above the humble peak. Didn't I give you the bow and arrow feathers? Elder Li Royu sat cross-legged in the dilapidated palace with his eyes closed, and only said this sentence. Yi Fan was shocked. He felt that this seemingly weak old man wasn't as simple as he looked. He shouted at the sky, You've gone too far. This is the inheritance of a main peak. How dare you fly here? If it's another peak, would you dare to do this? The angry shouts of the Star Peak disciples came from the sky. Yi Fan was extremely straightforward. He knocked an arrow and the ancient bow trembled, releasing a terrifying shockwave. In the distance, an old crow cawed loudly and turned into a black light, entering the arrow in Yi Fan's hand. This type of result left Yi Fan stupefied. He felt as if the arrow immediately turned into a blazing sun, possessing an unimaginably terrifying pressure. In the sky, the disciples of the Star Peak were shocked. Someone shouted, Not good, retreat! Yi Fan didn't dare to shoot the arrow. He felt that if he did, he might make a hole in the sky. The bow and arrows given to him by the old man were too mysterious. Of course, what shocked him the most was that the nine ominous old crows on the humble peak had all turned into black lights and merged into the nine arrows on his body. At this moment, he had only put a black arrow on the bowstring, but the sky above him had already begun to tremble. This must be a great treasure. Yi Fan felt that staying on the humble peak was the right choice. There were too many secrets here. Yi Fan held the ancient bow and faced the sky. Wherever he pointed, People would scream and flee for their lives. In the distant sky, several figures rushed over. An elder of the Star Peak arrived and shouted, Senior Brother Li, please have mercy, just scare them away. At this moment, Li Royu's voice was heard. In the sky, the disciples of Xingfeng were fleeing in all directions. All of them were frightened to the point that their faces were pale. It's the legendary ancient bow. Didn't it disappear along with the inheritance of the humble peak? Why did it suddenly appear? I've seen those nine crows often. I didn't expect them to be so terrifying. They confuse with the nine arrows. What are they? Chapter 135 At the humble peak, everything was so ordinary. There was nothing special about it. Even the bowing Yi Fan's hand looked simple and unadorned. It was black as if it had been burned by fire. There were even a few wormholes on it. It looked a little rotten as if it would rot at any moment. However, it was precisely this broken bow that emitted waves that caused the sky to distort. It was as if there was an invisible force field spreading in all directions. Many of the disciples of the Star Peak stood trembling with fear, their faces as white as paper. Several elders of the Star Peak landed and bowed to Li Ruyu in the dilapidated palace. One of them said, Congratulations, senior brother. The humble peak will shine. Li Ruyu walked out and bowed to them. Why do you say that? The humble bow has appeared. The inheritance is about to open. Once the nine secrets are revealed, the other peaks will be overshadowed. The humble peak will illuminate Taishian. 
Li Royu shook his head and said I got the humble bow by chance. It does not indicate that the inheritance is about to open. Where did senior brotherly get the humble bow? The elders of the Star Peak all showed a surprised expression, in a badger hole halfway up the mountain. It was built as a nest by the badgers and is used as firewood. Hearing this, everyone was dumbfounded. The humble peak was really strange. It was a dignified mountain guarding treasure, yet it was used as firewood by a wild badger to build a nest. It really made everyone speechless. The ancient bow has appeared. The rise of the humble peak is not far away. It will soar into the sky, an elder of the star peak said. It is easier said than done for the humble peak to rise. The inheritance has been cut off for five hundred years. There are no disciples and the entire mountain is desolate. It is extremely difficult to reconnect the broken string. Li Royu sighed. An elder of the star peak glanced at Yi Fan and said this should be a good seedling. Yi Fan was anxious. These elders were not simple. He was afraid that he would expose himself. Just now, he used the humble bow to suppress dozens of disciples of the star peak. He didn't know what these elders were thinking. If they were dissatisfied with him, it would not be good. At this moment, he had put away the ancient bow and dispersed the terrifying pressure. A few crows cawed and rushed away from him, flying to a withered tree not far away. After that, the elders of the star peak bid farewell and were about to leave. Li Ruoyu called out to them from behind and said, The humble peak is going to rebuild its mountain gate. Junior brothers, please tell the star peak master to restrain the disciples a little. The humble peak is a main peak after all, so don't trespass. When the elders of the star peak heard this, their bodies suddenly froze. One of them said, I'll pass on the message later. Only when they were far away from the humble peak did the elders of the star peak discuss in low voices. One of them frowned and said, Why did the humble bow appear like this? Looks like this senior brother Lee of ours isn't simple. We've all underestimated him in the past and thought that his natural talent was low and it would be difficult for him to accomplish anything. Never had we imagined that he'd stayed in the humble peak alone for so many years, yet we're actually unable to see through him. The humble peak is a very strange place. Many things can't be measured with common sense. Li Ruyu wouldn't become the second great expert of the humble peak, would he? They remembered the past of the humble peak. There was once a predecessor whose natural talent was not good, but before the inheritance of the humble peak appeared, he obtained a cultivation method. In the end, his achievements were comparable to the ancient great experts, and his magical power was unparalleled. The humble peak is outstanding but not clumsy. It's not far from rising again. I have such a feeling, a very old elder of the star peak said, even if the humble peak rises again and becomes extremely prosperous. So what? The star peak is the foundation of the Taishian sect, one of the strongest inheritances. Half of the headmasters in history came from our bloodline. At this moment, Yi Fan was very glad that he only roasted a wild rabbit and did not shoot down the nine old crows. He didn't know what would have happened if he had really done that. The few wormholes on the pitch black ancient bow were very eye catching. Yi Fan found it strange no matter how he looked at it. If it was a great treasure, how could it be bitten through by insects? Li Ruoyu stood in front of the nine steps to heaven stairway and took the bow from Yi Fan's hands. He gently stroked the bow and finally placed it on the ancient jade steps. Waves of water flowed on the nine colored jade stones, submerging the bow. Then, there were actually flames jumping, and the pitch black ancient bow began to burn. Senior, what are you doing? Yi Fan was shocked. According to legend, the mountain is the scripture, and the bow is the root. This bow is a key to the humble peak. Perhaps it can make the inheritance reappear. Yi Fan saw the ancient bow burning and said in shock, This is a great treasure. It won't be destroyed just like that, will it? It can't be destroyed. It will only merge into the humble peak and become even more powerful. The mountain bow is one, and it can split the sky. Li Royu sighed and said, The inheritance really shouldn't reappear. I don't know if doing this will open it. The flames jumped, the bow merged into the nine steps to heaven stairway and completely disappeared. In the end, everything calmed down. Yi Fan felt a subtle change. This peak became more and more reserved and ordinary. It seemed to have become shorter by a few hundred meters and was not even 2,600 meters tall. Many of the subordinate peaks in the surroundings were a lot taller than it. 
If I pass away here you can leave. After Li Ruoyu said this, he sat in front of the nine steps to heaven stairway and did not move at all like a dead tree. See near Li. Yi Fan was shocked. He wanted to persuade him, but he didn't know where to start. In the end, he walked to the side and flipped through the yellowish booklet given to him by the old man. There were some cultivation methods inside, but most of them were comprehensions and experiences. Yi Fan was attracted very quickly. He didn't lack cultivation methods. The Tao scripture was an ancient scripture of the eastern wasteland. It was the strongest mental cultivation method for cultivating the sea of reincarnation. He had always been exploring it by himself. He lacked experience, and no one to guide him. This yellowish ancient booklet was undoubtedly a timely help to him. He was immersed in it for the whole night. Some of the questions in his heart were completely solved. Inside Yi Fan's body, a divine meridian was extending like a bridge leading to the front. It crossed the golden bitter sea and was surrounded by mist. The divine bridge had actually extended by a length overnight. This was the immediate gain after he solved the confusion in his heart. If he could cross the sea of sufferings and reach the other end, then he could be considered to have broken into the nirvana realm. Ka ka ka. In the next few days, Yi Fan felt very speechless. It could be said that the top of his head was covered by a dark light. It was very ominous. A few crows would circle above his head from time to time. It was said that this was a spirit born from the ancient bow. If it was shot out, it could pierce through the clouds and split the sky. Yi Fan guessed that the so-called spirit was a god born from a weapon. He didn't know what level such a weapon was, but it must be very terrifying. As for the nine feathers of the arrows, they were just a carrier. The key was that when the ancient bow and the nine spirits were combined, it was extremely terrifying. These few days, the disciples of the star peak didn't break into the humble peak. But many people were very dissatisfied and often wandered around. Yi Fan didn't pay attention to them. These few days, he kept searching. He felt that such a super force, even if it was not as powerful as the Ji family and the Yaoguang Holy Land, could most likely cross half of the eastern wilderness after opening the space gate. Half a month later, Li Ruoyu woke up and kept muttering to himself, Great accomplishment seems to be lacking, great abundance seems to be surging, great skill seems to be clumsy. Yi Fan quickly walked forward and bowed to the old man, Senior, did you find anything? The humble peak should be like this. There's no need for celestial mist and auspicious colors. I think I found some reasons. Li Ruoyu seemed to have gained something and said, The mountain is a scripture and the inheritance of secret skills requires a corresponding state of mind to be compatible with it. Only then can the celestial skills be imprinted. The old man's life was not in danger. Yi Fan was relieved that he didn't pass away. He started to pay attention to the mountain gate. In this half a month, there were often disciples of the star peak, as if they were waiting for him to go down the mountain. Hey, aren't you guys annoying? Wandering around the humble peak all day, are you trying to steal from me? Below the humble peak, a disciple of the star peak sneered, the competition between the main peaks is about to begin. There are still two months left. I hope you won't get stage fright then. What does it have to do with me? I didn't say I'm going to participate. You guys go ahead and fight, I'll go and support you. Yi Fan stood on the humble peak and smiled at the people below. Since you've joined the humble peak and become the only disciple of this peak, you have no choice but to participate. I hope you can still smile when the time comes. The disciples of the Star Peak suffered a great loss in the hands of Yi Fan, so they were very hostile towards him. It was not hard to imagine that once the competition started, they would definitely target Yi Fan. What? I give up. Yi Fan didn't feel embarrassed at all. Where did this guy come from? How can he be so thick skinned? How can he say such words? At the foot of the mountain, a group of people were dumbfounded. Unfortunately, you have to fight at least ten rounds before you can give up. Someone shook his head, revealing a gloating expression. At that time, there will be a lot of people taking good care of you. Enjoy it slowly. Is it a battle between cultivators of the same level, or a cross-realm battle? Yi Fan asked. You think you have a divine body? And you want to cross-realm battle? Below, the disciples of the Star Peak all revealed a look of disdain. So, it's a battle between cultivators of the same level. Why don't we exchange a few rounds now? Yi Fan smiled. 
welcome bitter sea realm cultivators to the humble peak for exchange. At the foot of the mountain, the majority of the disciples of the star peak were at the life spring realm. They came here to find a chance to teach Yifan a lesson. Hearing this, they looked at each other. Several life spring realm cultivators revealed a kind smile, walked forward and said, We are all bitter sea realm cultivators, then let's exchange a few rounds. Half an hour later, a piece of news was sent to the star peak. More than ten disciples were beaten black and blue, detained at the humble peak, where they were repairing the mountain road. Many disciples of the humble peak were in an uproar, and immediately some people flew to the humble peak. Some people wanted to force their way in, but were stopped by the people around them, and all landed in front of the mountain gate. If you lose, I didn't force you. Yi Fan stood on the mountain, shouting down, Are you also here to help repair the humble peak? I was wondering where this kid came from, why is he so strange, he even dares to detain the disciples of our star peak. Don't you know, half a month ago, he seriously injured several people of our star peak, and then with a magic bow, he confronted dozens of disciples of our star peak, alerting the elders. Before the grand competition, the humble peak will hold a small competition, we welcome bitter sea realm cultivators to exchange pointers. Yi Fan, with a harmless look on his face, shouted from above, but come up one by one. On the humble peak, the more than ten disciples of the star peak that were detained were cursing Yi Fan for being shameless. This bastard had begun to bait again. However, this time no one rashly stepped forward. With the previous example, these people naturally understood that there was something strange, and felt that Yi Fan must have grasped an ancient treasure similar to the humble bow. More and more disciples of the star peak flew over, wanting to see who it was that dared to detain the disciples of the star peak. Among the crowd, a white-robed woman was taken aback, feeling somewhat incredulous. It was Li Xiaoman. At this moment, Yi Fan did not notice her, quickly rushing up the mountain. He felt a trace of abnormality. The Bodhi seed in his arms gently trembled a little, somewhat warm, and a strange feeling welled up in his heart. Could it be that the secret technique is about to appear? Yi Fan's speed reached the extreme, quickly rushing to the top of the mountain. At the top of the humble peak, there appeared a void, extremely tranquil. The vegetation inside flourished and then withered, green leaves dripping, and then withered and silent. The nine steps of the heaven stairs were hazy, constantly enlarging, and there were jade palaces appearing on it, horizontally in the void. Li Ruyu, like a fossil, sat there cross-legged, facing the nine steps of the heaven stairs. Chapter 136 On the humble peak, the nine steps to heaven stairway continued to enlarge, turning into nine platforms. On them, there were jade palaces and hazy clouds. Li Ruyu slowly rose up and was pulled by a force into the misty palace. On the peak of the mountain, the extreme void was deep and tranquil, as if a world was evolving. Inexplicable Tao and truth were intertwining. Everything was revealed, full of vitality, moving in a cycle. At first, the flowers were like a brocade and the green leaves were plentiful, but in the end, they withered and returned to their roots. Yi Fan stood on the humble peak, motionless. His eyes went from brilliant to withered, from bright to empty, as if he had also experienced an evolution from flourishing to withering. There seemed to be an inexplicable trajectory appearing between heaven and earth, forming complicated and profound rules and order, giving birth to mysterious patterns and patterns. The humble peak, returning to simplicity, was evolving Tao and truth. The entire peak was a scripture, and one needed a corresponding state of mind to capture the flowing mysterious trajectory. Yi Fan wasn't Li Ruyu. He had only been at the humble peak for half a month and didn't know the origin and foundation of the mountain, so it would be difficult for him to agree with the peak. However, he had the Bodhi seed in his bosom, which was obtained from the great thunderclap. The Tao diagram was innate and evolved naturally, allowing his heart to quickly calm down. The Bodhi seed was the legendary Tao Comprehension Sacred Tree, also known as the Wisdom Tree. It could help people open their divinity and comprehend the Tao of heaven and earth. With the help of the mysterious Bodhi seed, Yi Fan merged into the natural state of Tao, his state of mind flourishing and withering with the plants. Great success is like imperfection, great abundance is like rushing, great skill is like clumsiness. An inexplicable voice echoed. Li Ruyu was motionless in the palace, as still as a boulder, listening to the wonderful sound of heaven and earth. The humble peak, 
which had lost its inheritance for five hundred years, reappeared. The gate of Tao was wide open, and the profound truth appeared. There was no divine spring from the earth, no auspicious lights falling from the sky, only a simple inheritance and a Tao rhythm circulating. Yi Fan's mind was empty, and he was one with the humble peak. He listened to everything that Li Ruofen comprehended. The Bodhi seed was slightly warm, and he was calm and natural. At first, it wasn't the so-called immortal art inheritance, but the fundamental mental cultivation method of the humble peak. One of the nine secrets was not a cultivation method, but a type of secret art. It could be fused into one's mental cultivation method and unleash all sorts of mysterious and unfathomable power. The inheritance of the mental cultivation method of the humble peak was the foundation of this lineage. Only by cultivating this method and becoming stronger could one unleash the secret technique. This was one of the nine secrets. It was magnificent and peerless. Once activated, one's battle prowess could be increased by several times or even ten times. It was a rare secret technique that all the holy lands and clans of the clan of the ancients coveted. There were no mantras, no techniques, just nine secret techniques. If they were combined, they could be exchanged for several ancient scriptures from the eastern wasteland. One could imagine just how valuable they were. The fundamental mental cultivation method of the humble peak was indeed unique. It was worthy of being one of the strongest inheritances of the Taishian sect. Five hundred years ago, the peak master was able to compete with the highest elder of the Yaoguang Holy Land and perish together, which was enough to explain the problem. Even though it couldn't be compared with the Taoist scripture, it was still very mysterious. Yi Fan verified it and received a lot of inspiration. Of course, what he paid the most attention to was still the one of the nine secrets. This was what he desperately wanted. For him, it was even more attractive than the ancient scripture of the Void of Ji family. If it was accidentally triggered in battle, his battle prowess would increase by several times. It would definitely be the most terrifying trump card. But imagine, if he successfully drew the key of the Xianhuang mother on his fists and triggered this secret technique, it would definitely be extremely terrifying. No matter how many magic treasures you had, no matter how powerful you were, I would be able to punch you through with one punch. Of course, the several times increase in battle prowess was not only limited to the physical body. It could be reflected in any means, such as casting spells, controlling implements, or even flying speed. In the eyes of Yifan, the nine secrets were definitely the supreme secret technique. He had to get this secret of the humble peak. Suddenly, an inexplicable Taoist rhyme circulated, which seemed extremely mysterious. Compared to the simple mental cultivation method of the humble peak, it was very different. There was no sound, no ripples. There was only a strange Taoist rhyme that appeared on the summit of the humble peak. Yi Fan felt the Bodhi seed in his arms suddenly warm up and trembled a few times. He guessed that it was most likely the appearance of one of the nine secrets. He no longer cared about the fundamental mental cultivation method of the humble peak and began to capture the mysterious Taoist rhyme. One had to admit that the previous great cultivator of the humble peak was extremely powerful. Without leaving a single word or a single word, he used the entire main peak as a scripture and passed down one of the nine secrets to the future generations. His methods were extraordinary. The entire humble peak was filled with an ancient aura, as if it had traveled through time and returned to tens of thousands of years ago. It was like a barren mountain, as if it had never been developed before. It was even more ordinary than it was now, but there was a natural aura circulating around it. On those main peaks far away, many powerful cultivators were looking into the distance. Looking at the strange changes happening to the humble peak, many of them revealed a shocked expression. There are no auspicious clouds covering the sky, no auspicious lights, and no celestial music. It looks so natural, and it shouldn't be time to open the inheritance yet, but it gives off an unfathomable feeling. Yes, there was once a great cultivator of the past who also obtained the fundamental mental cultivation method and secret technique of the humble peak at a time when the inheritance shouldn't have been opened. In the end, his magic power was monstrous, and he was as powerful as the ancient great cultivators. Could it be that Li Ruoyu is also such a person and will become the second great cultivator in the history of the humble peak? Perhaps there really is such a possibility. It's said that the great cultivator of the past had an ordinary aptitude, 
and was ordinary. Li Ruoyu really has similar characteristics to him. In the surroundings, many powerful cultivators of the main peaks were talking to themselves in low voices as they looked into the distance at the humble peak. The ordinary opening of the inheritance is more suitable for the humble peak than the shocking inheritance. Presumably, only in this way can one obtain the perfect profound meaning. The humble peak is just like its name, this kind of nature and ordinary is the most suitable for it. This is the fundamental reason why it is outstanding but not clumsy. Many of the cultivators of the main peaks realized that the humble peak was about to really rise, and it was very likely that a great cultivator would appear. Li Ruoyu's aptitude was ordinary. It was really luck that he was able to become a disciple of the Taishian sect. No one was optimistic about him and thought that he was just a grass seed that would continue to exist in the humble peak. No one would think that he had a celestial fate and could have extraordinary achievements. However, all of this seemed to have been completely overturned. If Li Ruoyu really walked the path of the great cultivator of the past and was comparable to the ancient great cultivators, then it was not impossible for him to suppress the Ji family and the Yaoguang holy land in this area. Not only were many elders alarmed, but even the leaders of the main peaks also came out. They stared at the humble peak, and their eyes flashed with all kinds of inexplicable brilliance. And not long after, the headmaster of the Taishian sect and the great elders, as well as many famous figures who lived in seclusion in the depths of the mountains, all appeared above the clouds. Li Ruoyu is not really stupid. Hard work can make up for it. He has walked the path of the great cultivator of the past, and perhaps he really will be the future guardian of the Taishian sect. If he is really comparable to the ancient great cultivators, even if the Taishian sect becomes a holy land and a family of the remote antiquity, it will no longer be a fantasy. The headmaster and the great elders of the Taishian sect all showed solemn expressions. The humble peak has been desolate for five hundred years, and the disciples have withered. Now that the inheritance has been opened, select outstanding disciples from the main peaks and send them to the humble peak. The headmaster of the Taishian sect issued such an order. Before the great figures of the Taishian sect made a decision, the disciples of the main peaks had already begun to discuss. Many people who knew the history of the humble peak had made up their minds to devote themselves to the past. The former desolate main peak had now reopened the inheritance and entered everyone's field of vision, becoming brilliant. As the main peaks moved and everyone had their own thoughts, Yi Fan captured a subtle charm on the humble peak. There seemed to be lines intertwining between heaven and earth, and there were unknown rules that turned into order, giving birth to inexplicable power, constructing all kinds of lines in the void. In front of him, the top of the humble peak was constantly changing. All things withered and the grass and trees withered, turning into soil, returning to their roots, from movement to stillness, returning to their original nature, as if there was an eternal law evolving. From the beginning to returning to the roots, it experienced vitality, extreme prosperity, and then to the end of prosperity, extreme tranquility, returning to the origin. Between heaven and earth, there were lines of Tao being born and destroyed. Yi Fan's eyes went from bright to dark, from vitality to emptiness and then reversed again, changing with these inexplicable lines, capturing their trajectories, and evolving with them. He secretly marveled that the predecessors of the humble peak were indeed amazing. They had incorporated the secret method into the changes of nature, and branded it on the entire humble peak. It was truly marvelous. He was like spinning silk from a cocoon, distinguishing and capturing, taking every bit of it into his mind. This was the inheritance of one of the nine secrets that he wanted. Yi Fan didn't move. He merged with heaven and earth, became one with the humble peak, and was baptized by nature. It was as if he had transformed into a stone, a blade of grass, or a vine on the humble peak, and he branded every bit of the boundless charm into his mind. In the end, everything on the silent humble peak vanished before his eyes, and only a seed and a patch of soil remained. He was like a strand of gentle wind that brushed past. The seed of nature broke out from the soil and glowed with a wisp of green. His mind was tranquil like an ancient well, and in the end, it turned into a few drops of water that sprinkled down and moistened the soil. His mind seemed to have completely become one with the seed, and he became the wisp of green that was full of vitality. On the humble peak, it was tranquil, and a green sprout glowed with boundless vitality, becoming the only thing in the world. Boom! Yi Fan's heart shook 
and his eyes regained their clarity. One of the nine secrets had turned into a seed and was branded into his mind. It broke out from the soil and became eternal vitality, and he had completely obtained the supreme secret method nurtured in nature. Looking at the humble peak again, the mountain was still the same mountain, the water was still the same water, and the plants were still the same. There was no special change, and it was just like before. He was like a flowing cloud, and he was like a gust of wind. His mind and body were empty, and the supreme secret method appeared in his mind like a trickle of water. Yi Fan didn't obtain the fundamental mental cultivation method of the humble peak, but it was enough to obtain one of the nine secrets. Half a day later, Li Ruyu woke up and stood up. His entire body was extremely ethereal, and he seemed incomparably empty and distant. It was as if he was standing in the clouds, or separated by a starry sky, and he was stained with the dust of history. However, changes soon took place. The clouds and mist dispersed, and he became ordinary, like an ordinary old man in the village. There was nothing special about him. At this moment, the humble peak was already full of people, but no one trespassed, and no one flew into the sky. They were all waiting quietly in front of the mountain gate. Most of them came to ask for a master, wanting to join the branch of the humble peak. At this moment, no one dared to look down on the humble peak, and no one dared to treat it as a barren mountain and descend at will. Most of them were the outstanding disciples of the various main peaks, and many were even the children of the peak lords of the various main peaks. Li Ruoyu stood quietly on the mountain, and he didn't look at the people at the foot of the mountain. He looked at Yifan and said, You have the sacred body of the ancients. Chapter 137 Yifan was shocked. How could the other party see through his physique without coming into contact with his sea of bitterness? The sacred body of the ancients is indeed extraordinary. The golden sea of bitterness intertwined with thunder and lightning is unheard of, Li Ruoyu said calmly. However, in Yi Fan's ears, it was earth-shattering. He felt uneasy, not knowing what other secrets the other party had discovered. The green copper block must not be exposed to the light, and the source key of all things and the golden book of Tao scripture were extraordinary as well. Don't be nervous. I mean no harm. Li Ruoyu's wrinkled face revealed a kind smile as if he had read his mind. Yi Fan felt that the other party was unfathomable. After obtaining the true inheritance of the humble peak, it became even more difficult to estimate. He asked Senior, how did you see through it? Just now, you and I were one with the humble peak. The great path flowed, so I could naturally sense it. Li Ruoyu smiled slightly. The sacred body of the ancients was extraordinary. If it was deliberately hidden, the sea of bitterness would be silent and almost impossible to see through. Not long ago, the inheritance of the humble peak opened, and the great path of nature flowed. The two of them were in it. Yi Fan guessed that it might be true. He released his aura and was sensed by the other party. Senior, please keep this secret for me. Yi Fan did not know what the old man's attitude toward him was. Although they were very harmonious before, they had only known each other for a short time and did not really understand each other. You can rest assured. In fact, even if the sacred body of the ancients was discovered, it would not be a big deal. In today's world, people only cared about the eastern wilderness divine body. However, if people knew that Yi Fan could cultivate without any hindrance, it would be troublesome. It's not easy. It's not easy to cultivate the sacred body of the ancients to the celestial bridge level. Li Ruoyu nodded. Yi Fan was anxious. This was the root of his worry. He had the sacred body of the ancients, but his cultivation was so smooth. If people found out, they would definitely investigate. He felt that the old man had seen more things. Now, the old man was like the humble peak, seemingly ordinary but unpredictable. Try not to let the holy lands and the clan of the ancients know, Li Ruoyu said. They. Hearing this, Yi Fan's heart trembled. The holy lands and the clans of the clan of the ancients had existed since the primordial era. They definitely knew many secrets. There is no need to worry too much. With the passage of time, the divine body has already been destroyed. The great powers that have been passed down from the desolate antiquity era don't really care about it anymore. The world has already forgotten about this kind of physique. In the past, the sacred body of the ancients was the best in the world. Now, even if some people knew, they also knew that saint physiques couldn't be cultivated. 
Senior, do you know why the sacred body is not suitable for cultivation? Yifan asked. As for why it was like this, it has been too long. It is difficult for anyone to understand. Li Roy Yu looked at Yifan and said, The sacred body of the ancients may not stop you from moving forward. Everything in this world is fated. Yifan nodded. In fact, his cultivation had not been hindered at all. Ever since he stepped onto the immortal path, it had been smooth sailing. As long as you firmly believe that you can cultivate, nothing can stop you. Li Ruoyu sighed and said, My physique is very ordinary, but I have always persevered and have finally succeeded. Congratulations, senior. You have obtained the inheritance of the humble peak and made great progress in your cultivation. Yi Fan went forward to congratulate him. Cultivation needs to be down to earth. It is not something that can be improved by obtaining powerful inheritances. No matter how profound the mystical method is, it still needs to be comprehended by others. Li Ruoyu seemed to be giving Yi Fan some pointers and said, In the past, I was ignorant and wasted time. I cultivated here for more than ten years before I woke up from a dream and comprehended the true meaning of the humble peak. According to the old man, in the last hundred years, his heart had been at peace and gradually became one with the humble peak. He understood the state of mind of the predecessors and the way of the humble peak. Before obtaining the inheritance, apart from the supreme secret method, he had already experienced the various mysteries left behind by the predecessors. He was in harmony with the humble peak and figured out the great way of nature. Yi Fan was shocked when he heard this. This old man was indeed extraordinary and extraordinary. His physique was not good, and it could even be said that it was terrible. However, he was able to comprehend the great way, comprehend nature, and comprehend the supreme mysteries. Today, after opening the inheritance, Li Ruoyu merely verified those so-called mysteries. He was truly extraordinary and had great wisdom in cultivation. Physique is not a problem. Divine physique is not necessarily invincible in the world. Li Ruoyu said to Yi Fan as if he was encouraging him, Your physique is special. Everyone thinks that it is a useless physique, but I feel that there is something extraordinary in the ordinary. Perhaps, you can cultivate into a saint physique. Li Ruoyu gazed at him and said, Are you willing to join the humble peak? Yi Fan was moved. The old man's words were very particular. He hesitated for a moment and did not answer immediately. I understand your intention. Li Ruoyu sighed softly. Senior, I am willing to join the humble peak. There is no need for that. Li Ruoyu nodded then shook his head and said, Now, you are temporarily an ordinary disciple of the humble peak. My Tao might not be suitable for you. You can leave at any time. Yi Fan was shocked. He felt that the old man must have seen more and was definitely not as simple as he said. Senior, the truth is, I have already received part of the humble peak's inheritance. Yi Fan said. He felt that this old man was too extraordinary, and he might as well tell him directly. I understand. Li Ruoyu nodded and said, You have received the secret technique. You can cultivate it, but you can never teach it to others. Yi Fan felt that the old man was not ordinary. After verifying the inheritance of the humble peak, he had truly returned to his natural state. You and I are both disciples of the humble peak. Follow me down the mountain to choose a disciple. Li Ruoyu did not fly. He walked down the mountain step by step. Yi Fan followed behind him. In front of the mountain gate, many people gathered. Even some elders were waiting there and did not climb the mountain without permission. The dozen or so disciples of the star peak who had been detained by Yi Fan on the mountain did not know what to feel at this moment. Originally, they were disdainful of the humble peak. Now that they saw the elite disciples of all the main peaks gathered here, their hearts were filled with mixed feelings. Yi Fan walked over and unlocked the restrictions on them, letting them go down the mountain. But at this moment, the dozen or so people dilly dallied and did not want to leave just like that. The Taishian sect had its rules. If you join the other main peaks, you would have the opportunity to choose a new inheritance. But once you join the humble peak, it could not be changed. It had been like this since ancient times. Li Ruyu came to the front of the mountain gate, glanced at the crowd and said, Are you all willing to join my humble peak? Yes. Many people answered loudly. At this moment, Li Ruyu did not have an otherworldly temperament, nor did he have an elegant charm. He was just like an ordinary village old man, 
which made many disciples suspicious. Some of the elders of the other main peaks came forward and greeted Li Ruoyu. They were all very polite. These older cultivators had sharp eyes and could not see through Li Ruoyu. Naturally, they knew that his realm was unfathomable. In everyone's eyes, the rise of the humble peak was a foregone conclusion. We are here to deliver our disciples. The peak lord has ordered that we have no choice but to give up our treasures. Some elders were very upset. Actually, there is no need for this. Li Ruoyu did not have the temperament of an enlightened master. Everyone has their own different path. The path of the humble peak may not be suitable for them. The headmaster also said that it is just the selection of disciples. Everything is voluntary. Another elder who was very old nodded and said, We are sincerely willing to join the humble peak. Many disciples were very clever. They shouted loudly and knelt forward. Yi Fan felt very speechless. Before today, the humble peak was deserted, but after the inheritance was opened, so many people rushed over. Don't stop me. I am the eldest disciple of the humble peak. At this moment, a clear and pleasant voice came. Ji Ziyue, who had disappeared for many days, appeared. Her big eyes were bright and full of smiles. Her pink cheeks were still smeared, as if she did not want to reveal her true appearance. Little dimples appeared on Ji Ziyue's face. With a sweet smile, she hugged Li Royu's arm and said, Senior Li, I am back. Good. From today onwards, you are a disciple of the humble peak. Li Royu nodded to her. Ji Ziyue had crossed the nine heaven stairs. Her physique was really shocking. That day, she wanted to stay on the humble peak. If it was not for the star peak's elder's interference, she would have stayed here like Yi Fan. The elder had a good impression of her. Senior, we are also willing to join the humble peak. The disciples in front of the mountain gate bowed again. You all can comprehend below the humble peak. If you have comprehended something within half a month, you can join the humble peak. Li Royu said and walked up the mountain. A few elders followed him. At this moment, an elder from the star peak walked up and transmitted his voice to Li Royu. That girl is a disciple of the Ji clan. You must not pass down the great technique. In the next few days, many young disciples gathered below the humble peak. Many disciples from the 108 main peaks rushed here. Now there was a rumor in the Taishian sect that Li Ruoyu had already comprehended the great path of nature. In the future, it was very likely that he would be comparable to the ancient mighty figures. If he followed such a master, his future achievements would certainly be limitless. After many peak leaders of the 108 main peaks personally paid a visit to Li Ruoyu, some peak leaders did indeed make such a judgment, and it was not groundless. Yi Fan could not have imagined that the cold and desolate humble peak would now be so lively. He could not help but sigh. The world of cultivation was also so realistic. It was not much better than the mortal world. Ji Ziyue was unhappy. Elder Li Ruoyu had asked her directly if she was a disciple of the Ji clan. She could not deny it. The elder was also very frank and clearly told her that he could not teach her that supreme secret technique. Little brat, you really did not learn that secret technique? I don't believe it. Ji Ziyue glanced at Yi Fan with her large eyes. Her smile was very sweet and very captivating. She said that day, the inheritance of the humble peak opened. How could you have had some opportunities on this mountain? Did you not gain anything at all? Yes, I learned some of the great path of nature. Yi Fan laughed and said, You can exchange it with the ancient void scripture. You're asking for a beating. Ji Ziyue wrinkled her nose and began to grind her teeth. She remembered that she had been captured by Yi Fan. Forget it, I'll teach you directly. Yi Fan began to talk about the great path of nature, changing the subject. He did not dare to teach that secret technique because Li Ruoyu had solemnly warned him. After her identity was revealed, Ji Ziyue washed away the colorful things on her face. She turned from a little kitten into a sweet and intelligent girl with peerless charm. The Taishian sect knew her identity, so naturally they would do their best to protect her and not let anything happen to her here. She was not afraid that Ji Biyue would kill her way here. Very quickly, there were more than thirty disciples on the humble peak. They were all personally sent up the mountain by some elders, so Li Ruoyu could not refuse. Ji Ziyue was very unhappy. There were some people who surrounded her and followed her around, which annoyed her greatly. 
she knew that her identity must have been exposed. These people wanted to get close to her and build a relationship with the Huanggu family. As for Yifan, he hid from her every day, comprehending the Tao scripture and studying the supreme secret technique he had just obtained. Ji Ziyue was angry. She felt that this guy was too different. He actually avoided her like this. He was even more despicable than the people who followed him around. Little brat, how dare you hide from me? Ji Ziyue grinded her little canine teeth and threatened. Her big eyes harbored malicious intentions as she prepared to use Yi Fan as a shield. Yi Fan naturally understood. After that, he disappeared for a whole day. He did not want to be seen as an enemy by the other disciples. Now, he already had the thought of leaving. Recently, he had been searching for the location of the Supreme Profound Sex Realm Gate to see if he could cross the void from here. Yi Fan once again left the humble peak. After wandering around the Supreme Profound Sect for more than half a day and passing through many main peaks, he still could not find the so-called Realm Gate. He did not know where it was. However, he learned from some disciples that if one contributed greatly to the sect or could provide enough origin, they could use the Realm Gate to cross the void and the sect would provide convenience. On the way back to the humble peak, Yi Fan was discovered by Ji Ziyue and blocked his way. Little brat! You've been appearing and disappearing like a ghost these past few days. Are you trying to escape? Ji Ziyue was very smart and keenly sensed that something was amiss. She said, Could it be that you have obtained a supreme secret technique and have been hiding it from me? Otherwise, why would you have such thoughts? There's no such thing. Yi Fan hurriedly denied. If you dare to run away, I'll tell others all your secrets, such as the demon god's sacred heart, the myriad source key, the mysterious green copper piece. Ji Ziyue smiled very sweetly. Her big eyes curved into crescents and her little dimples appeared, making her look playful and lively. Stop! Yi Fan hurriedly stopped her from continuing. If someone heard him, he would be in a dangerous situation. Let's go somewhere else. Ji Ziyue was bored to death. She was afraid of being pestered by the young disciples on the humble peak and hid at the foot of the mountain. Okay, let's just walk around. Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue walked towards the Tsung Peak in front of them. They passed through beautiful mountain peaks and unknowingly arrived at the location of the Star Peak. At this moment, a familiar figure entered Yi Fan's eyes. Li Xiaoman's white clothes fluttered, her black hair flowed like a waterfall, her face was beautiful, and her figure was graceful and elegant. It could be said that she was pure and refined. She and a few disciples of the Star Peak were not far away walking in this direction, and the two sides happened to meet. Yi Fan and Li Xiaoman naturally saw each other, but they did not expect to meet here. Beside them, Ji Ziyue immediately noticed the abnormality and whispered in Yi Fan's ear, An acquaintance? Yes. Yi Fan nodded. It can't be an enemy, right? I'll help you take care of her? Ji Ziyue smiled and looked forward. She had been to the Star Peak before, but there were many disciples there and it was impossible for her to have seen all of them. If it's not an enemy, don't mess around. Yi Fan hurriedly stopped her. He did not want to cause trouble. Li Xiaoman was now a life spring realm cultivator, so she could naturally hear the conversation here. They were not far away. Ji Ziyue had pulled Yi Fan's hand and walked forward gracefully, smiling sweetly. How do I address you, sister? The few people opposite them all noticed Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue, especially Ji Ziyue who was very quick-witted and could be called beautiful, like a fairy. It was impossible not to notice her. Chapter 138 The chirping of birds made the mountain even more serene. This place was very tranquil. The mountain was shrouded in mist, the green trees were entwined with green vines, the flowing water flowed past the pebbles and old trees, and the fish in the stream were not startled by people. At first, Li Xiaoman frowned slightly, but she soon calmed down. She stood elegantly in front and looked at Ji Ziyue. At the side, the disciples of Xingfeng were also sizing up Ji Ziyue and Yi Fan at the same time. For a moment, they did not know where these two came from. Ji Ziyue was elegant and graceful. It was impossible for her not to attract attention. All the male disciples looked at her. She was full of confidence, and her purple clothes fluttered in the wind. There was a trace of nobility in her nimbleness. She tilted her head and looked at Li Xiaoman with a smile on her tender face. Li Xiaoman was very calm and did not reply. 
Her beautiful eyes were calm as she looked at Ji Ziyue. There was no emotion on her face. Why aren't you saying anything, sister? Ji Ziyue chuckled. She stretched out a slender hand and waved it in front of Li Xiaoman, caressing Li Xiaoman's face like a delinquent teasing a good woman. You are quite pretty. I can't help but feel pity for you. What kind of person was Li Xiaoman? She came from the other side of the starry sky. Her thoughts were very different from the women of this world. Naturally, she would not be frightened. She only revealed a strange expression. Little girl, what's the matter? Yes. I'm seventeen years old, dignified and beautiful. I haven't married yet. Ji Ziyue was in high spirits as she smiled sweetly. She stretched out her tender right hand and held Li Xiaoman's chin. Today, I met a beauty and fell in love at first sight. The second time, I fell in love. I have no other requests. A beauty teasing another beauty was pleasing to the eyes. It made the disciples of Xingfeng wish they could change positions on the spot. No matter how conservative Li Xiaoman was, she could not help but frown when her chin was held and teased. She quickly moved back and dodged. Sister, don't worry. I'm actually a man, a handsome young man. I can totally marry you. Ji Ziyue followed up with a smile. Seeing this, Yi Fan hurried forward and pulled Ji Ziyue over. This little girl was strange. She even dared to bite him. If she really pestered Li Xiaoman, he really did not know what she would do. I'm helping you. Ji Ziyue was very dissatisfied. She blew into Yi Fan's ear and the sound of her teeth grinding could be heard. However, in the eyes of others, it was a bit ambiguous. The two seemed to be very intimate. At the side, a male disciple from Star Peak asked very naturally, May I know which main peak the two of you are from? Although he was asking the two of them, he only looked at Ji Ziyue. Little junior sister, you're a natural beauty. You're like a lotus that has emerged from the water, like an orchid in an empty valley. I believe you must be a disciple of Black Peak, complimented another disciple of Stellar Peak. Ji Ziyue ignored him and glanced sideways at Li Xiaoman. However, Yi Fan didn't give her the chance to come forward at all. He pulled her hard and blocked her behind him. He did not want Li Xiaoman to misunderstand anything. Since the past was over, there was no need to stir up trouble. He took a step forward and faced Li Xiaoman. I did not expect to meet you here in Taishin. I have not seen you for more than a year. How are you? It's all right. Li Xiaoman retracted her gaze from Ji Ziyue and looked at Yi Fan. It is indeed unexpected. I did not expect to see you again. You have also come to Taishian. Why do I find you somewhat familiar? A disciple of Stellar Peak stared at Yi Fan for a while and suddenly shouted, It's you, that bastard of Humble Peak? Hey, hey, hey. What are you saying? Ji Ziyue was unhappy and glared at him. Junior sister, don't be angry. Don't blame him. This person has a great grudge with the disciples of Stellar Peak. Please do not interfere. Several disciples of Stellar Peak surrounded them all at once. Yi Fan didn't move and looked at Li Xiaoman. Senior brothers, what's wrong? Li Xiaoman asked. This is the guy from Humble Peak. He injured many disciples of Stellar Peak and has a great grudge with us. He relied on the treasure of Humble Peak and repeatedly injured the disciples of Stellar Peak. Today, I want an explanation. Yi Fan didn't say anything. He just looked at them quietly. Ji Ziyue's big eyes rolled a few times and did not speak. She glanced at Li Xiaoman, wanting to see how she would react. This matter. I heard about it too. Li Xiaoman frowned slightly, then looked at Yi Fan and said, You injured many disciples of Stellar Peak. It is indeed wrong. Apologize to the senior brothers here and quickly return to Humble Peak. After that, she looked at those people and said, Senior brothers, what do you think? They didn't want to disrespect Li Xiaoman but they also didn't want to let Yi Fan go. They said, how can we let him go like this? We want an exact explanation. Okay, okay. Ji Ziyue clapped her hands with a smile, wanting to see the world in chaos. Yi Fan turned to look at them and said, where were those people injured? Of course, at Humble Peak. Humble Peak is a main peak. They trespassed without reason. Who can they blame after being punished? Yi Fan glanced at them and said nothing more. Junior Sister Lee, it's not that we don't want to give you face. You also saw how arrogant he was. He injured our disciples first, and now he still refuses to lower his head. 
We can only take action. What a joke. Yi Fan sneered and said, Even in the mortal world, trespassing on private property is a huge crime, let alone the world of cultivators. Trespassing on the main peak of the inheritance land, and being expelled, is there any reason left? Even if I killed him that day, your peak master can't say anything. How arrogant! The stellar peak's disciples sneered, but no one dared to step forward. One of them quickly retreated, fearing that Yi Fan had an ancient treasure on him. If they failed to capture him, they would be restrained instead. The previous example made them feel restraining fear. No matter what, it is indeed wrong of you to injure others. You should apologize to the senior brothers here. Li Xiaoman stepped forward and said, What do you mean? Yi Fan raised his head, I'm not in the wrong. Why do I need to apologize? You. Li Xiaoman's expression changed slightly, I'm helping you. Some ants want to touch my head, I'll just flick them away. Why do I need your help? Yi Fan turned around and faced the disciples of Stellar Peak. Yi Fan, you're too arrogant. Li Xiaoman said in a low voice, I'm doing this to help you, but you? I know you're talented and have an unusual physique, but there are many experts in Stellar Peak. Good, good. Ji Ziyue clapped her hands. Half a month ago, Yi Fan had taught a lesson to the disciples of Stellar Peak. Now that humble peak had risen, with a powerful figure like Li Ruoyu in charge, Yi Fan naturally wouldn't have any scruples. If he was surrounded by a few life spring realm cultivators, he only needed to slap them away. Get as far away as you can, don't block my way. Yi Fan glanced at the people surrounding him. You want to leave today? Impossible. Although those people said so, they didn't dare to step forward, fearing that Yi Fan would take out an ancient treasure and deal with them. Right now, they were just stalling for time to invite a real expert. Yi Fan couldn't be bothered with them. He turned around and walked towards Humble Peak, wanting to leave this place. The people in front of him immediately retreated, not wanting to clash with him head on. Ha ha ha. Yi Fan laughed, since you want to stop me and are so afraid, then don't talk big. Yeah, so boring. I thought you guys were going to fight, but you're scared to this extent. Ji Ziyue curled her lips and muttered in dissatisfaction. If you didn't have an ancient treasure on you, why would we allow you to talk big? We would have taken you down a long time ago. Do you dare to fight us fair and square? The disciples of Stellar Peak shouted angrily, their faces red and necks bulging. Small fries like you know what an ancient treasure is. Come at me, I'll send you to the clouds with my fists. Yi Fan continued to stride forward. If you don't use an ancient treasure, I'll fight you. A cultivator stepped forward. I don't have an ancient treasure. If you're not afraid of breaking my bones, come at me. Yi Fan's lips curled into a cold smile. Die. Someone took out a weapon. A blood blade turned into a beam of starlight and slashed towards Yi Fan. This was a powerful attack from a spirit spring cultivator, dazzling. Dang, Yi Fan didn't care. He waved his hand and flicked his finger. The golden finger touched the blood blade and a cracking sound was heard. Kacha, a spirit spring cultivator's weapon that had been refined for many years was shattered by Yi Fan's finger. It was like grass, unable to withstand a single attack. This, everyone was shocked. Li Xiaoman had a strange look on her face. She knew that Yi Fan's physique was extraordinary, but she didn't think it would be this strong. How dare you talk big and stop me at will? Since Yi Fan had already made his move, he couldn't stop here. He left behind a series of afterimages as he charged towards the people around him. Those people all produced weapons, doing everything they could to attack Yi Fan. Brilliant light shone. The flowers and grass here withered, mountain rocks shattered. However, something terrifying happened. Yi Fan continuously flicked his fingers, causing weapons to shatter one after another. Under that golden palm, all of the weapons were like porcelain, unable to withstand that immense power. Bang, bang, bang. After a few attacks, those people all fell to the ground, vomiting blood, unable to get up again. Yi Fan couldn't be bothered with these people. He kicked them one by one and sent them flying. He didn't look at Li Xiaoman and walked towards the peak. Ji Ziyue giggled and followed behind. Where do you think you're going? You hurt my star peak's disciple and you still want to leave? Light flashed in the sky and several figures flew over. A white-robed man was the leader. He looked very heroic and there were five or six people beside him who looked extraordinary. Senior brother. 
Those who were kicked away gathered, their faces full of shame. That white-robed man's cultivation is extraordinary. Jizu whispered in Yifan's ear. The white-robed man didn't go forward and the person who shouted just now wasn't him. A person walked out from the side and stared at Yifan coldly. Do you dare to fight me? Are you challenging a little cultivator who just entered the sect? Yifan smiled. I won't make things difficult for you. I won't use my peak divine bridge realm strength to suppress you. I'll give you a chance. I'll use my physical strength to exchange three palms with you. If you accept it, I'll write off what happened just now. The man said. Yi Fan laughed. He looked at the people present, and then at Li Xiao Man. In the end, he stared at the man and said, All right, since you said so, I naturally can't retreat. Star Peak used the power of the stars to refine his physique. Once he reached the Divine Bridge Realm, his body would be very strong. This person was so confident because of this. Chapter 139 This person was only 27 or 20 years old. He was tall and had very long arms. His palms, in particular, were twice the size of a normal person's, like two small palm leaf fans. His skin was crystal clear, as if bits of starlight had gathered on his body and those especially thick palms were as transparent as white jade. Not only were they delicate, but they were also almost transparent. On the side, the cultivators whose weapons had been shattered by Yi Fan and who had been kicked into the bushes all showed a trace of excitement. Compared to them, a cultivator at the peak of the celestial bridge realm was undoubtedly superior and unfathomable. Senior Brother Yan, you must teach him a good lesson. Otherwise, he will really think that there is no one at Star Peak. Let him know how high the sky is and how deep the earth is. Senior brother, you have the battle power of the peak of the celestial bridge realm and can enter the nirvana realm at any time. Don't be too ruthless and smash him into a meat patty. That would be so boring. You must be careful. Just shatter his palms. Keep him alive. We really want to see his expression. They seem to have already seen Yifan being beaten until his bones were broken and his palms were shattered. They had not even made a move, but they already felt relieved. Senior Brother Yang smiled slightly and did not say anything. He strode forward. He was tall, two heads taller than the average person. He looked down at Yi Fan, who looked only about fourteen years old, and said, Actually, you are also quite good. Your body is really strong. If you confess now, I will not make things difficult for you. After all, we are all Taishian disciples, and we meet all the time. Yi Fan nodded and said that's true. The humble peak and the star peak are neighbors. If I accidentally smash you, it will not be justifiable. This guy is too arrogant. How dare he speak to senior brother Yang like this? He is looking for death. Senior brother Yang, smash all the bones in his body. Don't worry about anything. Our star peak disciples have never been looked down upon like this. In the history of the Taishian sect, Half of the headmasters have come from our line. Even if the humble peak is going to rise, it will only be on par with us in the future. This boy is so arrogant now. It is really annoying. Li Xiaoman stepped forward and said to Yi Fan, You are no match for senior brother Yang. Hurry up and apologize. Ji Ziyue smiled brightly and clapped her hands. Hurry up and fight. I can't wait anymore. Yi Fan glanced at Li Xiaoman and said nothing. He calmly took two steps forward. Junior Sister Lee, you've seen it too. I'm really sorry. Since he's like this, there's nothing I can do. Senior Brother Yang's smile was very thick. Yi Fan came in front of him and said, Isn't three punches too much? I think I can finish you off with one punch. Senior Brother Yang did not get angry. There was a smile on his face as he said, Since you are so confident, then I will fulfill your wish. I will end the battle with one punch. I will let you rest for a few years and reflect on how to be a reserved disciple. Senior Apprentice Brother Yang, smash him to pieces. The disciples behind him couldn't bear it any longer. All right, I will let him understand that Star Peak is not to be blasphemed. Senior Apprentice Brother Yang stretched out his right palm, which was as flawless as white jade, and shouted, Go rest in bed for a few years. His arm was very long, and he slapped forward in an instant. His palm was completely transparent, and one could clearly see the blood vessels and bones inside. One could also see the divine power flowing, interweaving into a screen of light. Around the jade palm, astral winds shook, 
and the surrounding vegetation was uprooted. Mountain rocks rolled and rumbled as if a divine wall was pressing over, wanting to crush Yi Fan. Yi Fan was incomparably calm. He didn't even see him circulate his divine power. He directly waved his hand and slapped forward, as if he was chasing away mosquitoes. In the back, the Star Peak disciples all revealed smiles. Being so casual was simply courting death. Many people were already clapping, feeling that there was no suspense. Only the white-robed man frowned and shouted, Senior Apprentice Brother Yang, be careful. However, everything was too late. Yi Fan's palm instantly turned golden as if it was cast from fine gold. It was extremely mystical and didn't look like a palm of flesh at all. It was dazzling and dazzling. Bang! The golden palm collided with the transparent palm. First, there was a muffled sound, and then the sound of bones cracking. It was like frying beans crackling nonstop. Ha ha ha. The light of a firefly dares to compete with the brilliance of the moon. Who doesn't know that the physique of our star peak disciples is the strongest? When they cultivate to a profound realm, their bodies are comparable to spirit treasures. He actually dared to exchange blows with senior apprentice brother Yang. He doesn't know the difference between life and death. However, they only discussed up to this point. Their voices stopped abruptly, and they swallowed the rest of their words. This was because the result shocked them. It wasn't Yi Fan's bones that were breaking. The sound of frying beans actually came from the tall and slender senior apprentice brother Yang. At this moment, everyone was dumbfounded as they saw an inconceivable scene. The clothes on senior apprentice brother Yang's body directly turned into flying ash. His body was almost transparent. This was the result of the Star Peak's physique refinement after reaching a certain realm. Inside that almost transparent body, the snow-white bones were constantly cracking. Starting from the right palm, the cracks quickly spread upwards. His entire right arm was like porcelain that had been hit by a heavy hammer, and the cracks were densely packed. Then, the cracks spread to the neck, then rushed to the chest, and then quickly split downwards. The fine cracks on the bones of both legs were like spider webs, densely packed extending all the way to the toes before stopping. Finally, the spine, the other arm, and the skull were like porcelain that had been hit by a heavy blow, completely cracking. This was an extremely terrifying scene. Everything inside the transparent body could be clearly seen. When the white bones all over his body were broken, the sound of cracking was incessant. Every detail was witnessed by everyone. Many people were petrified on the spot, and there was a feeling of suffocation. Yi Fan calmly retreated, and then exhaled a breath of air. The airflow vibrated, and senior apprentice brother Yang fell backwards. He let out a miserable scream, ah. At this moment, all the bones in his body were completely broken. At the same time he fell backwards, every part of his body was already deformed, and the broken bones could not support his flesh and blood. This result stunned everyone. This was a cultivator of the divine bridge realm and all the bones in his body were actually smashed by a palm. Just thinking about it made people shiver. Behind him, a female cultivator quickly rushed forward and covered his body with divine light, preventing him from falling into the dust. Otherwise, this body would be completely crippled. Even so, she was still extremely nervous, afraid that the head would be deformed, so she carefully controlled it. This, how could this be? No one could maintain their composure. This kind of palm strength was simply shocking. Beating a cultivator of the divine bridge realm was no different from crushing a scarecrow. The few cultivators who had been kicked away by Yi Fen felt a lingering fear. How could such a character be ordinary? Not to say that killing them was as easy as taking something out of one's pocket. This kind of physical body is too terrifying. I, Xingfeng, use starlight to refine my body, and my body is extremely tyrannical. How could he shatter all the bones in senior apprentice brother Yang's body? How much power does that palm contain? I'm afraid it's comparable to a cultivator of the Nirvana realm. Yi Fan stood there quietly. His appearance was only about 14 years old, and he looked very delicate, even a little immature. There was a hint of innocence and sunshine about him, which made people feel so unreal. The disciples of Xingfeng all felt a chill down their spines. This was simply a beast in human form and it was a legendary beast with terrifying divine power. Li Xiaoman was in a daze. She would never have thought that Yi Fan could cripple senior apprentice brother Yang with a slap. 
It seemed to be a casual strike, and he still had strength left. This made it difficult for her to calm down, and she could not believe this fact. At this moment, if one were to say who was the calmest, it would be Ji Ziyue. She giggled and said, How boring? Is this big guy made of paper? He can't even take a beating. As soon as she said this, many people glared at her. Senior apprentice brother Yang is not skilled enough. You can't blame others. All of you step back. The man in white, who had been standing at the back, walked forward. Other than Ji Ziyue, he was the calmest person. He looked at Yifan and said, You have repeatedly injured the disciples of my Xingfeng. You do have some skills. They are not wrong. Rest in bed for a few years and reflect on how to be a reserved disciple of the Taishian realm. Yifan said to senior apprentice brother Yang, who was screaming in pain, and then turned around to look at the man in white. This person was not old, only about twenty years old. He had sword-like eyebrows and bright eyes, and looked very handsome. His white shirt and shoes were spotless, and there was starlight flowing in his eyes. I think you are here to learn from your master. What kind of mystical method do you cultivate? The man in white asked calmly. The great way of nature, Yi Fan said casually. At the back, the disciples of the Xingfeng saw the man in white come forward, and they all calmed down and spoke. The great way of nature of the humble peak has only been inherited not long ago. It can't be such a method. That power just now was as deep as the ocean, very different from the way of nature. They felt aggrieved, and anger surged. Today, they were repeatedly suppressed, and they felt that they had lost face for the Xingfeng. If you don't want to say, I won't ask. The man in white was very indifferent and said, I'll spar with you. As a cultivator of the Nirvana realm, you have the nerve to say that. Ji Ziyue came forward, and her lips curled slightly, revealing her teeth. She said, why don't you go find the strong cultivators of the holy palace to spar with? He can even cripple a cultivator at the peak of the celestial bridge realm with one palm. If I spar with him, it won't be considered bullying. You make it sound nice. He just has a strong physique. As a cultivator of the Nirvana realm, you can use all kinds of divine techniques. How can he fight with you? Ji Ziyue asked, wrinkling her nose. When he crippled senior brother Yam with one palm, the result was already decided. He had no other choice. The man in white was emotionless, and he said coldly, If you want to live, kowtow and apologize in front of senior brother Yang, and break all the bones in your body. Otherwise, I'll do it myself. My legs have never even knelt to the heavens. Can he bear it? Can you bear it? Yi Fan stared at the man in white. Are your legs very hard? Then I'll break them first. The man in white was calm, as if he was talking about a trivial matter. Not far away, Li Xiaoman walked lightly and said to the man in white, Senior Brother Chen Feng, Why do you have to stoop to his level? A little punishment is enough. There's no need to make a big fuss. The humble peak has already risen. Don't hurt the harmony between the two branches. The man in white, Chen Feng, smiled and asked, Oh, how does junior sister Li think I should punish him? Yi Fan looked at Li Xiaoman and did not say anything. He strode forward and said to the man in white, Do you really think I'm meat on the chopping block? That I can be needed however I want? Let me see what kind of storm you can stir up. The man in white, Chen Feng, looked calm. He opened his palm, and suddenly spots of starlight rippled out, as if a few stars were fixed in his hand. He looked at Yi Fan and said, I'll give you one last chance. Break all the bones in your body and count out to apologize. Otherwise, if I do it myself, it's hard to say whether you'll live or die. If you don't act so high and mighty, will you die? Yi Fan's voice was very calm. I'll break your legs and step on your head. Chapter 140 Yi Fan's voice was not loud, but it made all the disciples of Xingfeng change their expressions. Chen Feng had a lot of prestige among them as he was a Nirvana realm cultivator. No one dared to talk to him like that, boasting shamelessly. Aren't you afraid of losing your head? If you want to break senior brother Chen's leg, go and cultivate for another hundred years. The disciples of Xingfeng were repeatedly suppressed and felt aggrieved. At this moment, they were enraged by Yi Fan's short words. They were eager to see Yi Fan suppressed. Senior brother Chen Feng is such a figure. Killing him is as easy as flipping a hand. In senior brother Chen Feng's eyes, he is just a chicken and a dog. 
Chin Fong was dressed in a white robe that was as clean as snow. There was not a speck of dust on him, nor was there any vulgarity. He looked very otherworldly, as if he had walked out from a paradise. He indeed had the air of an outstanding disciple of a super sect. He was a little cold, but he was more composed. He smiled indifferently and said, Young and ignorant, arrogant and ignorant. I have already given you a chance, but you did not grasp it. In that case, I will personally break all the bones in your body. Yi Fan kicked a thousand pound boulder towards Chen Feng and said, Will you die if you are not superior? He could not stand the arrogant attitude of the other party. Chen Feng gently waved his hand and his white robe fluttered. With a sweep of his sleeve, the thousand pound boulder instantly turned into powder and scattered down. Be careful, little kid. Ji Ziyu has secretly transmitted her voice and said, He is a Nirvana realm cultivator. If you want to defeat him, you can only rely on your strong physical body. You will only have a chance if you get close to him. Competing with divine power and spells, Yi Fan's chances of winning were too small. Only by fighting in close combat and relying on a strong physique that surpassed spiritual treasures could he have a chance to severely injure the other party. One should know that not long ago, he defeated Ji Xia, a Nirvana realm cultivator from the Ji family, just like this. Yi Fan moved his body and was as agile as the wind. With each step, he left an afterimage, dazzling everyone's eyes. He instantly rushed over. The white-robed man lightly retreated. He wasn't senior brother Yang, and he had long since been on guard against Yi Fan. He didn't want him to get too close, and he wanted to rely on his powerful divine arts to crush Yi Fan. However, he had underestimated Yi Fan's speed. Not only him, even Ji Ziyue's mouth was agape, revealing a shocked expression, because she saw a powerful movement technique. She seemed to have heard of it, but she had never seen it before. This is. Ji Ziyue's mouth formed an O shape as she wrinkled her nose and muttered to herself, could this be the legendary crazy old man's footwork? When Yi Fan took a step forward, it gave people a feeling that he was using the Tao of nature. It was like moving clouds and flowing water, very natural like an antelope hanging its horns, untraceable. The white-clothed man was already fast enough, like a meteor, swift to the extreme, leaving behind a series of afterimages. But Yi Fan was like a shadow following the body, following closely behind. He had to stick to the other party and engage in close combat. Otherwise, the situation would be very bad. After all, there was a huge realm difference. Before this, he kept moving towards the white-clothed man to create an opportunity for himself. Now, no matter what, he wouldn't give up easily. The Tao rhythm under his feet flowed, and he chased directly. Everyone around was shocked. Chin Fong was so strong, and a Nirvana realm cultivator moved like lightning. But Yi Fan caught up to him, and he couldn't escape. It was enough to show how mysterious that technique was. Do you really think I'm afraid of you? Chin Feng was surprised to be caught up by Yi Fan. Yi Fan's movements were too fast, so fast that he couldn't escape. At his realm of cultivation, it could be said that he could summon clouds and rain with a flip of his hand. He had unimaginable supernatural powers. Starlight flowed in his eyes, and there seemed to be an infinite number of stars vanishing. Tisk tisk! Starlight flowed in Chin Feng's pupils, and two beams of light shot out. They were sharper than swords and dazzling and they directly pierced through Yi Fan's head. If it was metal or stone, it would have cracked, let alone a person with flesh and blood. But Yi Fan's expression was calm. His left hand was like light, and he gently flicked his fingers. Clang, clang! Two vibrations rang out, and the two sharp beams of starlight exploded like crystals. They shattered in an instant, and then disappeared in the air. Hum! The void trembled slightly as Yi Fan's golden fist smashed forward. It was like Thor's hammer was vibrating, and the terrifying pressure made everyone around feel suffocated. Chen Feng's white robe fluttered, and starlight illuminated his body. His eyes were incomparably deep. In front of him, a curtain of light quickly interweaved and formed, separating him from Yi Fan. Bang! However, Yi Fan's golden fist was too domineering. It was ferocious and heavy, and it smashed down like a mountain. The terrifying fluctuations made everyone around lose their balance. Kacha! The curtain of light shattered on the spot, unable to block it all. It turned into streams of light and disappeared in the air. Boom! 
ye fans golden fists seemed to be burning with golden divine flames, and it even smashed the void until it collapsed. Chin Fong finally felt the tyrannical strength of Yi Fan's body. He couldn't help but change his expression. His figure was illusory, and he constantly dodged. A stream of light shot out from the sea of bitterness. This was a jade plate, and it quickly became larger. It was like a sky, and there were strange pearls embedded on it. They were like the sun, moon, and stars shining brightly in the sky. They hung in the air, covering Yi Fan below. Chi Chi Chi. The sword key was endless, and the nebula filled the air. This jade plate was very mystical. In an instant, the sky turned pitch black. The curtain of night fell, and every pearl released starlight, turning into sharp swords that stabbed down. It was simply a rain of swords. The black night sky, the dazzling pearls, and the shiny jade plate all vibrated at the same time, trying to strangle Yifan. Boom! Like the vibration of a large bell, the bronze trill resounded making the ears of the surrounding people buzz. Unknowingly, a huge bronze plaque appeared in Yifan's hand. On it were the four ancient words Big Lain Temple. He waved it toward the sky, blocking all the rain of swords. The bronze plaque was as heavy as a mountain. It shook in Yifan's hand and struck the jade plate above. Crash! It was as if the seven-colored glass had been shattered. Pieces of jade fell down, and strange pearls were dancing. That spirit treasure had been smashed into pieces. Chin Fong and White moved as fast as lightning, but he couldn't pull away. There was a strong wave of energy behind him. It was like a huge furnace, roasting him from behind, completely locking him in place. Do you really think that only your body is tyrannical? Chen Fong was chased by Yi Fan, and he was suddenly a little angry. As a cultivator of the Nirvana realm, when had he been so passive? Twelve Swords of the Milky Way he let out a low roar, and twelve sword gleams rushed up from his body, as if they were reaching the clouds and rushing down to hell. The twelve star rivers roared and each transformed into a huge sword, slashing down toward Yi Fan's body. The cultivators of Nirvana Peak used the starlight to refine their bodies, and they attached great importance to the cultivation of their bodies. As long as they reached the celestial bridge realm, their physique would begin to transform and become extremely powerful. The Nirvana realm was naturally even more impressive. They could attract the Star River divine light into their bodies, and after years of accumulation, there would be endless starlight in their bodies, which could be condensed into an invincible sword. Clang, clang, clang! The sword gleams vibrated, and the twelve star rivers were formed by a large amount of starlight, stirring up the wind and clouds in all directions. Bang, bang! Something shocking happened. Yi Fan put away the bronze plaque of the Big Lane Temple, waved his golden fist, and punched out. The void was distorted like an unstable space. The pair of golden fists was the source of the turmoil, and the horrifying power from the vibrations was shocking. The surging star rivers were scattered. Yes, three star rivers were shattered by Yi Fan's three punches, and the starlight scattered in all directions. Bang, bang, bang. Another nine punches were thrown in succession. The golden fists were unstoppable, and surpassed spiritual treasures. The body itself was the strongest weapon. After the nine attacks, the twelve star rivers were completely destroyed, turning into specks of light that quickly disappeared in the air. Chen Feng's body trembled. He was even more wary of Yifan's body. The sea of reincarnation shook, and he took out three powerful weapons in succession. The cloud chain was refined from chalcedony. It was sparkling like white jade and it lingered in the sky. It was flawless, like a pure white sacred cloud. The star shield was engraved with a sky full of stars. It pressed down like a precipice, and it was as if a part of the sky was falling. The moon blade was like a crescent moon, dazzling with silver light. It spun and slashed, indestructible and murderous. Behind, the disciples of the star peak all gasped. This was Chen Feng's ultimate move. Few could resist the combination of three terrifying weapons. The cloud chain locked the sky, trying to seal Yi Fan alive. The star shield and moon blade were like stars sinking and the moon falling, falling from the sky. It was as if a small world was being destroyed, drowning Yi Fan within. This was a powerful offensive technique. Yi Fan was finally stopped. He was covered by the endless starlight and moonlight, and he was locked down by the holy cloud chain. After all, Chin Fong was an expert of the Nirvana realm, 
and his strength was unquestionable. He broke away from the entanglement and rushed up into the sky. Behind, the disciples of the Star Peak all smiled. They were full of confidence in Chen Feng's methods. No matter how strong his body is, can it be more terrifying than a spiritual treasure? Let's see how he escapes this calamity. I've already said that senior brother Chen Feng can kill him as easily as breaking a chicken or a dog, an ant trying to shake a tree, not knowing the immensity of heaven and earth. I've already expected this outcome. Suddenly, a dull sound was heard. Rumble. The starlight and moonlight suddenly collapsed. Bang. Endless starlight rushed up, and the star shield was pierced by Yi Fan's fist. His black hair danced in the air, and his divine power was overwhelming. Clang! Another punch was thrown, and the moon blade broke. The moonlight dissipated, and the broken blade became dim and fell to the ground. Crack! Yi Fan's arms struggled, and the cloud chain collapsed inch by inch. The holy light faded, and the holy clouds collapsed. The disciples of the star peak were dumbfounded and Li Xiaomen also revealed a look of disbelief. Three powerful magic treasures could not suppress him, and instead, they were shattered. This kind of body was unbelievable. In the sky, Chen Feng felt pain. The three treasures had been refined by him for many years, and they had long developed spirituality. However, they were destroyed today. This is simply the legendary humanoid beast. Is this still a body? It's simply a precious treasure. Many people sucked in a breath of cold air. It's time to end everything. Chen Feng was as cold as ice. He stood in the sky, and his whole body emitted spots of starlight, like a white-robed star-lord. Chapter 141 A Nirvana Realm cultivator had many magical powers and thousands of spells. If it was just to deal with someone with a strong physique, they had endless means. Who do you think you are? Do you really think you are a god, standing high above the clouds? At this moment, Yi Fan suddenly shot into the sky and closed in again. Li Xiaoman was shocked. She never expected Yi Fan to be able to fly. It was obvious that he could cultivate, at least above the life spring realm. It was not as simple as having a strong physique. His physique obviously can't. Her heart was in turmoil, unable to calm down. Chin Feng was shocked at first, but soon calmed down. From the waves of divine power, his opponent was only in the celestial bridge realm. A firefly dares to compete with the bright moon. He opened his palm, and starlight poured down like mercury. It looked gentle, but it was heavy. He wanted to use endless divine power to refine Yi Fan alive. Yi Fan walked in the air. His footwork technique was mysterious. Every step he took gave off a natural feeling as he avoided the starlight. Below, Ji Ziyue covered her mouth and whispered, the sky has so many secrets. It really is like the legendary crazy old man's steps. At this point, even Chen Feng's expression changed. This kind of steps was a threat to him. It was very mysterious. Yi Fan was like a flowing cloud, like the blowing wind, moving left and right, making it impossible to catch his shadow. This kind of steps was indeed mysterious. He had studied it for more than a year, but he only had a basic understanding of it. That day, when Crazy Old took a step, the endless mountains and rivers were behind him. It was a true shrinking of the earth, countless times faster than others flying in the sky and earth. It left an indelible impression on Yi Fan. The Tao pattern left by Crazy Old was extremely complicated. He only comprehended the more superficial parts, and did not fully comprehend it. Endless starlight! Chen Feng in white shouted. He raised his right hand and a river of stars flowed out. At first, it was like a trickle, but soon the sky was drowned by starlight. No matter where Yi Fan hid, he was covered by starlight. With a flip of Yi Fan's palm, a copper eight trigrams mirror appeared. It gathered boundless divine light, and shone towards Chen Feng like a resplendent sun. The resplendent light was incomparably intense. The huge light beam immediately destroyed the starlight. This was the most powerful treasure of the Jiang clan's elder. It was a rare spiritual item. What? Such a powerful treasure shocked Chen Feng and he quickly retreated. In the distance, Ji Ziyue chuckled and said, Do you really think that this guy only knows how to swing his fists? If he gets entangled in close combat, there'll be a good show to watch. Suddenly, Ji Ziyue could not laugh anymore. Her expression changed as she said, Void art. Yi Fan's body almost disappeared. 
he turned into a wisp of black smoke and floated forward. In a flash, he reappeared and slapped forward. Jizuya couldn't help but be shocked. Yi Fan first displayed an inexplicable footwork, and then used the Great Void technique of Ji Clan's ancient scriptures. This was a powerful secret technique recorded in the Void scripture. When cultivated to the extreme, one could travel through the Void with unfathomable power. I only wrote a short paragraph for him. Without the support of a powerful mental cultivation method, he can't use it at all. This guy must have cultivated an immortal canon that is not inferior to the Void scripture. At this moment, Chen Feng was also shocked. He was almost hit by Yi Fan's slap. He quickly dodged to the side. Buzz! The void trembled as if it was collapsing. Yi Fan did not chase after him, but a large black hand appeared beside Chen Feng, covering the sky and earth as it came crashing down. Void handprint in complete style. Ji Ziyue exclaimed softly and said to herself, he must have cultivated some ancient scripture. Otherwise, there's no way he can use the void handprint. Pa! Although Chen Feng was fast, his left arm was still hit. The bones in his arm were crushed on the spot, and his left arm hung limply. The huge black hand dissipated in the sky, but it stunned many people present. Chen Feng's face was pale and his forehead was dripping with cold sweat. In the distance, the disciples of Star Peak were all shocked. Chen Feng was so powerful but he had never gained the upper hand since the start of the battle. At this moment, his left arm was shattered. This was unimaginable. Where did he come from? Why does he have such a technique? How is this possible? Even senior brother Chen Feng is not his match. His left arm was actually shattered. Ji Ziyue clenched her fists. She felt that Yi Fan had many secrets. He was not as simple as he looked on the surface. Hey! The white-robed Chen Feng shouted coldly. A river of stars rushed out of the sea of bitterness and surged towards his left arm. Pi pi pa pa. His left arm was trembling and then trembling. With the baptism and nourishment of the starlight, the broken arm grew back. This was the power of a Nirvana realm cultivator. Injuries could heal quickly. What kind of secret technique is that? Chin Feng revealed a serious expression for the first time. That huge black hand was too mysterious. Even now, he still felt uneasy. Yi Fan was also very surprised. The palm of Void was very domineering and had great attacking power. Unfortunately, he had only mastered the crippled style and could not display it completely. Comparatively speaking, the Sea of Reincarnation chapter of the Tao scripture focused on consolidating one's foundation and digging out one's potential. There were no powerful attacking methods and it lacked secret techniques. Didn't you want to break all the bones in my body? Show me what you have. Do you really think you can be my enemy just because you have mastered a few secret techniques? Your divine power is far inferior. Chen Feng's expression turned cold. He opened his mouth and let out a breath. Starlight shone on his body and seven stars appeared one after another. The seven stars were as big as a human head and hung in the sky like seven small suns. Then, they turned into streams of light and rushed in all directions. In an instant, the sky changed. It turned pitch black and stars actually appeared in the sky. He used his powerful divine power to seal the sky and set up a cage of heaven and earth to trap Yi Fan. Let me borrow the divine power of the Northern Dipper Lord. Chen Feng shouted. In the sky, the seven stars suddenly shone. They were not the real Big Dipper but the starlight of the Northern Dipper that he had cultivated for many years. One had to admit that the cultivators of the Nirvana realm were very powerful. Their methods were divine. The seven stars hanging in the sky became the strongest weapon. Dub he divine sword. Chen Feng shouted. Among the Big Dipper seven stars, the Dub he star was burning fiercely. It shot a sword or a straight at Yi Fan. Dub he divine sword. The Dub he star was abnormally brilliant. It sprinkled down a dazzling radiance that condensed into a sword and slashed at Yi Fan. Dub he divine sword. The third sword aura slashed down like a bolt of lightning. Clang. In the sky, the Big Dipper, Alioth, Mizar, Alcade, Dubhi, Dubhi, and Dubhi shone with dazzling radiance. They condensed into seven divine swords that slashed horizontally. Chen Feng treated Yi Fan as a formidable opponent and did not hold back at all. He said coldly, I said I would break all the bones in your body. Of course I will do it. 
Yi Fan used the mysterious footwork and kept dodging. These sword auras were indeed sharp, and he did not want to face them head on. Buzz! Yi Fan struck out the palm of Void again. A huge black hand appeared in the sky and slapped at Chin Fong. However, this time, Chin Fong was prepared and dodged at the first moment. The palm of Void emitted a frightening energy wave as it slowly dissipated in the sky. The palm of Void was indeed powerful, but it had a fatal flaw. It was not fast enough. Moreover, it was an incomplete move and could not kill the enemy in one hit. What else do you have? Show me. Chin Feng sneered. Yi Fan dashed left and right, but the Big Dipper's seven stars were still hanging above his head, sweeping down sword auras. Senior apprentice brother Chin Feng named himself the Big Dipper Seven Stars. As expected, he is powerful. This kind of sword aura is endless and indestructible. Star Peak, ordinary disciples cannot use the Big Dipper Seven Stars to entrust their minds. Senior apprentice brother Chin Feng is extremely talented. With seven divine swords in the sky, it will not be long before he kills this kid. Yi Fan rushed into the sky and waved his golden fist. He smashed forward, wanting to destroy the seven stars. Specks of yellow appeared on the surface of his body to protect him. The opponent's divine power was very powerful and could really suppress him. With the difference of one major realm, Chen Feng's forceful methods were not something that Yi Fan could contend against. At this moment, Yi Fan constantly circulated his mystic arts and finally mobilized a bit of source key to resist the powerful divine power. In the end, he tore apart the divine power shackles and rushed into the sky, arriving in front of the Big Dipper's seven stars. The golden fist struck the sky, and the void seemed to collapse as the space distorted. In close combat, he was very confident. With one punch, he shattered the Dubhi star and starlight scattered in all directions. Yi Fan swung his fist again and again. The source key flashed across his body, and the other six stars in the sky were also shattered by him. How is this possible? Chen Feng was shocked. He was a cultivator of the Nirvana realm and had extremely powerful divine power. If he really attacked, he could suppress Yi Fan. But right now, it seemed so strange. His opponent had easily shattered his divine star, which made him feel uneasy. Is this guy even human? He actually shattered senior apprentice brother Chen Feng's divine star. How powerful is he? Even a Nirvana realm cultivator might not be able to do that. The disciples of Star Peak were very shocked and confused. Yi Fan's physical body was powerful enough. Plus, with the source key surrounding him, he was practically indestructible and unstoppable. As long as my body is not destroyed, my divine star will not be destroyed. You think you can stop me just by shattering it? Chin Feng growled and the Big Dipper appeared in the sky again. Then I'll shatter you. Yi Fan had no choice but to fight with all his might. There was a difference of one realm. Even though he had many secret techniques, he felt that it was very difficult. Seven stars transform, lock time and space. Chen Feng shouted. The Big Dipper turned into seven beams of light that swooped down and surrounded Yi Fan. Boom! The stars shone as if a sea of stars had fallen and sealed Yi Fan inside. At this moment, the Big Dipper turned into countless stars and became a starry sky. Although they weren't real stars and were all condensed from starlight, it was enough to seal a cultivator of the celestial bridge realm. The divine power of a cultivator of the Nirvana realm was too strong. If this continued, he would be refined into ashes sooner or later. Yi Fan didn't panic because he had a strong reliance, the source key. This was the reason why he dared to fight a cultivator of the Nirvana realm. Although he couldn't hit the source key out, when the endless starlight came crushing over, it was all destroyed on the surface of his body and couldn't hurt him. If I can refine my cauldron again or use the source key to successfully refine my body, I won't have to be so passive. If I can refine my cauldron again or use the source key to successfully refine my body, I won't have to be so passive. Yi Fan was silently circulating one of the nine secrets. Since the start of the battle, he had been trying but hadn't been able to trigger it even once. Although this legendary supreme secret technique was profound and difficult, it wasn't long and could be completely integrated with the Tao scripture. He had already circulated it hundreds of times. After a long wait, the disciples of the Star Peak didn't speak anymore and quietly waited for Yi Fan to be refined into ashes. 
Chin Feng's body shone brightly and his white robe was spotless. He was really like a star lord, untainted by the aura of mortals as he stood in the sky. This is the time. Yi Fan was excited. After circulating the supreme secret technique hundreds of times, he finally succeeded. At this moment, he felt extremely powerful and his combat power increased rapidly. He felt that he had rushed into the Nirvana realm. Ten times the combat power. It's actually ten times the combat power. He felt that everything was too dreamy. Although this supreme secret technique was difficult to successfully trigger, it could be called a priceless treasure. This was an unimaginable change that could make one ten times stronger in an instant. It couldn't be explained by logic. This was the kind of power that could turn something rotten into something magical. Boom! Yi Fan threw a punch and shattered the stars in the sky. He took a step forward and his speed increased by ten times. He used Crazy Ol's footwork and rushed over in an instant. Bang! Chin Feng couldn't dodge at all and was sent flying by the punch. The bones in his body kept cracking and dozens of them were broken. The starlight shone and his divine power collapsed, and he lost his combat power. At the same time, Yi Fen felt an emptiness in his body. His powerful combat power retreated like the tide and completely disappeared. This was a very strange feeling. He had reached the peak in an instant, and was beaten back to his original state in the next second. It was very magical. The supreme secret technique is definitely a treasure. Yi Fan couldn't calm down. He thought that this was more valuable than the ancient scripture of Void. How is this possible? Senior brother Chen Feng was defeated. How did this happen? What secret technique did he use to shatter the starlight and send a Nirvana realm cultivator flying? The disciples of Star Peak were all stunned and couldn't accept this fact. Among them, Li Xiaoman was the most shocked. Her heart was in turmoil and she couldn't calm down. She felt that this was all an illusion. Killing is just a matter of nodding your head to the ground. Although you said you would break all my bones, I don't want to kill you. Yi Fan walked forward and looked down at Chen Feng who had fallen in the dust. At this moment, Chen Feng's white robe was covered in dust. Half of his black hair was gone, and his face was pale. He couldn't accept this reality, and couldn't move his injured body. You and I both know who is in the right, and who is in the wrong. Star Peak has always been the only one and can't tolerate others being strong. I hope you guys know what to do in the future. After defeating a Nirvana Realm cultivator, Yi Fan suddenly calmed down and the restlessness from before disappeared completely. At this moment, there were many people flying over from Star Peak. Let's go, a cultivator who has surpassed the Nirvana Realm has appeared. Ji Ziyue walked forward and pulled Ji Fan up into the sky. At this moment, a rainbow suddenly rushed over from the humble peak. It crossed many mountains like a real bridge that spanned dozens of miles. Li Ruoyu stood on the rainbow bridge and led Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue to the top. This caused everyone to suck in a breath of cold air. What kind of tyrannical magical power was this? To be able to form a rainbow and cross over ten mountains, this kind of method was shocking. In the sky far away, a few elders suddenly stopped and cupped their hands at the rainbow bridge. Senior brother Li, we mean no harm. I know, Li Royu only said these three words. The rainbow that crossed the humble peak and dozens of peaks retreated like a wave and appeared on the peak of the humble peak with the three of them. Senior brother Li is not ordinary. I feel more and more that he will be comparable to the ancient mighty people. A few elders of Star Peak whispered. Ji Ziyue was secretly speechless. She felt that Li Ruoyu was unfathomable and more mysterious than the legendary figures of the Ji clan. The disciples of Star Peak are too weak. Ji Ziyue squinted her eyes and deliberately stirred up the topic. You guys haven't seen the most outstanding disciple of Star Peak. Although it can't be compared to the Eastern Wilderness Divine Body, it's not something you guys can fight against now, Li Ruoyu said. In the end, Ji Ziyue yawned and walked back to her small wooden hut. Only then did Yi Fan ask Li Ruoyu for advice, I had to circulate it hundreds of times before I triggered the supreme secret technique. Senior, do you have any way to increase the probability? As one's cultivation level increases, the probability will increase. Apart from that, you have to find a few other supreme secret techniques. Every time you cultivate one more, the probability will increase by 10%. Yi Fan was shocked. According to Li Ruoyu, 
The reason why the nine esoteric techniques were called supreme secret techniques was because they were too extraordinary. If the nine esoteric techniques were completely combined, not to mention the other eight supreme secret techniques, the one at humble peak would reach perfection and could be successfully triggered at any time. This is unbelievable. Yeah, turning something rotten into something magical. Li Ruiyu nodded and said maybe it's because it's too unbelievable that even the heavens don't allow the nine esoteric techniques to be combined. That's why it was split up and lost. Who is it that came to my humble peak? Why don't you come out and see me? Li Ruiyu suddenly said. The surroundings were quiet. There was no sound. Nothing was out of the ordinary. There were no strangers on the humble peak. Only a few dozen newly accepted disciples who were building wooden huts halfway up the mountain. It was as if they didn't hear Li Royu's voice. The golden lake between Yi Fan's eyebrows pulsed. A powerful divine sense emerged and scanned in all directions. He felt a strange aura, but he couldn't pinpoint it, so he couldn't be sure if there was someone there. Li Royu's expression was calm. He stood at the top of the humble peak and didn't make any moves. The plants around him suddenly flourished and grew towards the surroundings. So it's a cultivator from the Ji clan. The Great Void technique lives up to its name. It allows one to travel through the void. It's indeed a peerless secret technique. Li Ruoyu raised his head and stared. It was as if he could see through the void and see the origin. Right under his feet, a vine extended into the air. It was emerald green, with a flower bud on it that was about to bloom, emitting a crystal clear glow. In that instant, the vine continuously grew, quickly extending outwards like a vigorous horned dragon rushing into the sky. The flower bud blossomed in the wind, the petals sparkling and translucent, brilliant and dazzling, locking down an area of the void, containing the enormous flower within. This was the Tao of nature. The petals represented eternity, locking down a part of the space. The humble peak is indeed extraordinary. Is there going to be a second almighty? The void shattered. An old man stepped out from the void and stood on the crystal clear petals. Chapter 142 On the humble peak, the vines were as thick as water tanks, stretching over a hundred meters into the sky. An enormous flower bloomed like a five-colored crystal. It span out multicolored light and flickered with specks of brilliance. Among the flowers, there was an old man in cyan with snow-white hair and a jade-like face without any wrinkles. His eyes were as deep as the sea. Behind him, there was darkness as if night had fallen. It was also like a bottomless pit that connected the entire void, giving people the feeling that the great Tao was as deep as the abyss. Pop! The flower under his feet made a soft sound. The petals dimmed as if they had encountered frost and snow, withering quickly. Then, the vines withered and fell from the sky. The old man from the G family didn't move, but the pitch-black void behind him spurted out a black light that covered the summit of the humble peak. It was pitch-black as if dark clouds were pressing down on them. It was majestic and suffocating, as if a black mountain was pressing down on them. Li Ruoyu stood in place without moving. The surrounding vegetation flickered with green light, and a towering ancient tree grew rapidly. It was like a huge umbrella that covered the sky, towering into the sky and blocking the endless black light above it. Bang! Suddenly, a black trident appeared in the sky. It cut the towering tree into pieces and stabbed down towards the humble peak. It was a hundred meters long and seemed to be able to tear the sky and earth apart. Splash! On the humble peak, a white waterfall rushed to the sky like a silver dragon and wrapped around the black trident. There was no fierce collision, no dazzling light. The silver waterfall wrapped around the giant trident like soft fingers. The great Tao of nature lives up to its name. The old man from the G family shouted. The entire sky turned dark. Dark clouds rolled and pressed down. Purple lightning flashed and covered the humble peak. Pop! Around Li Ruoyu, all the plants overflowed with fragrance. Endless green light shot up into the sky and a rain of light fell. A natural and gentle power flowed into the sky and spread in all directions. Swish! The great void technique appeared. The old man from the G family appeared behind Li Ruoyu without a sound and slammed his palm. Bang! Li Ruoyu seemed to be able to see through the void and capture the trajectory of the great void technique. He turned his hand back to meet the attack. When the two palms collided, a terrifying energy burst out. 
However, they did not wreak havoc on the humble peak. Instead, they flew into the sky and disappeared. Bang, bang. The sound of palm strikes kept ringing out, and streams of terrifying energy shot up from the summit of the humble peak, tearing through the sky like lightning. The elder from the G family used the Great Void technique. He appeared in different directions and couldn't be predicted at all. This was a supreme secret technique. However, Li Ruoyu seemed to be able to predict the future. His movements were as smooth as flowing water. He waved his sleeves in all directions and blocked the great void technique. Boom! In the end, a black-colored hand covered the heavens and the earth as it descended, enveloping the entire peak of Humble Peak with the intention of uprooting it. This kind of terrifying scene caused people's hearts to palpitate. The terrifying fluctuations directly shook people to their bones, causing them to panic and suffocate, involuntarily trembling. Grand Void Handprint these types of methods were world-shocking and intimidating. When ordinary cultivators saw this, they couldn't even muster the will to resist. It was just too terrifying. It was as if a part of the sky was collapsing. Boom! Li Ruoyu rushed up and welcomed it with a single palm. In an instant, the humble peak was suffused with the aura of nature. The green light and black light clashed and mixed together. Li Ruoyu and the black-colored hand were both contained within. Waves of muffled sounds rang out continuously, causing the surrounding mountains to shake. Those who saw this scene were all terrified. In the end, there was no destructive aura. All of the light was retracted. The black-colored hand slowly faded away in the sky as Li Ruoyu landed on the humble peak. Good, good, good. The elder from the Ji family landed on the ground and said, The humble peak's inheritance is indeed extraordinary. It isn't an ancient scripture but it is comparable to an ancient scripture. The Tao follows the laws of nature. You might really become the second almighty of the humble peak. Both of them didn't use their full strength. It was just a simple test, but it was enough to shock everyone. I wonder why Senior has come to the humble peak? Li Ruoyu asked. Not far away, Yi Fan was a little surprised. Li Ruoyu was so old, yet he still called this person Senior. It seemed like he was a famous elder from the G family. After a long period of silence, I came out to take a walk and find a descendant. At this moment, Ji Ziyue was hiding in a small wooden house. Her big black eyes turned, then she walked out and called out, Great Grandfather, why are you here? To find you, of course. Brother Ji Hong has come to my Taishian sect. Why didn't you say hello? A great elder of the Taishian sect said telepathically from afar, Please forgive me for barging in. The elder of the Ji family, Ji Hong, bowed to the distant sky. Ji Hong rose into the air and flew into the distance to meet an old friend. On the humble peak, Yi Fan felt guilty and was ready to run. But if he just left like that, he felt a little sorry for Li Ruyu. At this moment, Ji Ziyue seemed to have sensed something. She flew over lightly and blocked his way, saying, Little brat, are you trying to escape? No, I'm just taking a walk. You are too sensitive, Yi Fan denied. You must have a lot of secrets on you, otherwise why would you be so guilty? Ji Ziyue circled around him, then tilted her head and said, In a while, come with me to our Ji family. I won't go even if you beat me to death. This was what Yi Fan was thinking, but he had a smile on his face and said, I can't ask for more. It would be even better if I could marry into the Ji family. What does a little brat know? Ji Ziyue chuckled. I have a cousin who is just nine years old. She is a good match for you. I don't lack daughters. What nonsense are you muttering? Ji Ziyue glared at him. In the end, Ji Hong returned to the humble peak and called Ji Ziyue over. I have urgent matters to attend to. Don't wander around. Stay in the Taishin sect for now. The situation outside is a bit complicated. After saying these words, Ji Hong left in a hurry. Yi Fan was most satisfied with this result. Now he had enough time to prepare to leave. Not long after, the headmaster of the Taishian sect and the legendary figures also flew out of the 108 main peaks and rushed into the distance. What happened? Inside the Taishian sect, many disciples were discussing. It had been many years since the headmaster and the great elder were dispatched at the same time. It wasn't until a day later that news came that a crazy old man had appeared in the territory of the Wei Kingdom. He was suspected to be a peerless master from 6,000 years ago. This news shocked dozens of surrounding countries. The Ji family, the Yaoguang Holy Land, 
and the Taishian sect all sent out top experts to search for him. It's actually a peerless master of the past. He has actually lived for more than 6,000 years and still exists in this world. It's incredible. How can a person live for 6,000 years? He's simply a living history book. He has experienced various dark and light eras. It's really a miracle. Inside the Taishin sect, many people were discussing. After hearing the news, Yi Fan's heart trembled. He suddenly thought of Crazy Ol. It must be him. Six thousand years ago, the heavenly jade holy land was incomparably prosperous. With the strength of the entire sect, they attacked the ancient barren forbidden land and never returned. They were removed from the world. Crazy Ol was the only survivor. Many people wanted to know what had happened six thousand years ago and what kind of existence the desolation in the endless abyss was. Six thousand years ago, Crazy Ol's cultivation was earth-shattering. In the eastern barren territory, no one could match him. A peerless master like him had lived for another six thousand years and still did not die. Everyone wanted to know what level he had reached and how far he was from immortality. They wanted to hear his teachings. In particular, there were great forces like the Ji family and the Yaoguang Holy Land. The great elders of the sects all wanted to talk to such a peerless master. For the great figures of the world, such a living fossil was more attractive than the ancient scriptures of the eastern barren territory. On the third day, there was more news. Crazy, that peerless master has completely gone crazy. No one can talk to him. He is crying and laughing. It's impossible to communicate with him. It's too terrifying. Many famous people were sent flying by his sleeves. No one can get close to him. Six thousand years ago, he was already earth-shattering. Now, it's impossible to estimate his strength. He disappeared. In just a few steps, the endless mountains and rivers were left behind. He directly left the Wei territory. No one can keep up with his footwork. It's hard to see his back even if one flies in the sky or bursts into the ground. At this moment, Ji Ziyu had blocked Yi Fan, not letting him leave. Did you learn that footwork from that crazy old man? What nonsense are you talking about? I don't understand at all. Yi Fan would not admit it. It definitely has something to do with it. Our Ji family's ancient books have detailed records. It's a footwork that far surpasses shrink. It's unparalleled in the world. Only that crazy old man knows it. Yi Fan felt that this little girl was too clever. Almost all his secrets had been discovered by her. If he was not paying attention, she would be able to sense the abnormality. Senior, are there really immortals in this world? Yi Fan came to the peak and asked Li Royu. Everyone is asking. It doesn't matter if there is or not. As long as we have a firm belief that the path to immortality is feasible, we can continue forward. Just what level has the crazy old man reached? Logically speaking, living for 6,000 years is simply a miracle. There is no reason for him not to become an immortal. I'm afraid even the eastern wasteland divine body can't live that long. If he doesn't become an immortal, then he goes crazy. Perhaps he is such an existence. Li Royu also sighed. Within the Taishian sect, apart from the 108 main peaks, there were countless secondary peaks. Not all the mountains were surrounded by immortal ki. Some places were very desolate, just like the humble peak. Yi Fan had been preparing to leave for the past few days. He constantly wandered around the Taishan sect, wanting to make one last effort to understand what conditions were needed to open the gate before the sect would let him go. The sun was setting, and the evening glow dyed most of the sky red. He came to an extremely desolate mountain ridge. Weeds grew everywhere, and withered vines covered the ground. At this moment, he suddenly froze. On a large bluestone facing the west of the mountain ridge, a white-haired old man was lying on his side, facing the setting sun. His clothes were shabby and looked very old. It didn't look like the clothes of this era at all. He was muttering something, and two lines of tears hung from his muddy old eyes. Old man-man, it was actually old man-man. Yi Fan was shocked. He never thought that he would meet him in the supreme profound sect. How could he be here? Didn't he leave the way border in a few steps and go somewhere else? Chapter 143 Under the blood-red setting sun, withered vines coiled around the bluestone. Birds returned to their nests and leaves drifted down. Crazy O lay on the bluestone, facing the setting sun. 
His eyes were filled with endless yearning and sadness. Two lines of tears stood out on his wrinkled face. He used to be an earth-shattering cultivator. Six thousand years ago, he was already undefeatable in the eastern barren territory. But now, he was curled up here, his skinny body shivering. It made people feel pity and pity for him. Senior. Yi Fan walked up and squatted in front of the bluestone. He gazed at Crazy Ol. He felt sorry for him, but he didn't know how to help him. Crazy Ol looked up at him, and then at the setting sun. It seemed that nothing in the world could attract his attention. Only the blood-red sun could attract his full attention. That year, the setting sun was like blood and Merak was stained with blood. That day, all things withered and Merak fell. Crazy Ol had lived for so many years, but he couldn't stop crying. His eyes were cloudy. Senior, the past can't be undone. The dead are gone. Let's get over it. Yi Fan tried to persuade him. All of a sudden, the setting sun disappeared and sank below the mountain. The moment the blood-red sun disappeared, Crazy Ol's eyes suddenly shot out two dazzling beams of light, piercing through the void. The sadness on his face disappeared, and he sat up abruptly. He seemed to have become a completely different person. He was like a peerless sword that had been unsheathed and revealed its edge, causing the mountain ridge to become silent. All of the birds and beasts were trembling with fear. Yi Fan felt a strong pressure. If he didn't have a body that was stronger than a spirit treasure, he would have broken his bones and tendons. Crazy Ol was right in front of him. He was like a mountain, giving off an unimaginable pressure, their aura. He gazed at Yi Fan and grabbed Yi Fan's arm. His eyes suddenly became deep. Yi Fan shuddered. This crazy old man was too terrifying. This kind of pressure made it impossible for him to move. It far surpassed any other cultivator he had seen before. He immediately thought of the forbidden land of the remote antiquity, the heavenly jade saintess, the endless skeletons on the nine sacred mountains, and the desolate slaves. The them that crazy old mentioned was most likely referring to them. However, it had been more than a year. His aura should have been cleansed, but Crazy Ol could still sense it. This kind of terrifying spiritual mind was horrifying. Crazy Ol brushed his hand over his body, and the celestial jade saintess emerged. She stood in the air, her eyes bright and her teeth white. Her body was light and graceful, and her beauty was unparalleled. She was lifelike and almost perfect. Yi Fan was dumbfounded. What kind of divine art was this? With a light brush, he was able to capture a living shadow. This was truly unheard of and unseen. Crazy Ol brushed his hand again, and countless skeletons appeared on the mountain ridge. All the skeletons he saw on the nine sacred mountains that day appeared. Suddenly, Crazy Ol hugged his head and howled in pain, like a lone wolf howling in grief. Ha ha ha. Finally, he threw his head back and laughed crazily. If he didn't become an immortal, he would become a demon. He cried and laughed just like when they first met. He lost control of his emotions, which made people feel pity and pity. The celestial jade saintess was dignified and beautiful. She stood in the air, overshadowing the stars and moon. The endless skeletons emitted a dense yin energy as if they had really descended. They revolved around Crazy Ol. The scene was very strange, and it made people's hair stand on end. On the side, Yi Fan mistakenly thought that he had come to the forbidden land of the remote antiquity, and met the peerless celestial jade Saintus and the skeletons again. Crazy Ol let out a muffled growl, then suddenly raised his head and looked at the celestial jade Saintus and the skeletons. Two beams of light shot out from his eyes, and he actually carved the word Dao in the sky. Then, he stood up with his head held high, his hands moving slowly and forcefully. All the figures were carved in the void, forming a huge pattern. Inside, there were countless skeletons, mountains of corpses, and seas of blood. In the center, the celestial jade saintess was dressed in white, her black hair flowing like a waterfall. She looked so lifelike, as if she had a soul. This. Behind her, Yi Fan was shocked. He had never seen or heard of using the void as a pattern. Today, he saw it with his own eyes. It was really shocking. Crazy Ol's hands moved, and the aura of the Tao circulated. With a clang, he carved the word immortal on the pattern. Brilliant light shone. The word immortal seemed to have a strange magic power. All the figures in the pattern dimmed, 
and in the end, there seemed to be only one immortal left. There were only some vague shadows around, and even the celestial jade saintess in the center was blurred. The pattern flowed with a misty aura. The word immortal had endless Taoist rhyme, giving people a feeling that the great Tao was boundless and natural. Crazy Ol stretched out a finger and touched his forehead. The huge pattern in the sky turned into a brand and rushed into his head. His face showed all kinds of emotions. Yi Fan was shocked. What was Crazy Ol doing? Clang! The brand appeared on Crazy Ol's forehead, and the shadow inside became dimmer and dimmer. Only the shining word immortal was left. Is he erasing the past, or is he making a deeper memory? Yi Fan was secretly surprised. Crazy Ol's method was hard to predict. After a long time, Crazy Ol finally calmed down. Smack! At this time, he lightly patted the big green rock. Suddenly, a hazy halo flashed, and a mysterious pattern emerged. Undoubtedly, he was sober at this moment. He was not patting the green rock randomly. Yi Fan was shocked. He concentrated on the pattern, and his eyes were filled with divine light. The hazy halo shone on the green rock, and it was as difficult as a ghost drawing. It was as if he had seen it before. It looked very familiar. He had an extremely familiar feeling. Mysterious footwork. Yi Fan was shocked. This pattern was a complicated Tao pattern, very profound and difficult to understand. He had memorized Crazy Ol's footwork, but compared to the complete Tao pattern, it was too far away. This was the real mysterious footwork. Yi Fan was bewildered. Crazy Ol took one map from him and gave one back to him. It seemed that he wanted to call it even. At this moment, there was no time for him to think. He focused all his attention and memorized this mysterious pattern. The hazy halo rushed into his eyes, turning into a pattern, and engraved in his heart. This secret pattern was extremely profound and complicated. Yi Fan had only tried it once, and he immediately felt the world spinning. His level was too low, and he could not understand the most profound Tao pattern. This footwork must be a supreme secret technique. He was secretly surprised. Right at this moment, the blue stone shattered, turning into fine powder, leaving nothing behind. Crazy O stood up and walked into the depths of the mountain. Yi Fan was shocked and followed behind. Although this old man was crazy, there were times when he was sober. There must be a reason for him to come to Taishian. This was a barren mountain, even more than the humble peak, but it was not the main peak. There was no one from the Taishian sect here. After walking for about a dozen miles, Crazy O suddenly stamped his foot, and a short mountain in front of him split open as if it had been cut by a god with a giant axe. Behind him, Yi Fan was dumbfounded. The power of one stomp was terrifying. The short mountain split in half, like two open doors. Crazy Ol walked straight in. The inside was hazy and misty like a mysterious realm. It was actually a completely different world, like an independent space. Who dares to break into my Taishian heavy land? A shout suddenly came. Yi Fan stopped here, not daring to go further. Several figures flew out from the hazy space to stop Crazy Ol. Beams of dazzling light rushed towards Crazy Ol. It could be clearly seen that there were powerful iron seals, a giant net that covered the sky. All kinds of powerful spirit treasures, all emitting terrifying fluctuations. However, Crazy Ol waved his big sleeve, and all the treasures turned into powder. There was no suspense at all. All the brilliance was destroyed. It was simple and casual. It could be said that it did not take any effort. It was better than taking a stroll in the park. The seven or eight figures who had just rushed out of the fog were all shocked, but before they could react, Crazy O lightly shouted, and they all fainted and fell to the ground. These people were all white-haired and white-bearded elders of the Taishian sect, but in front of Crazy O, they were no different from ants. Yi Fan was shocked. If Crazy O wanted to kill people, even the powerful Taishian sect would become a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. No one in the eastern wasteland could stop him. Crazy Ol strode forward, straight into the fog. Yi Fan was very surprised. Seeing that all the elders had fainted, he did not hesitate and rushed forward. The fog dispersed, and the sky was full of stars. They had all come to a valley. There was an enormous altar here, and there were many Tao patterns carved onto it. 
There were also many ancient characters that indicated the various regions of the eastern wasteland. The Space Gate. Yi Fan was shocked. He suddenly thought of the two words Space Gate. This must be the important place of the Taishian sect, the Space Gate. If I can provide enough source to activate the patterns, I can cross the void from here. Thinking of this, Yi Fan rushed forward. If he could cross to the other side of the eastern wasteland from here, it would be a great wish of his. The area where the Taishian sect, the Ji family, and the Yaoguang Holy Land was located was in the south of the eastern wasteland, while the Jade Lake Holy Land was in the north. No one could tell how far the north and south were. Even if a cultivator could travel such a distance by riding a rainbow, it would still take years of hard work, which was really a headache. Without the space gate, the entire eastern wasteland could not be connected. The area was too big. In this area, apart from the Ji family and the Yaoguang Holy Land, the Taishian sect was the most powerful. However, after all, they were not holy lands. The patterns they carved could only reach the center of the eastern wasteland, not the northernmost part. After Crazy Ol stepped onto the altar, he did not use the patterns on it. Instead, he did it himself. He quickly carved extremely complicated patterns, and the entire altar crackled. He just wanted to use the large amount of source here. He could carve the patterns himself, but Crazy Ol came to the Taishian sect to cross the void. Where on earth was he going? Yi Fan was very surprised and wanted to know the answer. I should leave the Taishian sect, but should I cross the void with Crazy Ol? Yi Fan's heart was anxious. Such a peerless figure really made him want to follow him. However, only God knew where Crazy Ol was going. If he appeared in the forbidden area of the ancient wasteland or in a forbidden area like the origin ancient mine, the consequences would be unimaginable. The places where such a living fossil appeared could not be judged by common sense. Chapter 144 At this moment, the sky was dark and filled with stars. In the valley, the sacrificial altar was huge. It was made entirely of Xian Jade. The surface was very wide. Crazy Ol's fingers were like knives, carving on the surface with a very focused expression. Stone chips flew everywhere. The complicated patterns were densely packed, and deeply imprinted on the jade. It was so profound that it was impossible to understand them. The bright moon hung high in the sky. The bright moonlight sprinkled down. There was only a rustling sound at the space gate. The Xian jade was transparent. Mysterious patterns were carved on it. Yi Fan watched from the side. He wanted to figure it out, but he felt dizzy. It was an endless space that could easily make people lose themselves inside. Senior, where are you going? Yi Fan asked. He felt that it would be very dangerous to follow the old man. Bang! The altar shook. The Xian Jade shone brightly. The patterns had been carved. Crazy Ol stood up and stood in the center of the altar. Seeing that he did not respond, Yi Fan hesitated. Should he follow? Senior, I want to go with you. He spoke again. This kind of peerless master was like a living ancient scripture. If he could be taught by such a person, his cultivation would improve by leaps and bounds. However, at this moment, the old man went crazy again. He cried and laughed. He did not respond to Yi Fan at all. Let's do it. Yi Fan decided to follow. He wanted to leave the Taishian sect in the first place. It was no longer safe here. If he was taken back to the Ji family, the consequences would be unimaginable. Yi Fan leaped up and flew to the center of the altar. He stood side by side with the old man. At this moment, the altar began to absorb energy. The source buried in the ground shone brightly. Like waves of water, it flowed towards the altar. The translucent jade flickered continuously. The Tao patterns carved by Crazy Ol seemed to have come to life. They trembled and became sentient, glowing brightly. The space twisted and collapsed. Then, a dark door opened. The space gate was successfully opened. No one knew where it led to. The deranged crazy Ol stepped in, and Yi Fan followed closely behind. They appeared in the silent void. Nothing could be sensed in it. It was eternal darkness and endless silence. The gate closed slowly. Then, the whole altar began to absorb the endless source energy. Suddenly, the old man screamed. He hugged his head. The immortal character on his forehead shone brightly. A mysterious energy flowed out and wrapped him up. This was a terrifying power. 
the space became unstable. It began to crack. Strange lights flashed in the eternal darkness. Crazy Old fell to the ground and fell into a deep sleep. He floated there quietly, motionless. His body was covered by a layer of silk, which came out from the Sien character on his forehead like a cocoon. Yi Fan was shocked. What kind of changes did the old lunatic undergo? He actually caused space to crack. He was about to cross the void, yet this place was extremely unstable. This was a tremendous disaster. It's over. How could something like this happen? Yi Fan's face immediately paled. An unforeseen event happened while crossing the void, and one's body could easily be crushed to pieces. Crack. Crack. The space failed. Large cracks appeared. It was on the verge of collapse. Yi Fan started to operate the mystical method recorded in the scripture of Dao. He tried to mobilize the source key. If the space shattered, he would be pulverized without divine power. It was a long and worrying process. It was a torment for Yi Fan. The space did not shatter immediately. Finally, a stream of source key started to flow. It was hazy inside his body, releasing a heavy aura. I can't draw out all the source key. Yi Fan grabbed the cocoon covered old man. Perhaps only this body could withstand the force of the space shattering. Crack. Crack. Finally, the eternal darkness reached its limit. It shattered with a boom. The space shattered to the extreme. It was a silent annihilation. The elephant was invisible. The loudest sound was silent. The destructive power shattered everything. At this moment, the old man's strength was demonstrated. The cocoon on his body flowed with a strange light. It propped up a light curtain and fixed the space. Bang! Bang! The old man and Yi Fan were shaken out. They reappeared in the real world. They did not leave the Taishin sect. After traveling for a few dozen miles, they landed on a deserted mountain. At this moment, a deafening sound came from behind them. Light shot into the sky. The mysterious jade altar cracked. Boom! This was a powerful wave of energy. The dazzling light shot into the sky dimming the stars. It was as if ten suns had appeared at the same time, shining in all directions. Yi Fan was scared. Crossing the space was too dangerous. Such a terrible energy was enough to crush his body many times. Fortunately, he fell from this place. In the Taishian sect, the cultivators of the 108 main peaks were alarmed. The space gate was shining brightly. It was as if dozens of volcanoes were erupting at the same time. Everyone's expression changed. This is. The space gate has been opened. The space has been pierced. The space has failed to cross the space. Could it be that something happened to the great figures of the Taishian sect when they crossed the space? Many elders rose into the air and looked at the space gate. At the same time, the Taishian headmaster and many of the famous figures were even more shocked. The energy waves, like the deep sea, made them feel uneasy. Who is opening the space gate? Asked the great elder. The void is collapsing. If there's someone in there, I'm afraid they're in danger. Another grand elder revealed a bewildered expression. Dozens of miles away, Yi Fan's heart was pounding. He was secretly glad that he had escaped. If it wasn't for the source key of all things, if it wasn't for the old man's cocoon, I would most likely be dead. He slowly calmed down. At this moment, they had fallen into a mountain range. The old man was wrapped in a cocoon. He had fallen into a deep sleep and was motionless. Such a peerless figure is really unfathomable. Even the broken space cannot do anything to him. Yi Fan was shocked. In fact, the reason why the space had collapsed was completely because of the old man. Yi Fan did not dare to stay. He picked up the old man and rushed to the humble peak. He did not fly, but only walked through the forest. At this moment, the Taishian sect was in chaos. Many cultivators of the 108 main peaks were rushing to the space gate. No one paid attention to the direction of the humble peak. Yi Fan took the old man to the humble peak and placed him in the broken palace where he lived. Li Ruoyu appeared silently and said in a low voice, What happened just now, did it have anything to do with you? His spiritual sense was extremely sharp and he noticed something strange. It has nothing to do with me. Yi Fan pointed directly at the old man. Li Ruoyu probed with his spiritual sense. His spiritual heart suddenly became unstable, and his body felt like it was about to be torn apart. 
The natural flow of the great path was not smooth. The cocoon in front of him was like a demon fetus, which made his heart palpitate. This is. He sucked in a breath of cold air and took a few steps back. Yi Fan did not hide anything. He directly told the identity of the old man and what had happened just now. Before becoming an immortal, he went crazy. A peerless master from six thousand years ago. Li Royu was moved and could not keep calm. Anyone who heard this would be shocked. The old man had lived through countless eras. He could be called a living ancient scripture. For such a figure to appear on my humble peak, I don't know if it's good or bad for Taishian. Li Royu frowned. At this moment, the headmaster of Taishian and some famous figures stared at the cracked Xian Jade platform and did not speak for a long time. Their hearts were full of shock. This kind of pattern is too profound and difficult to understand. I am afraid that even the space gate in the Holy Land is not as good as this. Who carved it? At this time, the elders who were guarding here came to their senses and quickly told them what had happened. What? It must be him. The headmaster of Taishian and the famous figures all looked shocked. Not long after, the headmaster of Taishian and the famous figures of the sect all appeared on the humble peak. Li Ruoyu had invited them here. The appearance of the old man here was of great importance, and he could not hide it. However, Li Ruoyu did not mention Yi Fan. He said that the old man had fallen from the void and appeared on the humble peak by accident. In the next few days, everything was very calm. The Taishian sect blocked the news and did not let it spread. The elders of the Taishian sect worshipped the old man like a sacred object and sent people to guard him, for fear that he would be disturbed. The old man was in a strange state, covered by a cocoon, and there was a strange energy flowing. One of the famous figures of the Taishian sect wanted to investigate, but he was shocked and vomited blood. Did you notice that there is something strange on the humble peak? There must be some secret. Ji Ziyue whispered to Yi Fan. Yi Fan was speechless. He had been warned by Li Ruoyu not to leak the news, or he might be dragged into it. I hope the old man wakes up soon and nothing happens to him. Yi Fan could only pray like this. In the next few days there were still no disturbances. It was very calm. Now, the humble peak had risen, its status had risen, and it had accepted many outstanding disciples. The main peak was no longer desolate. Every day, disciples from other main peaks would come to visit. Yi Fan got to know many young disciples, and Ji Ziyue was surrounded by people like stars around the moon. On this day, people from the star peak came and actually invited Ji Ziyue and Yi Fan. After hearing this news, Yi Fan suddenly frowned, but Ji Ziyue smiled sweetly. She was not afraid of the other party causing trouble at all. On the same day, Ji Ziyue mysteriously said to Yi Fan, my great-grandfather is here. Yi Fan was shocked and said subconsciously, That old man is here again? How can you say that? Ji Ziyue glared at him. I misspoke. Do I want to take you back? Yi Fan asked awkwardly. No, the old man appeared on the humble peak. The Taishian sect thought they could keep it a secret. But my family and the Yaoguang Holy Land all know. Now that several great figures have arrived here, something extraordinary will definitely happen next. Yi Fan felt very ashamed. There were many things that he couldn't tell Ji Ziyue, but she told him everything without holding anything back. In the distant sky, an ancient golden chariot rolled across the sky, rumbling over. The chariot was covered with knife marks and arrow holes, and it exuded an endless and ancient aura. Chapter 145 The great figures of the Ji clan and the Yaoguang Holy Land had arrived. The headmaster of Taishian and many famous figures came to greet them personally. The humble peak was overgrown with weeds and withered vines. The palace was in ruins, but today it caused the clouds to move. Nine green-colored flood dragons moved across the heavens. They looked as if they were cast from molten iron, green-colored flood dragon scales flickering, full of a shocking feeling of power. They pulled an ancient golden war chariot, rumbling as they crushed over. They were heavy and imposing, as if they rushed out from a painting of history. The great figures of the Yaoguang Holy Land and the Ji clan came together. They sat in the same chariot and appeared on the humble peak. Many cultivators of the 108 main peaks of Taishian were alarmed. Many elders looked over. In the broken palace, Crazy Old did not move. He was covered by a silver cocoon, and a mysterious power vibrated from him. 
the entire peak was pulsating with him. He was like a demon fetus, but also like a celestial seed. It made people's hearts tremble. It was an indescribable feeling. The faces of the great figures of the Yaguang Holy Land and the Ji clan changed as soon as they entered the palace. They did not say anything. They just sat on the ground and closed their eyes to think, sensing with their hearts. The great figure from 6,000 years ago was now suspected to have reached Nirvana. For them, this was a great opportunity. If they could comprehend the ultimate truth from this pulsation, they would benefit for the rest of their lives. They might even have the opportunity to become immortals. Hey, 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 why are you leaving? It's rare for a great figure to appear. It's a good chance to see what he looks like. Jiziyua was slender and elegant. Her skin was smooth and her teeth were sparkling. Her eyes were full of spirit. She grabbed Yifan and asked suspiciously, Where are you going? I'm going to find a quiet place to cultivate. Instead of being envious of the great figure's power, it's better to become stronger myself. Yifan walked down the humble peak. You're lying. I feel like you're feeling guilty. You seem to be intentionally avoiding these great figures. Jiziyue's senses were very sharp. Yi Fan was indeed intentionally avoiding them. Having too many secrets was not a good thing. He had to be careful when facing a great force that had been passed down from the antiquity age. Let's go to the Star Peak. If we don't go, they'll really think we're afraid, Ji Ziyue said. Forget it, you go by yourself. I'm going to cultivate. Yi Fan didn't want to go to Star Peak, lest he cause trouble again. In the end, Yi Fan cultivated in silence in a deserted mountain range. At the same time, he began to consider his next course of action. He decided to leave after Crazy Ol's condition was clear. In the next few days, there were many great figures in the Taishian sect, and all of them came for the old man man. The ancient palace on the humble peak had almost become a divine land. Ordinary people weren't allowed to approach at all. Those who were able to sit cross-legged inside were all well-known figures, and all of them were capable of shaking a region. On this day, Xingfeng sent someone to invite Yi Fan and Ji Ziyue. The messenger made it clear that he had no ill intentions and was only trying to ease the relationship between the two factions. Since we have nothing to do, let's go take a look. Ji Ziyue agreed and dragged Yi Fan into the area where Xingfeng was. The person who led the way didn't lead them to the main peak of Xingfeng, but to a mountain range. Here, the mountains were beautiful, the scenery was beautiful, and the mist was like smoke lingering on the top of the mountain. At the foot of the mountain, the water was gurgling, and the ancient trees were accompanied by old vines. It was very quiet. In front of them, on the fragrant grass, some young men and women sat on the ground. In front of each of them was a wooden table filled with fruits and wine. Ding ding dong dong. Among them, a man in blue was playing the zither. His hands fluttered like butterflies, giving people a feeling of agility and lightness. His fingers brushed across the strings, and the music was beautiful and pleasant, calming people's hearts. Seeing the arrival of Yifan and Ji Ziyue, the man in blue stopped playing the zither and was the first to stand up. The others followed to welcome them. With the arrival of the two of you, the flowers and plants all over the mountain have suddenly become bright. The man in blue was very polite. With a smile on his face, he invited the two of them to take a seat. He was tall and looked to be only twenty-four or twenty-five years old. His blue clothes fluttered in the wind. He didn't speak much, giving people a gentle and lively feeling. It could be said that this man in blue had a unique temperament. It was easy to get close to people and make people have a good impression of him. I have been in seclusion for more than two years. Today, I came out from the Star Peak and learned that there was some friction between the disciples of the Star Peak and the Humble Peak. Today. I invited the two of you here only to apologize and have no other intentions. This person's name was Hua Yunfei. It was very similar to his name. Like a flowing cloud, like the blowing wind, he gave people a feeling of ethereal and ethereal. Brother Hua, you make me blush with shame. Although there is a reason, I was the one who injured the disciples of the Star Peak. Since the other treated him with courtesy and was very polite, Yi Fan naturally had to return the courtesy. I am not being pretentious. In recent years, the star peak has flourished, causing many disciples to be arrogant and complacent. They think that the star peak is the only one in Taishian. This is not good. I have long heard of it. Little brother Yi, 
they only have themselves to blame for teaching them a lesson. They cannot blame anyone else. Speaking of which, I have to thank you for making them reflect. Hua Yunfei was very sincere. His elegance had a lively temperament, making people feel like they were bathing in the spring wind. Yi Fan had long heard that the leader of the Star Peak was surnamed Hua. In the history of Taishian, half of the headmasters came from the Star Peak, and of these half, half had the surname Hua. It could be said that the Chinese surname of the Taishian sect had a very important position. In reality, the founder of the Taishian sect had the surname Hua. Thus, although the surname Hua was very powerful, no one felt that it was too much. They even felt that it was only right. After everyone greeted each other, they sat on the grass. Li Xiaoman was also among them. Her expression was calm, and she sat behind the wooden table to the left of Hua Yunfei. Today, I will play a song to apologize to the humble peak. We will let bygones be bygones, and in the future, the two factions will live in harmony. Hua Yunfei's hands gently stroked the guqin. The tinkling sound of music came out, like a clear spring flowing under the moonlight. It made people feel at ease. This was a song of apology. It had a certain meaning. However, to Yi Fan, he could only hear a certain artistic conception. He did not know the story behind it. GZUS secretly transmitted her voice, saying, I remember now. This Hua Yunfei is very powerful. Yi Fan's heart trembled when he heard this. Although he knew that Hua Yunfei was definitely not ordinary, he did not expect him to be so powerful. Hua Yunfei was the youngest grandson of the leader of the Star Peak. His talent was extraordinary. At the age of 18, he became the number one person of the younger generation of the Star Peak. At the age of 22, there was no one in the same generation who could suppress him in the 108 main peaks of the Taishian sect. The outside world thinks that my brother Hao Yue has been frozen for 20 years. In reality, two years ago, he was secretly brought out by the old man to train. He once fought with Hua Yunfei. Ji Clan's divine physique Ji Hao Yue had fought with Hua Yunfei two years ago. That was a battle between geniuses. Although his divine physique was world-shaking, Ji Hao Yue still paid a price to defeat Hua Yunfei. So powerful. Yi Fan was very shocked. Yes. Apart from his divine physique, it is very difficult for people of the same age to suppress him. He is very talented. My brother Hao Yue spent a lot of effort to defeat him. Sooner or later, his name will shake the eastern barren territory. Below the divine physique, he will be almost invincible. Ji Ziyuan nodded her head and said, At this moment, Hua Yunfei's hands were light and agile. He played the zither smoothly like flowing water. It gave people a very ethereal feeling. Although he was a man, he was more agile than a woman. He played an extremely beautiful piece. It was like the flowing of a clear spring, like the flowing of moonlight. It was hazy, harmonious, and tranquil. The music actually outlined a picturesque scene. Everyone was immersed in it. After that, even the birds were attracted. A thrush was a bit timid, but in the end, it still descended and stopped in front of the zither. Not long after, an oriole landed, attracted by the zither's music. In a short quarter of an hour, Hundreds of birds landed on the fragrant grass and stood in front of the zither. This was a strange scene. Hua Yunfei was ethereal like an immortal. His entire person seemed to have the intelligence of heaven and earth. The hundreds of birds came to pay their respects, blending with the scenery. It was as if he had become one with this small world. Seeing this scene, even Yi Fan found it hard to remain calm. This Hua Yunfei was definitely not an ordinary person. He asked in his heart, your brother has a divine physique. He cultivated the phenomenon of the ocean rising bright moon. Did he still need to spend a lot of effort to defeat him? Hua Yunfei also cultivated an ancient phenomenon. After that battle, he went into seclusion for two years. Now that he has come out, he must be even more unfathomable. Other than my brother, I don't think anyone in the same generation in this region is his match. After the song ended, the hundreds of birds were actually unwilling to leave. They flew around, adding to the beautiful scenery. This song should only exist in the heavens. How many times can one hear it in the mortal world? Yi Fan clapped his hands and praised, Brother Hua is really a celestial being. The song moved the celestial mountains and the hundreds of birds came to pay their respects. It is really admirable. You flatter me. 
It is just for the sake of pleasing the mind. It is nothing. Speaking up to here, he raised his wine cup and said, May the star peak and the humble peak live in harmony. Everyone raised their cups and drank together. It was a harmonious scene. I heard Junior Sister Xiao Man say that brother Yi came from a very far away place. The civilization there is brilliant. It is very different from the eastern barren territory. I am fascinated by it. Yi Fan's heart shook. Could it be that Li Xiao Man had told the truth? If that was the case, it would probably cause a lot of trouble. He couldn't help but stare at Li Xiao Man. At this moment, Li Xiao Man was wearing a white robe. Her appearance was elegant, and her expression was calm. She was like a pure white lotus. It cannot be compared to the eastern barren territory. Yi Fan drank the fruit wine and put down his cup. His expression was calm as he said, Where we are, no one can cultivate. Sickness and death are the most common things. A hundred years old is already considered a long life. Brother Yi, you are too humble. I really want to learn from you. I hope you will not be stingy in teaching me. Hua Yunfei appeared to be very sincere. He toasted Yi Fan with a cup of fruit wine and said, I feel that your hometown has some kind of connection with us. Yi Fan's heart shook. He had a feeling that the other party seemed to know a lot. Could it be that Li Xiao Man had really explained everything to him? Ji Ziyue's eyes kept turning. She felt that Yi Fan had too many secrets. She secretly decided to dig them out as soon as possible. The Ji clan that has been passed down since the antiquity era is famous in the eastern barren territory. The young lady of the Ji clan is a guest in my Taishian continent. I have neglected you. Hua Yunfei raised his cup and smiled at Ji Ziyue, the young lady of the antiquity era. This identity shocked everyone. Li Xiao Man was very surprised and revealed a strange expression. Ji Ziyue was not surprised. In fact, many disciples on the humble peak knew her identity, not to mention the young grandson of the star peak leader. She smiled sweetly and a small dimple appeared on her left cheek. She said, My name is Ji Ziyue. Ji from Ji Xue, Zi from Purple Air from the East, and you from Moon. Ji Xue? Yi Fan's heart moved. He had never asked about Ji Ziyue's family. At this moment, he had many questions. Did the people of this world also know about Ji Shui? Don't you know? There is a river in the ancient east. Her name is Ji Shui. It is very famous in the eastern barren territory. It flows past my house. Calculating the time, it has been flowing for at least 50,000 years. Ji Ziyue's eyes flashed with a strange light. Yi Fan was shocked. This was too long ago. It was definitely much longer than the Ji Shui on earth. I should have visited Miss Ziyue long ago. It's just that I just came out of seclusion. Your brother and I don't get to know each other without a fight. Speaking of which, we are not strangers. Hua Yunfei smiled. Speaking of this, he stood up and said, I will go and welcome the guests. You guys stay here. There is no need for Brother Hua to welcome us. We are already here. The scenery here was beautiful. The flowers and trees were fresh. There were strange stones and pavilions. Not far away, more than ten people floated over. There were both men and women. They all had extraordinary temperaments. The men were handsome and the women were beautiful. They were like immortals. Why is Brother Hao Yue here? Ji Ziyue muttered softly and hid behind Yi Fan. At the humble peak, an unparalleled figure from six thousand years ago was in deep sleep. It attracted the important figures of the Alcade, Ji family and other forces to come and gather there. At the same time, the outstanding disciples of these forces also came to Taishin. Among them were the Eastern Baron Divine Body Ji Haoyue, the saintess of the Alcade Holy Land, and the young talents of other sects. Hua Yunfei smiled and went forward, leading the dozen people here. Ziyue. Ji Haoyue's purple robe fluttered in the wind. He was as quiet as the bright moon. His temperament was extraordinary like a god. There seemed to be an endless halo around him. He stared at Ji Ziyue, Brother Hao Yue. Ji Ziyue smiled sweetly. She walked out from behind Yi Fan and skipped over to hug Ji Hao Yue's arm. Why are you with him? Ji Hao Yue's expression was calm, but his eyes were threatening. He looked at Yi Fan. He clearly remembered that this person had been with many demons. Why can't I be with him? 
Ji Ziyue wrinkled her nose and shook Ji Haoyue's arm unhappily. The dozen people who came were all elites. Everyone looked at Ji Haoyue and Yi Fan. Among them was the saintess of the Alcade Holy Land. She was so beautiful that the moon and flowers would put to shame. She was like a fairy who had descended to the mortal world. Ji Haoyue did not say anything. He took a few steps forward and stared at Yi Fan. He said, These few months, my sister has been with you. Yi Fan sat there and did not get up. He said something that angered people and gods. That's right. We eat and live together. What are you talking about? Although Ji Hao Yue's expression was calm, like a bright moon hanging in the sky, his eyes flickered with light. It was very intimidating. Sorry, I said the wrong thing. What I meant was that we have always been together, and we have never been separated. You brat. Don't speak nonsense. Ji Ziyue hammered him. Ji Hao Yue's eyes were bright and his purple clothes danced in the wind. He stood there and stared at Yi Fan. No one knew what he was thinking. Suddenly, the blue sea appeared. The ripples were clear and a bright moon rose. The phenomenon of the rising moon appeared behind Ji Hao Yue. The water-like moonlight flowed towards Yi Fan. Brother Hao Yue, what are you doing? Ji Ziyue was shocked and tried to stop him. However, the blue sea behind Ji Haoyue released a wave of light and stopped her. Behind them, everyone was shocked. They did not expect Ji Haoyue to use a phenomenon to attack this unknown youth. Alcade Holy Maiden's eyes were wide open. She stared at the phenomenon of the rising moon without blinking. Li Xiaoman stood up and looked forward. Hua Yunfei was deep in thought. He wanted to stop her but he did not.